Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's game clearing time! Time for us to finish up the game we were working on last week, which was Phantom 2040. Tom, how you feeling? I didn't message you to... Oops, my TV volume's up. I didn't message you to see if you were hopping on tonight, because I figured, uh... Because of COVID, you weren't, so... So how goes them dreams? Dreams took an interesting twist. Like, as always, always keep me on my toes. <laughs> this is a present from me to you. We'll get to dream watch later. Look at your left. I'm getting there. Oh, I'm glad what? you're feeling better, bud. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. All right, before we hop into everything, Hunter Persian wants the Wisma Duke, and they say they're uh, currently sick, so here's hoping we get something nice for you. Ah, do it. Ah, do it. <laughs> yeah! How long will season one of John's Dream Saga be? I'm not, I think we might have hit the end of season one on this last update. I don't know. Or this might be like the penultimate episode. No, she's going wild. All right, so we got to the beginning of chapter seven last time we played this game. It's only an eight chapter game, so not really much left to the game, all things considered, but we're probably on this for another hour and a half, two hours. That's my gamble anyways. But speaking of gamble, let's have a little fun, shall we? The password we need to put in for this game is this long. This is the password we had last stream. So, I'm about to run a prediction. How long do you think it's going to take me to type in this password? That is going to be our prediction to start off the evening. Give me a second to whip this one up. I probably should have this one pre-prepped, but I did not. And I gotta write this a specific way. All right. John, just can copy and paste. It's not rocket science. Oh yeah, if only it was that easy. <laughs> If only. Captain Kid, this thank you for the gifts up on. from me to you. Look at your left. What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. All right. I've got a prediction open for two minutes. How long to type in the password? You've got option one, 30 to 59 seconds. Option two, one minute to one minute, 29 seconds. Option three, a minute and a half to a minute and 59 seconds. Option four, two minutes to two and a half, or sorry, two minutes to 2.29, little that, two minutes, 29 seconds. And option five, two minutes, 30 seconds plus. Again, for those who didn't see it, that's my dashboard. <laughs> Here's what I'm trying to show you. This is the password I have to type in. All these characters. How long is it going to take for me to type this in? It's very awkward that there is no music at the moment. Thanks again for playing Pajama Sam on Cookie on Saturday. It's brought back a lot of memories to my childhood. Hope you can play other humongous games in the future. I mean, we've finished two and three in the past before. We just haven't done uh, one specifically, weirdly enough. I never beat it. If you want to see a game with a terrible password system, check out Spiritual Warfare for NES. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. 
All right, looking at the options right now. The hot money is on one minute to one and a half. 166,000 eggs on that one. Next one seems to be 132 on a minute and a half to two minutes. And then two and a half minutes plus has also got a fair amount on as well. No confidence in 30 to 59 seconds. All right. Meanwhile, let me get our timer ready because we're probably going to want that. Nope, wrong folder. Ace is high. Ryu, why are you here? I knew it. <laughs> Anonymous kills Robert Kant with kindness and swords and says, Hey, John, I'm here to steal some luck. I just turned 28 yesterday. Here's another year of gaming. Happy birthday, whoever you are. Appreciate the kindness. Hopefully it's a good one. All right. I'm going to have to type in this password. All bets are in. Uh, I've got timer on screen so you can see how long it takes me to actually type it in. 31% of the eggs are on a minute to a minute and a half. 26% are on a minute and a half to two minutes. And 23% are on two minutes up. 17% on two to two and a half. And th only 3% on 30 to 59 seconds. So if I do this super fast, there's going to be a huge payout. John, I saw your doppelganger at a comic expo a couple weeks ago. Well, did you say hi to them? Were they doing all right? Haven't heard from them in a while. That was Xander the Goose. Forgot to put your name. Well, happy birthday either way, Xander. Here's hoping for some good luck for you for you for the year. For the year. I gave the gift subs because my mother passed from ALS a little over a month ago. I gotta say it's good to be back watching your streams and take my mind off shit. Everyone text your mother you love her. The pain ain't it. This pain ain't it. Also, let's go Wolverines. Ah, damn, kid. I'm so sorry to hear that. But I'm glad I'm glad you've had time to process it, and we'll do our best to make tonight feel a little extra silly for you. I have to do a lot of typing. That means there's only one song I can turn on right now. Let's do it. Time starts now. Oh my god, it's so slow on this menu! There's delay on the letters! Oh my god, I thought it'd be a lot snappier than this! No, 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 no! This is a terrible menu. <laughs> Shit, I missed a letter. Oh my god, this menu is garbage! W one seven seven two L L L five L C No Oh 
Sub two minutes, just barely on that timer. One minute 30 to 159, congratulations. Second most points, the winner here. The threes take it. It's nice to actually have, have an actual use for the Eurobeat song. Madam Lusa VT, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, do I have this set to quick? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're here somewhere. Short raid. There we go. Do you know what you've done? Punch! I love that there is no music for this as we punch this dude. I've saved the world. Garen, I've, dest I've destroyed Sean One's laser cannon. The orbital platform is going to blow. The soft jet's been flown to your location as requested. Spark standing by for you to board. Where's Sean 1? Phantom, ready to pick you up outside Doggy Bay 94. I'll be there shortly. Sean 1's disappeared. So unfortunately, uh... I did not actually get the best ending, or the setup for the best ending. I missed something in that, uh, that area that we were just in. But apparently what we missed is kind of in a bullshit location to begin with, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> i got a tube train tunnel on the east side of the city that leads into Maximum's inner core. I bet Maxwell's brainwaves, Jack Archer, and the Panther are kept somewhere inside that inner core. I'll stop Rebecca and save Archer and the Panther. Chapter 7, Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, you're still set to the second best ending? Okay. An orbital platform blew up in space today, raining debris upon the city. No word on casualties, but hundreds of orbitals are homeless. An investigation's underway. If I don't hear it, you don't hear it. The music's coming back, right? The Phantom was seen creeping into Maximum. Is he in league with Rebecca Madison? Stay plugged in. Music will come back. There we go, it's back. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, this is where we gotta go, is Tube Train Station. I'm gonna quickly go here first to kind of look at my inventory because I actually don't remember what the hell I have right now. There we go, music's back. We have 15 lives, we have double damage, punch, energy blast, inductance rope, wave gun, spread, devastator, homing missile, breaker, boomerang, explosive pellets, super explosive pellets. We did not get flash pellets or fire retardant pellets. And we did get shadow panther. We do not get invisibility. We do have armor, four first aid kits, 27 emergency or energy aid kits, four shot wideners at least. I think Tom said I had six in total, but it's only showing four. We also currently have a lab security code, a file on biotech, and a key card to the lab. Fifteen lives this far in the game is good. All right, that's good to hear. Now I gotta remember how to play this. All right, give a second to come back to me. Oh, why are you set to... Okay, so yeah, that and then... There, so now I can do this. Whee! Whee! All right.
Let's go to the tube train station. Wake up, Metropia! The Phantom is now attacking a tube train on the Upper East Side! I take you there live! This time the purple nut has really cracked his shell! Here's him a little kneel. A little kneel. Alright. With all the comic stuff going on, it's crazy that Flash Gordon, Shadow, and of course the Phantom are being utilized right now. I mean, I thought Flash Gordon was in the process of coming back again? I find it funny that the 90s brought back all three of them. Because there was a Flash Gordon cartoon, the Shadow movie, and the Phantom movie. And I guess this cartoon as well. I mean, all of them stuck around. I remember liking the Flash Gordon cartoon from the 90s. Maybe it's because it was basically just the last Starfighter instead. And Defenders of the Earth? Which one was that one? That sounds familiar. Oh my god. Defenders of the Earth is an American animated television series produced in 1986 featuring characters from three comic strips to distribute a king... King Features Syndicate. Flash Gordon the Phantom, Mandrake the Magician, and Mandrake's assistant Lothar. Posing Ming the Merciless in the year 2015! Oh man, seven or eight years ago. I have never... I've never seen this. Yo, look at this. I've never seen this show before. Did this only run for like five episodes or some shit? I've never seen this. I love how we have like... Space soldier dude, the ghost who walks, and a magician. <laughs> Closest I've known of the Defenders of the Earth was that one robot chicken skin. Of course, Robot Chicken did a bit on it. How many episodes does this even have? 65 episodes! Marvel Productions, Jesus! How have I never heard of this? Country of origin, United States, of course. The series was later shown in reruns on the Sci-Fi Channel as part of Sci-Fi's animation block, Cartoon Quest. Okay. Flash Gordon's also been seen in two other animated series, The New Adventures of Flash Gordon and Flash Gordon. Yeah. The one just named Flash Gordon, that's the one I remember. I think. Pretty sure. Alright, anyways, uh, let's get back to the game, shall we? Marvel produced some interesting cartoons in the 80s. They also did Dino Riders. Oh, did, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I could see them doing that. What was the name of the magician? Uh, Manfred, I think? Yeah, Mandrake the Magician. Alright, let's give this a shot. Oh god, okay, okay, that's something to keep in mind. Right, we're in the part where the game does not care to, mess, uh, to be nice anymore. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. <laughs> God damn! Oh shit. Okay, this is... Yeah, I can't say I'm shocked by that. Right, I remember how sticky the run is. Oh! Okay. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Armor's already on. Come on, I need something to shoot. Alright, this is gonna be a waiting game.
Any interesting dreams of Blossom lately? I'll get into it during Art Block, because there's a lot of art referring to, to Blossom. You can stand on the lower edge? Oh, I know! I just don't need to. That could not have been timed any better, holy shit. <laughs> Maximum's inner core! One sec... Uh, interesting. Okay, I'll read that later. Are we in the end game? We're close. Johnny, remember Dino Riders? Yeah, one of my friends was super into it back in the day. Why do you torture yourself? Rebecca own, owns me. Uh, she can destroy me with the touch of a button. I must obey. And I must destroy her. Then you will have to go through me. Okay. Can do. Oh, that's that's not your weak spot. Where's your weak spot? Arm. Okay. Okay. Head next. Gun. Feet. Feet. Oh, what am I even doing? <laughs> Good times. Finish it! Put me out of my misery! I will not kill you, Graft. Set me free, coward! Oh, we're still here, though. <laughs> uh, now here's the question. Is there any, any goodies I should be looking for around here now? Oh, God. All right, let's, uh, let's get our guns ready. Who developed this game? I'm actually not sure. Let me look it up. Viacom's the publisher. Viacom New Media for the SNES, Illusions Gaming for the Genesis, and Unexpected Development for the Game Gear. I have no idea what Viacom New Media has done, because that does not narrow it down in the slightest. It was you! You're the developer. Ah, yes, there we go. The designers are listed as Brian uh, Babender Verde and Jeff Troutman. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to dig around on Moby Games to find the full info. So I'm just going off a of wiki there now. Okay, they really wanted me to gear back up. Oh my god, alright. It's just a dude in a chair! <laughs> Never sent a tin can to do a genius's job. Oh, okay. You know the drill. Oh, you're the one I had to shot here on the knees. Break the joints. He has to either wait till he gets to a firing position, but whenever he serves. Ooh, 
We must be extremely close to end game if they're giving us a boss rush. Red Cinder, thank you for the raid. Let's go get him, I guess. Phantom, is there any reason there was... Are you just gonna leave this dude alone? There we go. <laughs> Never mind. We're good. Where's your mother? <laughs> Isn't it past your bedtime? Go to sleep, you're already wearing your pajamas! <laughs> Talking to father about a raise in my allowance. Your father is dead. Perhaps, but the transfusion with the panther has already begun. Soon we'll be the model family again. Holy shit. That kicked ass. All right, let me see. Anything else around here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oops. I'm just gonna keep walking around doing uppercuts, and if anything gets in my way, it's their own damn fault. Well, next boss room. Who's in here this time? Oh. Okay. Professor, are you okay? What happened? The only thing I heard is my pride. Maximum Biots blew up the lab and Rebecca Madison abducted me to keep me quiet. I found out that the company you were doing research for was a cover-up for a maximum project involving a weapon on a battleship. It was used to destroy the political summit, but I stopped it in time. Hmm, Rebecca must have worried that the summit would close down her buyout factories. That would mean no hope for world domination. I know of an exit near here that leads out by the lair. Let's get out of here. Go ahead without me. I'm going to try and find the Black Panther. Do you mean the superhero? No. We don't own those copyrights. I'm sorry. I'll lower the panther and free it from this hideous trap. What the fuck is this room? <laughs> this room looks messed up. I know this is supposed to be where the room where the giant skull is, but still. That animal's blood was going to bring my husband back into my arms. The reign of terror and metropia is over. Not yet. Even though the transfusion was not enough to bring Maxwell back in human form, he's not dead. Protect me, my love! Protect me! Okay. Alright, Satan. Alright. Hello, Satan. How you doing? It's me. The Phantom. You don't need these hands, right? Can't believe we're fighting Mecha Satan. What the fuck? It actually has me punched. You know what, I can probably use another gun, but honestly, it's way funnier I'm just kicking it to death. 
I'm assuming it's not based on any time limit. If it's not based on a time limit, it's way funnier just to be doing this. Oh shit! <laughs> I think I deserve that, if I'm being real. <laughs> Anyways, back to fighting Satan. Oh, they cut the line. Oh, that's dirty. I assume I gotta shoot in the eyes. Oh, there we go. Spinal column. But that cuts the line! So I gotta be very careful. Oh, I'm out of energy too. Shit. God damn it. That's gonna scare me every time I pull that off. Alright, now what I shoot. Nope, oh, never mind. I'm I'm on top of it. I'm on top of it. What the fuck is this boss fight? Oh, this is a dirty boss fight. I don't think I'm going to be able to, to cheese it this way. I think I'm going to actually have to use different power-ups. I'll try, I guess. Dang it. Shit. Well, I guess I did it. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Live and photonic, the enforcers arrested Rebecca Madison and her son in connection with the attack on the po political summit. After her arrest, Rebecca was declared insane and put into an institution. Maxwell Jr. was sentenced to life imprisonment. No one knows the whereabouts of Graft and the Phantom, but I believe they're involved. Records found in the battleship factory prove the humans for humans were not involved in the destruction of the city. Mars blew it up himself with the battleship designed to protect the political summit. Members of the political summit made new laws protecting endangered animals after the Black Panther almost became extinct. There it is. Look how happy it is right there by itself in a fucking decrepit ass, ass jungle. So happy. They also passed a new law that will protect plant life in the ghost jungle. Here it is. So much of it. The summit decided to legalize combat biots in Metropia, but uh, because Maximum Inc. was destroyed, there is no one to make them. You're finally free, Graft. You better have fucking blown up in this infinite tower. This tower is so fucking tall. 
Why was it so goddamn tall? It's just not ending. There's rubble everywhere. It just keeps going. Goddamn. Wanted. Unfortunately, we did screw up getting him. So he got away. So we did not get the best ending. This tower is why there are zoning laws. <laughs> In the true best ending, you get to punch the news guy. Ah, oh, damn it! The Phantom destroyed my cannon, but not the main computer where I keep my files and the technology. I will create another cannon and destroy the pitiful earth. Oh, so that's the hint of you have to go find the computer if you forgot it earlier. Oh, okay. And that's the game. I thought we were going to have way more game left, if I'm being real. That was maybe 20 minutes. I thought we legit were going to have like another hour or two. Because people were telling me there were eight chapters, and we started on chapter seven. But I guess it was just all fights. And we had double damage. So we're done. Want to get the best ending? Oh, no, dude. Because then I got to replay chapter six. Or it might have even been five. Run it back! <laughs> Thug, I appreciate it, but I don't think I'm gonna go for it. I can jump in for a moment. Alright, hop in, Tom. Hop in. Hello. Hello. How you feeling? <clears throat> uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to uh, mention something that I thought was kind of cool. Um, oh my uh, god, it still I... says fucking try again? Come on. <laughs> yeah, it says try again on every ending other than the uh, golden ending. Ah, okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, so one of the one of the bad endings that I got when I uh, played this years ago, um, they they put uh, Mad uh, Max or Madison Senior's brainwaves into um, into Professor Archer and to um, you know use his body. Mm -hmm. um, but I I played another uh, I played through a different way and I ended up rescuing Archer in that timeline but still got the bad ending instead of him it was someone else and I I've seen I've seen like three different people end up as puppets to um, to you know uh, Madison senior including um, Mars interesting yeah <laughs> so I looked so up they they planned yeah. for a number of different con contingencies. That's wild, dude. So yeah. I, so one of the things I was confused about was I load up a long play of the game last week, yeah. and the video had like two and a half hours left to it, when mm. or or something like that, or an hour and a half left when we were where we were in the game. And then I looked it up. Apparently, this video just has every ending in it. Oh wow. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It's possible that the best ending has like a whole like extra chapter or something. I'm not really sure. No idea. You know what's what's actually really weird is um, you didn't seem to have the experience that I had when I played, which is um, like there's. There's a, a a point near the end where you basically decide to go to maximum first or go to outer space first. Mm -hmm. And I found, like, no matter which way I went, it was the wrong way. Because, like, um, like, I go and defeat uh, the Madisons, and then um, Sean 1 destroys the Earth from orbit. So I go stop Sean 1, but then I'm already too late. Madison has, like, conquered the world. And um, I'm like, so how are you supposed to do both? <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and you didn't seem to have that problem. Which... Yeah, I, I don't know what I did that made it different. 
He found the secret path that lets you do both. What? <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know, I know what it is. I know what it is. I think there's like a secret exit on the elevator shaft. That's the thing that glitched for you and put you on top of the elevator. Yeah. So I think it accidentally gave you the secret exit. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> And that, that wasn't a glitch? <laughs> it was a glitch, <laughs> but the glitch gave you the secret exit. I'm so confused. How are you supposed to get in there normally? Okay, so, um, if I remember correctly, okay, so when you're in the elevator, and as it goes down, the floor gives out, and uh, blast breaks from underneath you yeah and so you have to use your ducted throat to to stay inside the elevator shaft and robots come up from either sides and try to kill you and you still have to hang on and fight them at the same time there is like some sort of a um, a secret door near the top that you have to shoot and when it explodes open you can climb up the shaft and that's that's the secret exit but okay. when the when the floor the blew thing. out from yeah, when the floor blew out from under you, it just like glitched you straight up to over top of the elevator, so that you couldn't, um, so that you couldn't get out, and then you could didn't even get have to fight those robots or do anything, and then it just counted as a secret exit. That's I don't know how this stuff keeps happening to you. Just lucky, I guess. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Like. Every time you play a game that I know well, you accidentally stumble upon something I've never seen before. <laughs> it, it's a talent, I swear. So this is the elevator he's talking about. What's supposed to happen is the floor gives out, and you have to hang on. But we somehow... broke it? <laughs> and ended up on top of the elevator. Which I don't even know see... Like, I don't see how he even gets a secret here. Yeah, it's very bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I just looked it up. There is a secret rocket you can find in Maximum normally to do both. But you got that exit by a glitch. <laughs> wow. Well, that was worth it. Well, good to know. Maybe, maybe we found a speedrun strat, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. You might... Actually, no, I don't think so, because I don't think that actually saved you any time. Ah, dang it. Because okay. if you remember, like, you were stuck there for a while. Well, because I still before... had to sit through this whole scene. Like, I had to wait through this entire thing. Yeah, so... So, I, I think it would have been the same amount of time as if you just waited out that boss fight and then shot the, the secret door and went out. So. See, he got up on the top, too. And for reference's sake, what we did... Uh, we did... When did we do that elevator part? I think that was going to be the last portion. Because there's green... There's the elevator. Very fancy elevator. Here's what we did. Where is this putting me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gaming now. Uh, oh. oh. That's all I did. I punched the walls, it exploded, oh, God, and it moved me up to, to the top of the room. Oh, God, I hope this was supposed to happen. I don't think this was supposed Dud. to happen. Dud. Oh, God, why am I up here? The secret is just finding the elevator in the first place. Oh, okay. So finding the elevator is what dictates you being able to do both? Remember that long stretch of being over an open pit hidden on the bottom of the map? Uh, yes. Was it in, it was in this area, right? No, not this area. Excuse me, just skimming my own, my own stream. God, I hope this was supposed to happen. I See, where uh, where was that? <laughs> Although I know, like yeah. like I said, uh, someone said there were eight chapters. This would be chapter six, theoretically wrong. 
I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did, but I got the second best ending, so hooray. <laughs> Wait, I might be wrong. Keep going back. How far back, Senpai? That's the cannon. That's the dude we had to shoot in the heart. This, yeah, and then all this is just the same area over and over. This is this is all just the first area of maximum security. It is a fun game to uh, to play again from the beginning and make different choices to see how it changes things, but uh, definitely not necessary. So is the gameplay different at all for the good ending or the best ending? Um, I'm not sure. Um, Other than obviously destroying the computer. <clears throat> I, I don't really remember um, what's different at the very end. Um, what? Oh. I'm being told that you're coming in through my mic. Yeah, you have, you have a bit of ec me on echo there. Okay, let me turn down the volume a little bit. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure how much of the game is different at the very end, if there's, like, a whole other chapter or not. I, my memory on that is kind of foggy, because I'm not even really sure if I ever got the golden ending, and if I did, I got it once, and that was, like, years later when I went back and played it again using game FAQs. Um, I do know that some of the ways that, like, some of the missions that you do it will, will be a little different. Like, um... Like, in, um... I remember in one of the one of the choices that you can make where you go talk to Mr. Cairo and give him information, he gives you um, access to, like, a secret area of... or somewhere that gives you the invisibility power. And this is actually fairly early in the game. And with your visibility power, you're like, okay, I can just go straight to to maximum uh, right now. Well, they can't stop me. And you just go straight to bat to um, maximum like halfway through the game. Um, but you're not a, you're not actually able to defeat the boss yet. So you just go there to uh, collect a few things and like uh, rescue uh, Archer or whatever, and then come back. Alright, so look, I'm skimming the actual, like, video, the long play, and the ending fight is the exact same. Okay. So it, it ends with you riding the skull to victory. Okay, then. So, here, so here's the best ending of the game. Actually, if you could confirm for me... At the very end of that ending, does it actually say "try again" or <laughs> is that just what it says at the ending? Uh, I think it does not because it, I I skimmed it a bit and I saw a clip uh, of specifically what they were talking about, punching the uh, punching the reporter. Okay, I, I didn't see him punch the reporter, so maybe I never got the gold. So far, this ending looks the exact same as the one we got. I think the only difference literally was that the dude was gonna come back and blow up the earth. There's the infinite blowing up tower. So we literally did everything except find a stupidly hidden secret computer. And I guess find some extra power-ups. So even this is the same, the wanted poster. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely completed.
credits again. It's all the same. A phantom was seen today taking candy from babies and pushing old women into the street. This is this group has lost all the screws, and I for one. Wham! <laughs> Birds! The end. So that's that's the best ending. It's just it actually says the end instead of try again. And then this long play starts showing all the I feel like it's very heroic of Phantom to punch the reporter guy. Like I know that he spreads like he spreads misinformation that's really harmful, but it seems like he's doing it just because he's constantly picking on him for the Phantom. I mean, yeah, eventually you're probably gonna snap if you just save the planet and someone's like now you're stealing candy from babies and pushing over grandmothers i think at that point you're just like you're an idiot get the fuck out of here yeah yeah exactly zan rising says it's not heroic but man is it therapeutic exactly <laughs> yeah so the only difference in the ending is getting to punch the dude and seeing the birds and the in the in the panther and no cutscene about the dude gonna come back to blow up the planet that's it. And again, if you didn't see, this is this is the thing we missed. Let me go see if I can find the exact. It's gonna take me a minute because it's in such a stupid location. up somewhere along the way. I gotta find Inspector Gadget again. <laughs> the Judge Revolta gift, man. <laughs> it's such a good one. trying to find specifically where that damn computer was because like i said it was in like the dumbest spot <clears throat> tom you okay uh what is that a reference to i think because you're clearing your what? throat in that okay they did, well also they might have heard earlier when you said you had covid yeah but oh, oh they're okay. saying they heard a noise oh i think it yeah, I dropped some nail clippers off my desk. It, I guess that sounded worse than it was. Alright, so that, this- That just felt really weird, because, like, uh, after you mentioned that I have COVID, like, an hour later, suddenly everyone's like, Tom, are you okay? And, like, what, what happened? This is what we missed. We missed this fake floor we could jump through here. With, like, a swing Ooh. over here. Look at all those items this guy has. I know, he's got a ton. And there's the computer we were supposed to blow up. So that, we missed, we literally missed like the most hidden thing we could have missed, but it di dictated our ending. <laughs> Four lives. Dude, Tom, did you see when I showed the map on stream last time? Uh, I'm not sure if I did. All right, well, give me a moment, then I'm gonna go find it again. Uh... map. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is the stage we were looking at just then. So, you can see, like, they jump down around here, swing over here, blow up this wall, and get to the computer. There's a fucking one-quarter damage power-up in a pit you have to literally kill yourself to get. That gives you things you take one-fourth damage. But wait... <laughs> Over here That's is a room with a smiley face of one-ups. <laughs> I have never found any of that. Insane. Absolutely Just insane. Just the fact that you have to kill yourself to get a, to get one of the items, like <laughs> Very trolly video game, yeah. I still don't even know where you get, like, the half energy usage one. I didn't even see where that part was. But apparently, like, the, the long play had three items. Double damage, one quarter, one, uh, one quarter 
vitality or spirit, whatever you want to call it, and then like half energy. We never, so, we never even found that first and um, weapon upgrade that you um, that you spotted. Oh Remember, yeah. Like the. Like, there's one that was, like, behind a wall, and it showed you that it's there. Um, it was, like, a hint that you can come back later and find it, but when we never found the secret that gets you there. But the game doesn't even show... It only shows you have four of them, so I don't know if you can even do anything with all eight. Yeah, I I don't know. The four might be the max. I think I've gone four before, but not five... I don't know. I think you said I had six when I was playing through? Yeah, because I... There was, like, one point point where you got one, and you're like... And it still showed four, and you thought maybe you didn't actually get it, and it was something else, and then you oh, got, like, right. another one later. Um, and I'm like, okay, that was, that was definitely another one. That was, that's six that you should have gotten. <clears throat> so I think there's eight in the game in total. I mean, that would make sense. If you only get four of them, that means you can just get the four to top up, and then you don't have to worry about some. <clears throat> or maybe some of them are on yeah. alternate paths. Yes, some of them are most likely only gettable for, during, um, from certain paths, so... Alright, so I'm going to mark this as beat on my spreadsheet, uh, and then I might just go back someday, and because I only need to type in like the chapter six password. So I'll just type that in and yeah, go get the best ending then. That'll probably take an hour. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. All right. It might so also just be fun to start over, just to uh, try some of the different stuff. True. Uh, you could see some different endings too that way. I mean, I wouldn't just, like go trying to find like all the different endings because there's a lot. But <laughs> I wonder if there's a video of all endings. There's a good ending guide. Just the game's endings? It's only three minutes. Yeah, this is just the one ending. Hmm. Don't know. That's interesting, though. Uh, so now, here's the problem. We finished this way faster than I expected! <laughs> like, a lot! So, uh, we have to decide on what we're playing next. However, um, are you looking for a, a game clearing sort of thing, or just like a, uh, um, a fortune cookie? I'm looking for game clearing. I'm looking for something we haven't uh, played, like haven't beaten before. I have three games in mind. Voice search. No, I'm not doing voice search. Voice search is also like 20 hours. <laughs> uh, Ender Lily is not a bad idea. But the three games I have in mind currently, there's this new horror, horror-esque game that came out on Steam, but it's only episode one. The second episode's not going to be out till next year. What the hell was that called? Uh... John, you have, like, a spreadsheet, don't you, of, like, um, game-clearing suggestions that mods and stuff have sent you? Yeah. Do you have that handy? Because I don't remember... Uh, if you... Oh, I don't have the mod one handy. Uh, but... Ah, give me a second, I can get it. The games I'm thinking of right now are The Bunny Graveyard, uh, Mega Man Battle Network Transmission, and Bubble Bobble Part 2. I'm pretty sure other uh, games that I've suggested for game clearing have all been pretty short, but I can't remember what any of them are. I'm like, what did I even suggest? Let's see here. You have suggested... Uh, Phantom 2040. And that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers that. I, like, the problem is, I want to do a vote, but I know y'all are just going to vote for Mega Man. <laughs> 
All right, you know what? I'm yeah, actually I'm curious. Let's see what the vote will actually be. Let's see what the vote actually will be. I'm not against Mega Man, obviously, because I pitched the idea, but like Grady's three, I could do Grady's three, but that's gonna have a lot of a lot of fo focus on it. So, which Mega Man are they talking about? Mega Man Battle Network Transmission, the 2D oh, okay. platforming Mega Man on GameCube. So you just kept referring to it as Mega Man. I, I was thinking of like Mega Man One. I'm like. Like, your I can, options I are Mega Man name in there. 1 and Gradius 3 after you just beat uh, Fandom 24. Yeah, I'm like, you're going for a frustration evening, aren't you? Eh. I can, Mega Man Battle Net Trans, that's all I can fit for the damn name because character limit. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, actually. Actually, right now, it's actually leaning towards uh, Bibble Babble. Might be the strength of the beefer. It's probably beefer strength, yeah. Full strength beef, baby. 47% say Bubble Bobble Part 2. 33% uh, say Mega Man Battle Network Transmission. And 19% say the Bunny Graveyard. <laughs> There's no battle in the tile, it's just network transmission. Oh, they're right, actually. Weird. I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> Alright, well... Uh... Mega Man drops January 7th, don't worry! God damn it, that fucking meme. I mean, Bubble Bobble Part Two is leading this poll. If everyone wants that, I'm willing to do Bubble Bobble Part Two, because it's a it's a game that's not normally done. Like you don't like Bubble Bobble Part Two is a rare NES cart. Most people forget there even is a Part Two to Bubble Bobble that's not the actual Part Two they designed, which was uh, Parasol Stars or Rainbow Stars, something like that. Bunny Graveyard looks really cool, but I think it'd be better to wait until all the episodes are out. Here's the problem, that could be years. It's it's basically early access. Just tell chat there's a bunny woman in Bunny Graveyard and the vote will swing in that game's favor. I mean, that's true. There is a bunny woman in there. You having a good type there, Tom? Sorry, um... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna head to bed, but um, I did want to, um... Uh, send you something to read over in just a, a bit. <laughs> oh, that's what you're typing up. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. You rarely do new games for game clearing, so Graveyard gets my vote for that novelty alone. Yeah, that's true. So I don't usually pick like a brand new game. It's just the concept was so interesting to me. All right, this seems pretty right. safe at this point with uh, 48% of the vote. Next up tonight for game clearing is going to be Bubble Bobble Part 2 for the NES. All right, uh, I'm going to go back to bed. Go uh, rest, dude. Have a good stream. Take it easy. And by the way... Okay, you click. So about Defenders of the Earth, there was an episode where one of the kids was getting bullied in school... Uh, then he asks Mandrake if he can use his library to do his homework, the library where he keeps all his magic books. And Mandrake just says, yeah, sure. And the kid uses one of his books to summon a demon. <laughs> so what you're saying is I gotta go find this TV show and watch it, right? All right, so, uh, Bubble Bobble. Part two is what we're playing next for game playing, but we're gonna go to break here proper. Then we're gonna go to Art Block, and during Art Block, we'll get to uh, Dream Watch. Let's drop some eggs. I don't think Bubba's here. Oh, he's gone all week, right, okay. 
Uh, Jacko Center for 70. Clockwork Pretzels for 25. Xander the Goose for 22. The Italian Zone 22 for 64. Terra G404 for 75. Eternal Traveler 21 for 64. Shino Do Good for 81. Cat and Kid with a gift sub bomb. Techie Man for 74. Cat and Kid with another gift sub bomb? Now we hit Josh, apparently. Uh, Defang Shadow for 19. Red Lion Official for 10. The passwords on Phantom 24 are longer than the passwords for a Game Shark. Oh my god, you're correct. Silver Kaze Ninja for 83. Son of Donut for 13. Buttery for 42. Gex for 115. Pretty Pink Pinecone Tail for 84. Sith Ark gifted a sub to Robot Satan. Crazy DK for 65, Amethyst Leslie for 61, Trojan Horse 711 for 102, Relic 162 for 76, The G Girl 2020 for 34, and Captain Kid for 30. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Another round of Phantom 24. This game is the game is that is far better than expected. Can't wait to see what else you have up your sleeve tonight. Alright, what's in the carton? I've got two here from Mike the Cat. Duke takes a trip. Sever I go. <laughs> well, he went to Saturn. And the wisdom of four kids, Sanji 2 from Mike the Cat. <laughs> My energy is boiling over like a big soup. <laughs> Stop messing around. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. All right. Going to break. Grab some cocoms when we come back. Art block and bubble bubble part two. See you guys in a bit. Weird combination. Your dream watch and the book of, of uh, the Lath of Heaven. A sci-fi book where the main character's dreams come true and he's seeing therapists for it, but nobody else is aware that things are becoming true. God, I don't know how I would feel about the things coming true in my dream. Because there's some questionable things in there. Back in a bit. I know, I think Smite said it's a little rough. I don't know if they said rough is in like just hard to complete or just rough is in like it's hard. We'll see. Plans may change on this one when we see this game is too difficult, but I don't know. I was looking around the room for games I wanted to clear because I did not have a list ready and this was one of the ones that jumped to mind. Does. Okay, cool. No cleaning needed.
Chris Gold. Yo. How you doing? So, just doing all right. Tr comprehending that the fact that you glitched the fucking elevator and apparently that was what you were supposed to do anyway. Not <laughs> <laughs> man. Break your chip, and then being like, "Oh, I'm such a fantastic gamer. It doesn't matter. The glitch works in my favor. It doesn't matter." I didn't know it worked in my favor. That's the thing. It's like Just magic. It's this. wizard magic. I got that wizard magic. I, I see. A, a wizard. You're a wizard, Johnny. Finally. However, your power only affects video games and nothing else. It's a really shitty power. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even works. like spit out it's free money amazing. at the ATM or anything like that. It's just like, oh yeah, video games might sometimes work in your favor. Great. Call the game genie last I checked. I mean that that's kind of what it is in a way. Yo, you think you can like gl glitch any games for me so I could just get all the achievements or something? If One only it was that easy. Yeah, come on, Will Smith, help me out. <laughs> what? Because he's the genie in the live action in Aladdin. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were making a Shazam reference. Like, there wasn't Will Smith. The fuck you talking about? God, no. <laughs> you are more likely nope, to make he's... a Shazam reference than a live action Aladdin reference, Maniacal. That's just the energy you have. It's fair, but to be fair, I, I've never actually seen... Uh, was it Kazam or uh, Shazam? Campbell? Or yeah, Kazam. Oh, it's Kazam. I got yeah. confused with Shazam. Fuck, it's, it's, John. It's, yeah, this was you this time. <laughs> I know it was me. Yeah, I want. I, I, I want to watch Kazam. I want to watch Steel at some point, but for all the wrong reasons. I mean, those are the only reasons why you watch those. <laughs> John, your glitch magic is a talent you possess and not something you learned how to do. Thus, you're a sorcerer. Oh, okay. So that's the actual. Uh... That's the, the breaking of the definition here. I'd say Michael has not mentioned live-action 101 Dalmatians energy. To be fair, I saw the live-action one way before I ever saw the animated one. That oh, doesn't, right, that doesn't right. They did, do a live they did do a live-action for that one, like, so much earlier. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I forgot about that. I actually enjoyed watching that one, at least. Probably when I was younger. I think, didn't they have a sequel, too? I don't know. Live-action? I don't know. Animated it did, and it had the show, too. There was a show? That one I do remember. Yeah, yeah there was an animated show. Yeah, okay, where they all live on the barn that they but go it's... to at the end of the first movie. But they specifically only really followed, like, three of the pups. Yeah, Lucky and... I don't remember the other ones. Plucky. Spot? No. Oh my god, you're... You have unlocked memories. Great, now I gotta fucking look this shit up. Son of a <laughs> bitch. I have unlocked memories. <clears throat> All right, let's do alerts, and we'll go into Art Block, and then we can go to Dream Watch there, too. CD Chow says, not enough pass, too much word. Anonymous again, happy birthday, which we realized was Xander. Happy birthday to you. Captain Kid says, I gave the gift subs because my mo- oh, I read that one out too earlier. Again, sorry, Captain Kid. Hopefully you're having some fun tonight. And actually, that was all the alerts. Okay, so we basically had read them all. So let's go into Art Block. Art block. I'm wondering. Okay. All right. Art block starts here in an interesting spot. So let's just go into art block here. Let's just do it. Let me uh, get my notepad out. Okay. So apparently it was Lucky, Cat Pig, Raleigh, and I think another one was Spot. But a spot was a chicken. I remember the theme song to the show, but I barely remember the show. Same, I kind of remember it. Also, apparently, Corella Deville was actually in the show too. Yes, I remember that. Damn, that lady survived a fucking train head on. Yeah. What are you talking about? That's not, that's not even in the fucking uh, movie, though. That is not the the it's heavily it's, implied it's, in the movie that she gets she hits a train. Like, like the she was. No, in no, the, in in the, the, uh, the animated, animated one. one. No, I went and watched the original animated recently. Like, she's not, like, hit by a train. She just, like, crashes on the side of a road, and that that's it. Oh, I thought that... It's oh, just... is that it? I thought for sure the was car, it? like, is implied to get hit by a train, too. 
No, that's fucking I, all of her company. No. I mean, that, that was usually always... I mean, that was that too. But Nigel, son of a... Oh my god. Now we gotta... <laughs> Alright, go to... So we'll go to the wiki entry. Meanwhile, we'll go to this piece here. This is from uh, sitting here turning O2 to CO2. John head slides into frame. Zoom into head door. Dream watch title card placeholder. Hi, John. Just want to share this storyboard for the transition I mentioned in the other stream. The drawing was made for the pitch, so anyone feel free to make a more usable prototype or design if John wishes to go for this format. Thank you in chat for all the chaos, art, and fun. I like this design at all. Oh, uh, sorry. I like this design a lot, rather. Let me rephrase that correctly. Uh, but Draco surprised me today by actually having made his own. So, uh, let's go into it. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Dreamwatch 2023 continues! News! Uh, she left. There's no other way to describe it. She left. Dream, September 30th to October 1st. Another fragment. Two women in a spaceship. One dressed like a pirate captain, kind of like Captain Harlock-esque. She's standing in front of a ship steering wheel. She says she's on a journey to find her parents, so she's traveling the galaxy. Post note, Captain has long brown hair, could be Blossom, but seemed taller. Unsure of her because Captain Harlock is very tall. Other girl did seem familiar. Her outfit had Reese's VTuber colors, but I didn't feel it was Reese. That could just be an alternate version of Reese. I originally wrote weird kid vibe, as in like it was Reese and I's kid, but like it, that didn't make any sense at all. So I don't think that was the case either, because I had the discussion with, uh, with Trey. And then I had no dream yesterday. She didn't show up in it. Like, sorry, last night slash this morning. The but also that fragment I read out, the one the one small paragraph, that was the only part of the dream I remembered. Everything else was just fragmented, almost like static. And then today's dream was also static. The only part of the dream I remembered was for some reason Bob Barker was getting really fucking tore up on vodka. <laughs> That was the only part of the dream I remembered. Everything else was static. I couldn't remember it when I woke up. So I lost the ability to to dream. Or at least remember my dreams. So I'm just like, okay, cool. I guess like maybe I'm just on like some break from it. But then I started noticing a couple weird things. Uh, first off, I've started dancing around more. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I feel lighter emotionally. Like... Yesterday, I was literally, like, dancing around the house to a, a song I couldn't hear, but knew the rhythm to. So I was just dancing around, like, like very light feeling and just feeling good. And then... Today happened. Last time, I mentioned I did not have a dream with her. Someone had posted that they saw her in their dream. But they said it after I mentioned it, so I figured they were trolling me, and they said as such. This time, I hadn't mentioned it yet. Aerie posted this picture on Twitter with the caption, Someone who appeared in my dream this morning. This is literally all I saw before the scene changed. Now the hair color is a little bit wrong, but the hoodie's correct and so is the physical build. So I said, is this the part where I tell you she left my dreams two nights ago or not? Where's the part where, she actually start, where we actually start talking about the dream? Yeah. Legit, she said she was looking for her parents and took off in a spaceship with someone who looked vaguely like Reese's VTuber model. She also was dressed like Captain Harlock, though, so I just figured it was a weird dream fragment again, which she never showed up last night. Aerie said she probably used my mind as a subspace highway then because there was no ship, just her in the void. Uh, I'm trying to find the part where Aerie mentions that they literally just showed up for one second and immediately blinked out. Yeah, here we go. The hair color seems a bit lighter than I'm used to her looking like, but the build and her hairstyle matches her first appearance. Very distinctly, I recall the hair being what I could describe as a golden brown, somewhere between sandy blonde and golden, but the other than the hoodie, that was all I made. All this happened, all this is quite weird since she didn't say or do anything, just appeared and disappeared in a flash. And apparently I said her hair color is closer to mine or closer to Rose's, more in between there. So, uh, I think she dream hopped. <laughs> She's literally not in my dreams at the moment. 
You ever think about what you've done? <laughs> also, I'm, uh, a John. I think we had a Mandela effect with that scene with Corell in the train. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, I th completely thought she was chasing after them. They were just on the train tracks, and I thought they drove out, but she hit it head on. Yeah, she, no, she avoids her, the train, her right? Two no, there's no train. That's the thing. Oh. Yeah, like there, there was never a train in that movie. It was that's that's all. It was all just when they were chasing it. It's just her, her two mooks hit her, hit her on the side and they crash off. off Weird. To the side I've, of I've the never road. seen Oliver and Company. Oh, it's a fantastic movie. I love it. Weird. I grew up on it's it. not too. It's not too bad. But yeah, that's now that's how that guy <laughs> in that movie. You ever goes seen out. Oliver Twist? I don't think. Wait. Oliver and Company is Oliver Twist. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, to go back go back to the dream talk, I have no idea what to expect now. I don't know what's going on, because she literally seems to have disappeared. <laughs> she might be back in a dream or two, but right now, she's not. So there's no current dream watch. Dream watch could be over simply because she just left. Dude, don't, don't say it, that, because then it's just like she's going to start pop popping up in other people's dude, dreams. Dude, that's going to be fucking hilarious if she starts throwing up other people's dreams. That's going to make me laugh. If I start, like like having no dreams anymore and I, if I can't remember any more of my dreams suddenly but everyone else is seeing her randomly appear for a second and disappear that's fucking weird man this mystery kicks ass this mystery just kicks him so much ass every time I swear if she appears in my dream she's gonna be in for one hell of a ride <laughs> also John what have you done what I don't, have you done I don't know done? I didn't do it on purpose uh -huh. I was enjoying the mystery, that's all! Yeah, well, this clue just became a full blown Scooby Doo mystery now. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what the next stream she shows up in. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to say to her. I'm just like, how was your trip? Did you have fun? <laughs> and there's your one question. Oh my god. And to be fair, it's a pretty you adamant, it's a pretty good doing? question to ask right now. <laughs> Wait, she said she was looking for her parents and went to Aerie, creator of Pond Pond. Yeah, I know. I noticed that part too. What? She went to one what? of the alt creators, one of the core alt creators. Dude, you got like a fucking like succubus on your hands, like an actual one. It's fucking wild. Now the question is, is Jumny going to have a dream? Yo, if I... Jumny has a dream, like I'm going to straight up call an exorcist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, Pon Pon's birthday was last week, so it also syncs up a little bit, and it's spooky season. So maybe, maybe my alt was just like, "Fuck it, let's just make it hell Halloween," or my subconscious. Let's just make it hell for everyone right now. For, pretty much. I mean, the other thing too is, um, I like the cost. Like it was the first of October that I saw her in the costume, so I just thought it was a costume. Maybe she was cosplaying for like a Halloween thing. It was a third person dream where I wasn't in the dream. So, I don't know, but that's all, like I said, it also was a fragment. I haven't been able to, like, solidify my dreams since. It's weird. What did I miss? God, I came man. here because someone mentioned it. Oh, I'm, ca I'm catching everyone up on Dreamwatch. And how they seem to have jumped into your dream, at least temporarily. Alright, so yeah, that's, that's just, that's Dreamwatch right now. We have no idea what the heck's going on next. I'll keep you all posted. Meanwhile, let's go back to actual art block. Bon Bon. Are you my brother Rex Racer? <clears throat> no, she's not your brother Rex Racer. You are his brother. Happy belated birthday to Pon Pon from Spin79. Sorry for being late on this. My own birthday was the same day and I was driving back home for the weekend. Happy birthday, Spin. Anywho, I've taken a wide list of liberties in Pond's design just for fun, like a more purple skin tone, a single horn, and mini glasses. But now it's time to get on with the draw Topper prompts. Also, guess the inspiration for the pose. I'm not sure where the inspiration looks very familiar. But, uh, this is an interesting, more demonic design. Pretty kick ass. Hell yeah. Thank you, Spin. Watch, she's gonna be like MIA for like an entire year, then she'll show back up either like nothing ever happened and be like, I'm back, bitches! <laughs> I believe that second one. Yeah, that seems like that. I actually, now that I think about it, someone gave me a dream to read out too, because apparently I was in their dream. I haven't looked at it yet though. But I feel, I, let's go through our block first, and then I'll read the dream out. Tiger containment field, or sorry, file failed. Do not approach. Man, there's a little bug here. 
from Spin as well. Several hours of panic trying to come up with an idea later. I somehow actually did it! I thought that the stress of trying to do this one would burn me out from not doing any others, but nope. I held strong and made this, and I'm happy. Anywho, yeah, Tiger's in the containment field. You better stay back and deal with it, motherfucker. Uh, I think she's gonna have no problem getting out of that. Just, just a hunch on that. Thank you, Spin. And your dreams need to stop before you create an eldritch god? I think that already happened. Next up. Ahem. No. <laughs> what? My mother was a saint. Get out! From sitting here turning O2 to CO2. Here is something more traditional, I'm assuming, in the Proton household. Bagel tattling on his dad to Lucagen. This meme felt appropriate given the circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad that I actually pissed off the cat by meowing at him. But I take it as a compliment on my meowing. Thanks, O2. Next up is Jomni. It's Jomni. It's bigger Jomni. From Shino. Shino do good. Hey, hopefully all, I can do all the daily draws for the Draw October prompts. First off, it's Jomni. Abusing their artist powers again like the nefarious kitty they are. No one is shocked that they would do this. Thank you, Shino. This is a cool idea. Next up, you're going to see a lot of Draw October prompts because we're in October now. Starting with this one here as well from Grease Lightning. It's Jawtober, so here's me! I think that's the prompt I gave myself. Uh, that's the prompt. I gave myself a tale, I redesigned myself since I wanted to update it. Hopefully I can do Jawtober consistently enough. Thank you, Grease. She's probably hiding very well and just gonna come out and scare you on Halloween. No, see, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna stop, like, thinking about her before I go to bed. And then she's just gonna show up casually in the next dream. That's just what's gonna happen. It's eventually I'm just gonna be like, all right, well, I, I can dream normal again, I guess. Or like, I'm gonna have a week straight of where I can't remember my dreams at all, and then suddenly it's gonna be like, super vivid back on the weekend. John, if she shows up in my dream, I have a terrible feeling she's gonna become some sort of eldritch bloodborne god. <laughs> Next up, from Grease Lightning as well, John Koo's cover of God Ish was pretty lit. I, re I really just wanted to draw John Koo with all the Miku stuff in current media. Project Voltage has been pretty lit, so expect a design uh, from that one to show up in the future. Anyways, it's October, and since it's the song uh, is religion inspired, this means it's scary, right? Ish. Just like it's God ish. This is cool. Thank you, Greased. I told you she was gonna go on a hiatus and come back for the winter finale. Oh my god. Like Mariah Carey. October from I'm Not Batman. Just a non nondescript post of an artist here. Yes, sir. Definitely not because it's the art prompt for the first day in a whole month of drawing. I mean, psh, I'm two days late as is. Why would you guys think I'd be submitting a drawing like this for that reason when I could be drawing something else? Like boobs for some reason. And, and... Blood. Ah, who am I kidding? Draw October day one. Artist. Happy drawing. Thank you, Batman. Enjoy the blood. She shows up in your dream dressed in Christmas gear and she is how your first, how you first hear all I want for Christmas for you for the first time this year. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. That would be fucking hilarious. I have an art block question. Can we post commissions we paid for? If it's relevant to the stream, yes. It has to be relevant to the stream or the art community. If the community's dreams go too out of hand from all this, can we call it Nightmare on Fortune Cookie? Sure. Next up, from Chloe, Drawtober community member. Hee <laughs> hee. So with Drawtober being a thing, I basically just have whole months of various situations of Doodle Cherry in, so that's great. Day two of Drawtober is community member, so I reckon it'd be fun to draw Lucy roping Cherry into Banui shenanigans. In any case, hope y'all enjoy. I do enjoy, that's a nice bunny suit she's in too. It works great with the hoodie, even though she looks very unimpressed. Also not doing it for every day, but just sticking up to streaming and days only, or dis streaming days and disc only, even if, if I remember correctly, you skip Buru art posts for disc only. Just going at a casual pace for all this. I do not show Buru posts during disc only. They get shown the next stream, which would be Wednesday. But I do show art posts on Twitter and that tag me and or have the disc only tag. <laughs> or she just leaves. Huh. Fudge. Beans. God damn it even. I don't know. She might be back. It's just really funny that she literally told me she's going away to find her parents. I just thought it was funny. That she just never came back. <laughs> she might be back tomorrow, I don't know. I need you to understand I had six of these drawings done beforehand and she just left. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. I can't control what she does. That's why I don't know her name. <laughs> 
You so is she your subconscious? I don't know. If she left my brain, I don't know. <laughs> my subconscious can't leave my brain, right? <laughs> you think that. However, this is also you. The yeah, I more know. I the more I hear about this, I swear, the more I keep thinking this is like a Black Mirror episode. I swear. I say this mostly as a joke. What if she shows up at your house in the real waking world? Then the first thing I'm going to say is, what the fuck is your name? <laughs> Best thing is, is she's a psychic entity. She can move at the speed of thought and thus she can hit multiple people. I fuck, this is so good, dude. This mystery gets better and better. I fucking love this. And it, I was gonna say, I was originally gonna say this art, this uh, dream watch was gonna be so boring because the dream there was like next to nothing. And then Aerie posted that fucking picture before I even mentioned it was happening. And it's just fucking wild, man. This kicks ass. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's, it's hilarious and kind of an, enjoying to get this like pure sense of like joy out of that. Maybe this is why you felt mentally lighter, no subconscious, so no more thoughts, head empty there. See, that was- maybe! Yeah, I have no more subconscious, that would make perfect sense. I, I mean, I also felt physically lighter, because I also weighed myself and I was dead on 200, so that was good. Nice. But, but, yeah. Her talking to Reese was her trying to find her version of Reese? I think so, that's why- that's probably why the person I saw next to her had Reese's colors and looked like her VTuber model, but didn't quite look like our Reese. It was weird. But also, again, she was- Blossom was dressed as Captain Harlock. <laughs> so what was I supposed to do? I'm like, alright, whatever. Just have fun. Hey, hey! Huh? Hey, John! Oh, no. Guess what I'm doing? No, I'm in your dreams. Please stop transing your gender! Huh? God damn it. From Magical Myra, first and probably last, since I don't have a lot of free time to draw and I don't think there's a lot of room for the rather abstract art I'm best at. But what's going on in your dream journal stuck this idea in my head. Now, I'm not saying that these dreams mean that you're transgender, but my goodness, there are a lot of trans themes in these dreams. If anyone wants to do a better job with this than I did, feel free to do uh, with the comic and or transcript what you please. Yes, I realize how dangerous a statement that can be. And then there's the transcript below. Yeah, uh... A lot of people are like, does this, does this mean you're trans? I think you're trans. I'm, I, I don't think it, in this case, I don't think that's the case. I'm gonna just say I don't think that's the case. But I can definitely see why y'all thought that for a bit. But the fact that this comic gets posted the, the fucking day after she left my subconscious is hilarious. <laughs> so I don't even know at this point anymore what's going on. I don't even know what she represents anymore, because she literally left. She left after I thought I figured out her name, which is also funny. <laughs> Question, did Blossom have an eye patch in your dream like Captain Harlock? No. But her, she, had her, she had her other eye covered by her hair. I think it caused a breach in reality to let, to let in one of the alts? Yeah, probably. If she shows up in my dreams, I'll let you know? Cool. Appreciate the heads up. God. Thank you for the comic magical. Next up. From Tree. Happy OC Tober! This month I'm drawing one or two OCs of mine and others a day. Whoa. And for the second day I decided to draw the Pond cool. Sisters. That's I love, love, love Pond's birthday Mother outfit design, so I want to draw her in it, alongside Mercy in a matching yet also unique outfit. I'm honestly not that great at traditional inking, but I want to practice, so I'm taking bonus requests for this month from the community. So what community characters and alts do you want to see? If she shows up in my dream, should I be concerned? Maybe a bit. Your therapist is gonna have a field day? Oh my god, is she ever. Fuck yeah. The ultimate troll, leaving before she can confirm or deny you figured out her name. Yeah, that's that's something I would do. That's exactly something I would do. So I'm sure she's still my subconscious, but what a fucking troll. This is very lovely. Nicely done on this tree. Hell yeah. I just want to know who left their glasses in my dream last night. All I can remember is glasses. See, that's the thing. She doesn't wear glasses. or we ne I've never seen her wear glasses. She's only had contacts on. It's, you may have caught a glimpse of chair this morning. Oh, man. All right. I'm sorry to drive everyone insane now. This is awesome. This mystery fucking rules. <laughs> Thank you, Tree, for the lovely art. I'm just going to get in these last three pieces here, and then we're done and hop in the game. Oh, yeah. 
Hi, John, it's me, Dream Girl. What the? Wait a minute, this isn't a dream, this is real. Reese! <laughs> Love you, babe. From Pluto, Reese has the chance to do the funniest thing ever right now, not gonna lie. I mean, I wouldn't oh know it's her. Oh my god. I wouldn't know it's her. Also off topic, Persona 5 has taken over my entire life. You don't get it. I've sunk over 100 hours into it already. I'm losing it. I'm at the Persona 5. I am the Persona 5. I love the Phantom Thieves and their shenanigans. Okay, but John, what if, what if, what if, like, your dream girl is just you from another universe and she'll pass her powers on to you and you get to fuck with another universe's version of yourself by going into his dreams? Wouldn't that be funny? That would kick ass. That would absolutely kick ass. So I hope that's how it starts to work. I hope I start ho hopping into someone else's dreams and it's, like, another John. That'd be cool. Continue the endless cycle of trolling. I have seat cup <laughs> breasts. Uh, that's one way to introduce yourself. What's your name? Hey! <laughs> what a jerk. Personally, if I if it were me, I'd hang out with myself in the dream for years until we're basically family and our bond is indestructible. And then just be like, hey, by the way, my name is. And then the dream ends. What a fucking troll. What a fucking troll. God damn it, Cherry. Thank you, Pluto, for both of these. And the last one I have here. John forever trolling his other selves. It's just part of the circle of life, baby. <laughs> Princess Skylar, this is gonna look confusing as fuck if you don't specialize a little in music, but this is a very, very rough work in progress of something I'm doing related to good old Dream Girl, who I'm assuming everyone is agreeing on calling her Blossom or Cherry, from what I recall. Also, John, this is a question relating to it. What's your end goal in finding or confronting Dream Girl? Just learning her name or more than that? I wanna learn what her name is and then what she represents. Sherry, you better not fuck off the moment I actually am able to make a song out of you, I swear to god. This story kicks ass. This is so good. This is so good, dude. <laughs> this is the funniest option that could have come out of all of this. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, Skylar. I'll keep- I'll keep you all in Dreamwatch, I guess. Oh my god. Alright, let's get to our game. Well, actually, wait, no, shit, I said I was gonna read out a story. I was gonna read out a dream, rather. I think you'll be surprised of this donation I had. I just did no rush to read it. From Clay Dogs. Well, 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 ten years since I've subbed to your Twitch channel during the last part of the Dead Space streams. Then the rest is history with all the content and events I watched on this channel. All I can say, John, is thank you for being Mondo Cool. Oh, thank you, Clay. Appreciate it. Gold member PB as well. Congratulations on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. It says obligatory birthday luck donation. Alright, let me find this dream I was sent. And read this out. Endless Beat says. I had a crazy weird dream with you in it just a couple hours ago. Would it be alright if I sent it to well you to done. read later? Beat, I should ask if you're here, do you want me to read this on stream or not? Yes, please. Okay. Dream is titled Out of Control. Endless Beat had this dream. Oh, hang on. We gotta make All this right. official. Hang on. Let's let's make this official. <laughs> let's do it. Breaking news! Dream alert! You actually got a graphic set up, didn't you? Drake, Drake, go surprise me with it. Uh, out of control. I was in my bedroom with the ceiling light on as if it was still 10 p.m. Central Time. I was in the middle of watching a Proton John stream on Twitch while under the covers and with my laptop sitting beside me as usual. John was playing what at first looked like a Mario Party style board game, but without any of the Mario aspects. In a dull blur, the game quickly changed, and without warning, I suddenly found myself inside an interactive cartoon FMV game he was playing. Note 1. The game was one of those 3D adventure games where it's first person and you click a direction and move a couple screens in that direction. I believe John and Luca played a game like that together on stream once. That's missed, yeah. Imagine that, but in a more cartoony, almost Disney-like art style. I seem to be placed in the point of view of the protagonist that John was controlling. I appear to be in a brightly and warmly lit factory, which seemed to serve as an evil lair. I notice there's a human-like figure standing to the immediate left of me, but I don't turn far enough to see who it is. I hear John and his co-coms talk for a bit, and I see that he just defeated a major boss. This saves a Disney-style princess from a dangerous machine, which I believe was filled with a boiling liquid. Note 2. Side note, the CoComs were very clearly Cole and Gex by the sound of their voices. However, I could not make out a single word they were saying. After triumphant fanfare and with me and the protagonist's point of view, I am finally able to get a better look at the human-like figure. 
It was a girl that was slightly shorter than me, of average width, and with brown hair. She giggled, congratulates me, and tells me that defeating that boss unlocks something important. She continues, saying, I am, but her dialogue got prematurely cut due to the game being about as old as King's Quest Seven, uh, and not being able to run properly on a modern computer. The girl smiles and begins to run away. I then see we are now in a small wooden room with a few surrounding boxes of supplies, a ladder, a larger door in front of me, and a smaller door on the ceiling. The room slightly resembles my laundry room. The girl goes up the ladder, and I follow her. I then hear John say something uh, on the lines of, All right, let's see if this still works. I, I finish climbing up the ladder and out at the ceiling door to find myself at the top of a small, wallless treehouse. I don't see the girl, so the first instinct is to jump down. Somehow I know that this is a terrible idea and won't result in something bad happening within the game. To my surprise, the prince, uh, prince from before is down below and catches me. In slightly compressed audio, he says, Gotcha! That was a close one. By the tone of his voice, I can tell John is upset by this and says something of the lines of, Oh, I can't do that anymore! Heavily implying that jumping down from that treehouse would have actually killed me and or is the source of a big meme in that game. Note 3. It's possible that John was trying to kill me on purpose so that the games would, game would reset me far back enough for me to probably hear the girl's dialogue. <laughs> John tries this method two more times with the final attempt having me jump to the far left, but it ends this with the same result, down to the exact same voice clip that plays from the prince. Still seemingly desperate to see her again, I quickly change course as John selects for me to go to a place that slightly resembles my kitchen instead of going back up the ladder. Once there, John clicks for me to move left a bit, and I trip over a large, comically placed nail that's crooked from being poorly hammered. This causes the game to instantly bring up a screen with a picture of a tipped over and derpy Bambi that says, Game Over. John laughs hysterically, causing me and the Cocoms to laugh along with him. He immediately regains himself, realizing that tripping made me lose the last bit of money I had. Note 4. I only had roughly a couple quarters worth of money left in game currency. I vaguely saw them fall out of my pocket right before the screen popped up. Resulting in me going bankrupt, which in this game is apparently an instant game over. John clicks an option to continue. I am placed back towards the entrance to the kitchen. John clicks for me to go left again, and within milliseconds, the exact same events play out, causing the same screen to pop up. Note 5. Somehow I knew that tripping over a poorly hammered nail is a completely random occurrence and has a very small chance of happening at various set points in the game. Either John glitched it, causing that event to always happen in that specific spot, or he was just incredibly unlucky. Back to the stream, John is understandably angrier this time, but still laughing at how dumb this game is as a, in a whole. Meanwhile, I laugh so hard at the situation that I end up knocking myself out of John's control of the protagonist and consequently waking myself up from the dream. Extra notes. I don't normally dream of anything related to Proton John or his streams. In fact, this might actually be a first for me. The dream took place entirely during the game's nighttime. Parts with me and or I, in quotation marks, refer to the game's protagonist, but with me and his point of view... Uh, my dreams tend to vary greatly in cohesiveness. This was definitely one of my more cohesive dreams, and very little music played during the dream except for an occasional fanfare and a brief game over. Can I just point out, and chat was losing it for a minute there, where it was a girl that was slightly shorter than me of average width with brown hair? <laughs> this fucking storyline kicks ass! This dream storyline kicks ass! Hi, buddy. <coughs> Sorry, mister. I was telling the crazy stories of how the dream girl left. She left and I haven't had any dreams ever since. Yeah. But other people are Cook. seeing her in her dreams now. <laughs> her in the dream. She's gonna show up in Reese's dream. Hi, buddy. Yeah, headbutt that. Yeah, good boy. Meow at him. Meow at so him again. Did he eat just then? Because he actually ate before I started the stream. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Like a good boy, buddy. Yeah, catch up on your food. Aw, oh, big floppies. <laughs> now don't offend your child this time. Okay, fine. I won't meow at my son. Yeah, don't. No, do it. Meow at him. You didn't start something. You released some sort of mental virus, John. <laughs> John, this is a horror movie. You did. I had a terrible dream. It really is at this point. I swear to Re God. Reese apparently had terrible dreams last night, and I did not dream at all except for that little vignette of Bob Barker getting drunk. I like Wait, to think what? I was, like, leaking out of her dream into your dream. Everyone's having weird-ass <laughs> dreams now that I'm no longer dreaming. Okay, here's a weird question. Do you actually have a dream catcher? Uh, I don't have a dream catcher. Reese, did we have a dream catcher in the house? I thought we did. The one in the hallway? Yeah, we got loads. Yeah, so we got a bunch of dream catchers. 
Mm. Oh. Might need a few more. I think you'd need one above the bed. I'm pretty sure we have one above the bed. <laughs> you need another one? You're sure, yeah. Here's the question. How big is the dream catcher? Some of them are pretty big. Because you need a bigger one. What is it? We have various dream catchers around the house, yeah. They need to be bigger. Bigger! So I, I told you what happened earlier today, right, Reese? How uh, we Bobble the just... ha like had the girl appear in a dream and actually drew a picture of her. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else sent me a dream that they had last night that also had her in it. Because you keep talking about it and you're manifesting it to other people. But it's so fucking cool that it's happening, though. Oh my god. It's like subliminal advertising. It's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, you're just subliminally manifesting it to everybody by because you keep talking about it. But it's funny that it happened when I didn't dream of it. It's funny. And John, I need you to be honest. Is Blossom the girl from the ring? No, she's not Sadaka. She's not Sadaka. Otherwise, I'd be dead because it's been more than a week. It, you're just immune to it. That's all. My, my subconscious and altered like used to trying to kill me. It's just like, ah, fuck it. He'll live for now. Alright, well, now, let's hop into the game proper here now. It's time for some Bubba Bobble, part two. Bubba Bobble? I realize I never even changed also, the game. Oops. Also, is this like, the, are they supposed to be like humans that could turn into creatures, or? So, originally I... in Bubba Bobble 1, they were uh, kids that got turned into monsters. And at the end of the game, they got turned back into humans. But then, what are you sniffing that for, buddy? It's been there for weeks. But, but in, in part two, like, depending on the storyline, they either just permanently became monsters or they had the ability to switch back and forth. Okay. I'm surprised he's staying in this long. Because I don't think I've ever seen them as humans. Same. And it's time. He's done. He's done his visit. Thank you for your visit, Bagel. <laughs> Can I point out the most annoying thing about that theme song that plays is the fact that that one last note that just kind of hangs. A <laughs> <laughs> pseudo sequel you mentioned before with them is Rainbow Islands. Yeah, because there's Rainbow Islands and then there's Parasol Stars. All right, so we got three wizards hanging out, watching Bub and his girlfriend just hanging out a tree, and then she gets put in a bubble and carried away by wizard magic. Which makes Bub so mad. Or I guess Bublin, I think, is his human name. He turns back into Bub. And goes after them. Just listen to the music on the, the theme, the end here. And the last note is what pisses me off. I don't know if you oh, heard I it. Think I... I... <laughs> I can't even turn it off. I, I heard it. <laughs> uh, I had to turn yeah, it off about... because suddenly there was a drum roll. <laughs> it was like yeah, a I was march say, going I, on. I, I, I could see why you hate it. There was a drum roll. It makes no sense. It's out of sync. Yeah. The sky had a wonder baby. Wow, well, congratulations for the sky. That sounds, that sounds really The sky had a wonder baby. The wonder baby. Well, you know what time it is, folks. The shoot wonder baby. It's oh, yes. yes. Motherfucker. Yes.
Ailita, mm. thank you so much for the raid. I love how the spoopy raid is more deranged than the normal. I mean, I would hope it would be. It's spoopy. Spooky. All right. Spooky Are you guys ready spooky. for American uh, Thanksgiving next month? And not this Canadian Thanksgiving that's next week, apparently? Yeah, Canadian Thanksgiving is next week. <laughs> now it is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. Oh, wow. These actually got, like, way better backgrounds. This has more oh, yeah. color, for one thing. Oh, there's, like, different moves, too. Like, you can make yourself fat. All right. That's it. That's the move. You just make yourself fat. It doesn't do anything helpful. Uh, no, you can, you can charge up your bubbles, basically. I love how he was just floating like he had no controls. Like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Bubble Bubble Part 2. I haven't seen this in years. I gave chat three options. This is what they picked. It's between this, uh, the Rabbit Killer, or whatever the other game was called. Uh, the Rabbit, Rabbit Graveyard. Graveyard. Rabbit Graveyard, yeah. And uh, Mega Man Network Transmission. Yeah. Round three. So, now, from what I remember, I think Smite did a game clearing of this a while back. He said it was kind of rough to finish, and I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> like, I don't know if it has limited continues or what. Well, let's find out together, shall we? Oh, so this is apparently another rare NES game? Yes. Apparently Shit. so, yes. Oh, okay. Time for the tradition. Oh, yeah. Let's see how bad it is. So this is what I have... Uh, well, not complete in box. The manual is a copy. But uh, I do have the... Damn it. <clears throat> I do have the uh, the box. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> so, just the game by itself. No box, no nothing. 400 <laughs> bucks. Nice. All right. A complete copy is going to set you back about 1050 bucks. Yeah, that sounds about right. So is this one of those, like, you got to do it all in one go kind of games? I don't know. I hope not. That would <clears> suck. <throat> but it might very well be. Oh, dear. God, I we'll, just we'll love seeing... We'll find out. If, if we can, then we'll just move on to another game. Like, we've done that before with some games. Like, remember when we tried to do Bubsy for game clearing? Oh, uh, yeah, because that's also one, all, all, all in one. Hey, there's a dude just flip, fucking flipping us off. Look at this asshole. Damn. Wow. It's not, it's not quite what the middle finger, but still. Aim, aim, Imagine aim, if Cherry aim, showed aim. up just for Canadian Thanksgiving to be polite, then bounces, <clears throat> knowing that pretending to... that no, Knowing that pretending not, that nothing happened will piss John off more than something actually trolly. Oh, she's not going to tell me what she, the fuck she's actually doing. Also, there's, there's no peanuts... Way. Dude, that's still a lot for some game collectors. Like, $400 is nothing to sneeze at. It's really not, no. If you have a spare no. $400 that you don't know what to do with, throw it at John. I mean, sure, I'd love $400. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> or one of us. I mean, yeah, that wait, works. Wait, I mean, one of us. Shoot, works, yes. But it is Can his I stream. Have, I want $400. Oh, I do, too, but it also is John's stream. <laughs> so what you're telling me is I just need to start streaming more often. Then I could ask, hey, give me $400. I mean, to be fair, I don't normally ask for $400, either. <laughs> you ask for, like, smaller increments, usually. I don't usually ask well, for I... any money, to be fair. I mean, you ask for, for like, charity stuff, but obviously that's charity. Char that's charity different. stuff is different, though, man. Like, if we're, if we're marking the line there. <laughs> the 2.9 mil? That wasn't even my idea! That was, yeah, was like about... Pluto. No, no, that one was isn't. That was some. Yeah, that was somebody else's. A collector <laughs> thought it was well, first. It was someone's idea, and their chat inflated it. And then uh -huh. they inflated they added, it. Yes, I know what I said. Yeah, I, he, he knows what he's point. saying. He knows what he's saying. And then <laughs> they Just added the more bells and whistles to it to sweeten the deal. Thank you. And then oh, that's how it, it came to have... be. Was they that was that five continues. to four? Or was that a countdown? I can't tell. Uh, we'll find out next time we game over. I assume that was five and used up one. Maybe I can earn extra ones. Oh my god! Dang. 
The Bristol game has like a password system, if I recall, right? Yeah. Okay. This one might too. too. Long play for this game is 55 I... minutes. To be fair to John, you did say to inflate Rosa's boobs, and that meant donate for the pinball table. Uh, I guess I did. That was that. I guess that's probably the only time I actually tried was the pinball table. And even then uh -huh. I said, like, I would pay for it myself. And so then Gerard and his brother completely said no. And Jacques fucking got you. came in. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking got you. Sh showed you what's up. <laughs> Giant parfait! Parfait? Yo, damn. I want a parfait. Any updates on the Cherry Blossom Saga? I was delayed at work. She disappeared! <laughs> Oh yeah, you missed it earlier. Yeah, if you were not here for Dream Talk during our blog, you're gonna have to watch it, cause goddamn, shit's gotten wild. J just, just a bit. It's funny as hell though. I appreciate the Iron Giant shit. over here. It more oh. looks like an inverse color of like just a giant uh, Drix. It looks like it. Osmosis looks... Jones. Hell I was about yeah. To, I was about to say it looks like a toy from the fifties. Could be. Maybe. There we go. Oh, there's a little guy inside. And now he's dead. You know, speaking of old toys, so I was, um, since I've been on a leave for like about a month now, um, on the History Channel, I've been watching this series that says like the toys that made America. Oh, the toys that made us, yeah. Yeah, it oh, what is. What the fuck? What? It oh, that's interesting. Oh, I still have not yet to get that gem. I don't know what that gem even does. Oh, now I'm dead. Oh, that is indeed a continue counter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And there's... No I haven't se seen the password yet. I haven't no, that seen the password yet so either, good. which worries me. Oh, this is probably why he was saying this may be rough. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. we may not be able to do this one. Let's see. Not without a lot of practice, at least. Hey, if we have to scrap it, we have to scrap it. It's not that big a deal. Oh, for sure, for sure. It's just more time for Astral Chain, clearly. <laughs> I'm not doing Astral Chain. No, 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 no. You got the wrong game. It's Halo 3 ODST. We're not doing ODST. No. To be fair, if you were doing no, ODST, no. would you do a co-op of it? Or, like, like a four-person thing of it? Maybe. Ooh. No, guys, you're you're all wrong. Because he's going to do Dead Space Remake. Why? I've already beaten Dead Space! <laughs> but you <laughs> haven't beat the remake of it. What if they added a bell that you forgot to get? Is it, is it different enough? Like, I, I can understand, like, Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 4 Remake, but, like, I don't know about this one. <laughs> eh, Isaac talks enough. in this one. That's about it. So it's mostly small stuff, but it's, I still enjoyed it. I, for me, I would say, like, the biggest difference between, like, counting like a game and it's remake as separate games would be how much they really change right like for instance i would count like yakuza on the ps2 a separate game from kiwami because they are very different games yeah i would agree with that mm. even though yeah, it's like the same play and all that but you know just yeah but they for Ki kiwami they basically added some stuff from zero to it though they did yeah Get the corn! Get the corn! No, the corn! Oh god. Wait, no, there, there's that corn! There's that- get that corn! Yeah! Now the other question is, is there like a, a hundred rounds to this one too? Probably. Alright, I see the Wisma Duke has been requested by Ian628. Ian, here you go. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Thanks, Ray. How do I get them? <laughs> um... Like that, I guess. Oh, oh, there you go. As you float up, okay. I was like, round what, 15? Yeah. Okay. How do I get that heart? Probably like this. Blah. Nope, the heart's gone now. Damn it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh boy, this game lags a lot. Oh boy. I'd imagine just due to all the bubbles on screen. And Bubble Wall 1 didn't really lag, but also it made things invisible, I guess, so maybe not the best example. So how many stages did the original bu Bubble Bobble have? Uh, like 110. 
120, okay. somewhere in that range. How much does this one oh, have? Oh, wait. Someone has said 80. This one has 80? I and mean, that's not terrible. Some people were saying, yeah. But does this also have, like, a good uh, true ending scenario? There is a level select, apparently, according to GameSpot. We must spend 50 rounds so we can fight Noob Cybot! You this? just gotta do that. You gotta, like, win, like, classic mode a certain number of times to unlock Sonic. Yeah, we gotta make sure we unlock Reptile. Get all to fight A ranks and Get all A ranks in Sonic Heroes so you can play the Team Chaos. Oh god, yeah, I remember that. Remember. <laughs> Don't forget the final challenge in the MK uh, MK Tower for level 100. You gotta be Goro, Kintaro, and then fin Melina, then finally Shao Kahn, just to Dude. get that one outfit for Melina. Go guys, says there's no co-op this game's front. Wait! What the fuck's the two-player mode? <laughs> a versus, maybe? Why does this game cost 4.1k dollars? That's just... I don't think it's, because... I don't think it's that much. No, that's for brand new. That's oh, just brand new? Okay. Uh, that's that, just and that's why. Things. Because the odds are it's impo almost impossible to find a lot of these games. Find, finding a brand new NES game... Yeah, that like especially one of these would be like a white whale sighting, basically. Ultra rare. Yeah. Hot foot, hot foot. So, hot foot, hot foot, hot foot, hot foot. Hot foot. You know what the funny thing is? I've had like four copies of this game before. <laughs> really? John. Back when I used to be in like all these like game gambling rings, the... like I oh, okay. won a You've... lot. I won the this game a lot. Okay. That's how okay, I got. You've, you've that's how I got my copy before. in the first place with the box. I assume you've gone and sold those other copies by this point. Oh yeah. <laughs> do they still do those anyway? Oh yeah, no, those groups still exist. I just, you know, wanted to stop because I was developing a gambling addiction, <laughs> and I wanted to stop. Yeah, I gotta be careful about that. Mm hmm. I felt that a little bit at one point with like uh, putting some money down for like some old gotcha games. I'm like, I need to stop with this. No, I can't oh, keep doing it. this. Because called this is a late NES game. Yes, yes, lay down. <laughs> this game's rare because John has all the copies. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Damn it, John! Artificial scarcity, you fiend. You son of a bitch. Oh, actually, that is hitting him. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice, nice. Giant pineapple that I am definitely not getting to. Well, actually, maybe Yo, SpongeBob's on. house. Eat, go eat SpongeBob's house. Damn it! No. Bonus game. Oh, no, this thing. Oh. Look at this little guy. Get ready for this nonsense. This is a challenge on, on Arcade Pit because it's, like, impossible to win. Yeah, I think I've ever seen it on there before. <laughs> Notice Wait, that what? I did not get a point just then. Yeah, let's say what's up. You have to like hit like the like the E on like bonus there, like whatever the hell that word's supposed to be. I think it has to like hit the back go wall. into the goal Ugh. at the end or something. Ew, why? <laughs> because fuck you. That's why. No, that's no. not it either. What? <laughs> I can't even get points. I, I think you. I think you have to avoid hitting the back, like his back wall. Otherwise, it counts against you, like an out of bounds type of situation. Well, that's stupid. So you specifically have to hit his floor. But you hit it earlier, did you not? No, I think he hit like the last square on the back. Nope, oh, that's yeah, that's gone. I think this guy's cheating, just a bit. I don't know what would give you that idea. I don't know what could possibly make you think this guy is cheating. <laughs> well, lost seven to nothing. Don't even know what the bonus is. No bonus. Nope. Uh, Round 21. I don't think you can... You can't use his bubble ability, I assume. No, I can't. I tried. 
Aww. I got a pencil, whatever that means. I got my pencil. Are you off for Teacher Maniacal? Huh? Damn it. I'm a teacher now? Are you hot no, I said, for are you teacher, he said. Hot for teacher? I don't know, is there a hot teacher? Maybe. Hot teachers in your area. <laughs> hot teachers in your area looking for a little student. I don't know, sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, round 22. In the NES release, unlike the original Bubble Bobble uh, and many other games in the series, the two-player mode has players take turns across levels rather than cooperative play through them simultaneously. What the fuck? That's so dumb. Oh, okay, so never mind. Bad. That's a chain job, apparently. Hot teachers in your area looking to do some multiplication. <laughs> I'm gonna, like... Multiply like a gun and use it to shoot you multiple times if you say that again. <laughs> <laughs> of all things, but I call that. That the was the line breaker. You. Finally, we found it. <laughs> we found, found the line breaker. Line breaker. <laughs> well, holla fucking Luya. Damn, but has a limit. Oh, please, I have no limit. Oh. What about literally no limit? Huh? What about them? That, you, That's he your literally limit. has no limit. No limit. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Hey, Proton Smash Pit tournament this Saturday. Go sign up if you haven't. Hell yeah. <laughs> Exclamation League to get access to it. But I think it might be Exclamation Smash to get the actual access for that one. The Smash Pit, I believe. I should actually sign up for a league match. Give me that candy. Give me that candy. There we go. How hard this game is to actually finish. I, hmm, I don't know, dude. Like, I feel like with one of these games. See, I'm, I'm like trash at some games, so I have to like use save state sometimes. I don't think there's any shame in that. I, I feel like this would be one of those like I would probably need some save states for. <laughs> you know what I need to so do? Actually, can okay. someone do me a solid? Uh, look yep. up the Mexican runner and see how long it took it. him to beat the game. Okay, team R. Bobby, like, he Bobby has that too. site that has like the entire like category of all his NES runs. Um, I'm seeing a video he put up like eight years ago. So I look up the bonus game. The guy gets points for tr uh, tr throwing on the guy ground and the hole in the wall. And when the other guy hit the back wall, so I don't know why you did not get any points. <laughs> okay, neat. Uh... You no know, TMR ramp. TMR like play. So TMR had a, a job, I think, where he went. He played every NES game. He streamed every NES game and beating beat them all. Okay, yeah. So for him, uh, when he did that, uh, yeah, two fifty at seven fourteen. It took him about three hours and twenty minutes. Okay. According to his uh, actual speed, his actual speed run, apparently for any percent is fifty six minutes fifty four seconds. The speed run too, damn. Oh come on. Ass game. <laughs> Maniacal, what is this line? What? what Sex ninjas the... know how to come quietly. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's from September 14th? <laughs> what? I, I, that was something I think it said in chat, I want to say. I don't know why it's in the quote, Bob, but sure, why not? <laughs> this is, you you hey, know why it's in the quote, bot. <laughs> don't pretend. I didn't put it in there. <laughs> hey, by the way, we have a quote bot. Uh, it's pretty cool. We're trying to add new stuff to it every so often. You guys think there should be something that should be quoted and put in there? Uh, let some of the mods know. We could probably try and like put it in there. Should we start we... actually like putting a quote room in the sub server so people will know to do that? Because I know oh, the art Discord does that, and I know what? some people that's have weird. asked for that in the in the suggestion box. So I think that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I could. We could like write that down in the mod chat and like get that implemented sometime soon. Just getting pushed along. <clears throat> Twenty six. I, I have made a note. Okay, I don't know how I kill this guy. 
Maybe I don't even kill that guy. Maybe I just ignore him. Yeah, I think the pack quotes are like from like anywhere. Which isn't a bad the thing. The egg pack quotes are from anywhere and uh, we could just do one on our server that's like just the stream. So we could have like yeah. populate with more. Of why course. Can, why can I not get up there? Do you need to go from the side maybe? I, have, I guess the problem is like yeah, there's little dudes. There we go. God damn it. Hey, I got more continues. What? I gotta okay, continue yeah. somewhere along the way. Don't question it, just take it. Just roll with it, roll with it. Someone look up how you weren't continues in this game, because apparently we did it. Uh, on it. Bubbly bubbly. Points would make the most sense, but it could also be progress. Or a specific I item. The safe. I say points is the safe answer, like maybe a, every hundred thousand something, ten thousand. Yeah, I'd probably say hundred thousand. Oh, 000 I bits. see. Uh, so apparently to get more continues, you have to pick up a pencil. Oh, that's what the pencil was. Yeah, that's just, that's just what the uh, bubble bobble uh, wiki says about this game. Oh, so you could just write down your notes. Oh, you know, get it. Yeah. <laughs> Banana. Oh, bug. You little son of a bitch. Hot dog! Hot dog! Take out Stumpy. <laughs> Get that hot dog! Oh my god, these air currents won't let me actually move. Amazar, thank you for the raid! I don't know what the gem does, but I got one. I think I might have just been a lot of points. Perhaps. Round 29! Ah, oh, we found the menorah! <laughs> Alright. Shit! So the menorah okay, kills, okay, good. got okay. it. This is a murder menorah! Murder menorah? Oh shit! Is that a menorah for me? <laughs> Round 30! Okay, that is... Hello. This it's, is the dude from Arkanoid. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. This thing's a... No! It's Arkanoid. the yellow devil! What, what is this dude's attack pattern? Well, the fucker's a yellow devil. Kill it now. Whoa! <laughs> oh! Oh! Those fans actually oh. do something. Oof. <laughs> oh, they're not there for... Shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> he made him so angry. He'd look at his face. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely the face of someone who was very angry. I can't imagine why this guy would be angry. The fact that I basically gave him a shrunken head. What? Hey, man, you made my head smaller. Okay, you made my head smaller. I liked my head. I'm going up and down here just to bug you. And he's dead. You've killed him. Hooray. Round 31. Round 31. What the hell was that thing on the right? I don't know. No, no, no. Get the heart. 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 Damn it. And there's, I was like, oh, damn. Crap, I you can't to... move. You had to have known it was right there. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah. I have a feeling this is one of those games, like, you would have to know, do multiple runs just to Damn get it. an idea. Oh, he's got a stretchy head. Oh, great. Oh my god, the I don't like the rate. game, baby! <laughs> oh! The ice cream, no.
Oh, come on. Come not. What? I don't I don't agree with that. Can, can Beaver inflate, inflate himself, himself with fly? fly? I feel like that's probably something he can do if Bub and Bob can do it. He's probably yeah, just never thought to do it. Because why would you <laughs> no, think to do no, it? Here, no, here's what, here's what Beefaroo does. Okay. He creates a special meat that uh -huh. you eat, and then he, it inflates himself. But only just for him. No, wait, this so this is teetering on some dangerous, so wait. Some dangerous waters. <laughs> oh, oh, so Where's this going? Where am I going? Oh, God! Feeds us the meat, which causes him to inflate. Oh, it doesn't affect us. Is it, that's yeah, just so the meat like sweats? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's just Prun it. Prun it's just, just the meat him. sweats. God damn it! This fucking thing. So it's a kind of like effect where the more we eat, the bigger he gets. Well, no. If we eat it, yeah. it doesn't affect him. If he eats it, it affects him. Oh, so it's it safer. affects whoever okay. eats it, I guess. It's a power up. It's essentially it's like a mushroom. Okay. It, yeah, like you make mushroom. it sound like if we eat it, it affects him somehow. I'm like, wait, that oh, made no, no sense. Oh, no, no, no. Look out no, no, for no, the no, shoe! He... But if you're shoe! saying he doesn't sweat... <clears throat> There's Just a shoe! Now I'm like... sucks. Let's get a new one. <laughs> we... Oh, I see that gem in that trash can. Going for it. That's you know, so Oscar. dirty, though. That's so oh. dirty! Oh. What? Wow. This, game, this game's rude. <laughs> this game is rude as all fuck, man. How do I tip that over without getting hit? Let's tip something over. I don't know how I do this without getting hit. Get the lifeguard. How do I do that without getting hit? I don't think I, you do. I don't. Wait, but he still has to kill the enemies though in there. Yeah, right? I have to kill the enemies. There's enemies inside the garbage can. What's well, what's the thing though? What if the enemies don't count? If like they you don't do, because the there was an earlier can. stage with the garbage can. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, maybe approaching it from the right side. But what's that gonna change, though? Well, because on the left side, uh, like, what is it? Uh, Bub died every time, but we haven't seen the effect on the right side of the trash can. He's wondering if, it, like hitting, it's... if it's hitting a specific way does a different effect. Okay, that makes more sense than what, how Maniacal was explaining. What do you mean? You were explaining it in kind of a weird way. Eh, fair enough. Got corn, at least. Not run the corn, shoe. corn, corn, corn. That stage took almost all my lives. Yeah. That's not good. Jesus. How do you guys feel about corn? Like Corn's pretty tasty. I agree. I do like it. I gotta have a smoked. Otherwise, it's just not the same. Steamed for me. too fast to jump off of. Holy shit. Yeah, I probably... Yeah, probably smoke seems to be, like, the preferred way for me. <laughs> Jesus Corn is Christ. Thank you. Well, Hylian, thank you for the raid. I can't digest it. I don't think corn is digestible, to be fair. I think that's kind of the point. It's supposed to just help your digestive tract. Yeah. Is that something interesting? That's like the only food that does that. Well, one of the few foods I think that does that. That we can't we can eat, but we can't digest. Yeah, like like corn is like the main one. Like how our bodies must have evolved to be like, yeah, this corn stuff. Uh, yeah, sorry, it doesn't work work properly. So I save the frame rate. Oh, come on! But you couldn't save yourself. Yeah, that's kind of the problem right now. How do we gain calories from corn? Uh, it's like the juices and stuff, I'm pretty sure. I can't move off of this. I have to, like... I'm amazed that actually worked. You have to, like, I guess, shoot yourself out of the yeah, angle of it? a certain direction. Well, we're, we're basically done, because, like... We're about to run out of continues unless we find a pencil on this stage. And there's a garbage can, so we're fucked. <laughs> All right. Yay, the sweet release of death. Finally, the release of death. All right, this one at least has an item we could probably use to break that. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I like how they're all just converging there. Yeah, they're just making this as bad as possible for me. Oh, they spawned! Okay, they spawned somewhere else that time, so I'm fine. <laughs> the bit rates. The bits. Who needs a bit rate? 
<laughs> Not me. Oh, I left one enemy alive. Oops. Oh, oh please, get, get me out! God damn it. These are some pretty mean, like, spawns for some of these items. Oh, is this a boss? Round 36. Oh my god! It's cats! Giant cats! They look like manticores, actually. And I'm so dead. Okay! Well... Oh no, there is there is no passwords. Oh boy. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so we made it to what, 36? Ah, uh, that sounds right. 80. Yeah, it sounds about right. There is a level select code, if we really want to go that route. But if we do that route, I'm going to count it a beat instead of a complete. Okay. Because obviously the game wants you to beat it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it an actual proper try here now. And we'll see how far we get. See if we get farther or not. Uh, and then go from there. All right. This looks like this is going to be a rough one. And if this doesn't go well, then we might pivot to another game. Who knows? Maybe we'll bring back Gradius 3, because I could go for that, too, honestly. I would actually like to see some Gradius 3. I'm probably, like, one of, like, ten people who actually want to see Gradius. Just have to keep in mind what stages have pencils too, because like we basically we have to make sure we don't miss any pencils. I wonder if the pencil appearances are predetermined or if it's just based on like what you've done in the stage or a previous stage. Do you want me to look? Yeah, I kind of do actually. All right, let me see. Good old Google. That's the important thing. <laughs> but Snake's Revenge Metal Gear? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm sure you have many games out there that you thought you could do, but it's like, maybe, maybe not, due to one reason or another. We could do Snake's Revenge. Like, it's not a hard... Well, sorry. It is a hard game, but it's also, like, a beatable hard game. This is a lot of weird nonsense. Okay. Now to get down to that canyon time. Damn it! Uh, do you remember when we saw that pencil before? No, I don't remember. I think it was after the boss. It was either right after the boss or right before the boss. Pop them all at once. Okay, five lives. More pumpkins. More bell peppers. Really weird bell peppers. Your air control in this game is very weird compared to Bobble Bobble 1. Like your floatier? Like, like, if you want to turn around mid-jump, it kind of doesn't let you. Come on. There we go. Get that corn while we're getting flipped off. There's a pencil. Fuck! Got it. Thankfully, I had that heart so I could take the hit. So I'm wondering what is dictating what shows up where then, because I'm assuming it's pulling from like a pool, because I don't remember that pencil being there last time. But did you just see a pencil? I just picked up a pencil. Do you think that it's just random spots then? I think everything's made up and the points don't matter. 
Also, it's whose lines? Okay. Okay. So I'm. So are we playing scenes from a hat then? Let's see. Guides. Which is the one I was looking at? That was for that. Let me go check the other one. What restores your heart? Picking up a heart. Down. Now we gotta fight that mini boss again. This should be ten. Yep. Wow, what? That is. Let's see. Because I see one and it gives you, like, what enemies you'll end up fighting on the level. But it's not giving me, like, a. an actual, like, location or anything. There's no, there's no guide you're seeing that says straight up where they are. Should... Yeah, not yet anyway. Maybe I. Do you want me to like read the manual? Because I have the manual in the box. Or you can just, if someone wants to find the the rip of the manual online. Oh, here we go. The precautions, controls, game screen, eight items. Not there. No, not there. Picture. Don't. It just says, "Don't miss the pencil." It lets you continue your game. Good. That's a very yeah. helpful note. Chalice can defeat all enemies on your stage. There we go. That's what you There's also like a one-up statue. Does it say what you get from the bonus mini game if you can actually score points. <laughs> Let me see if it's... If it says anything about the bonus games. <laughs> Shoved off by a like a bubble. Uh, bonus stage. Find the stage through a door or by beating a boss. This game has three types of bonus stages. Uh, volleyball. After returning serve, you can hit the ball three times. Push B to strike the ball. You can also jump to hit. So apparently we can't spike the ball. How do you spike it, does it say? Press B. B to spike? S to, like, strike. It. Yeah, spike, strike, whatever. Also, I'm hearing, like, feedback from me. I'm not hearing it. There's another one called Get Items. I haven't heard anything Grab, much. Yeah. Grab as many items as you can when your competitor competitor gets in the way. Push the beat button to shove him aside. Then finally, Basketball. The goal in the bonus stage is to sink more baskets than your opponent. Press B to slam dunk the basketball. How do I get this guy? <laughs> I was about to say, this guy is like the best one. He's like literally stuck in between. You can't bubble him. It's kind of impressive, honestly. Got him. Nice. Or either what? He was either stuck in his own personal hell. <laughs> How tragic. Shoes! There we go, we can walk a little faster. Maybe the wiki has something. Bosses. And you make items. Bub walk faster with shoes. Yo, know, shoes help, man. That they do. Oh, did you see? Oh my god, I saw this on Twitter. Like, there was like for sale like a shoe PC. It was like a high end PC, but it but it looked like a shoe. What? Interesting. I gotta find it. Now I gotta find it. Hold on. I feel like those games have some big shoes to fill. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What up, Bob? Yeah, I really can't see anything about if the pencils are in a predetermined spawn or they're just Weird. random. There we go. Okay. 
Clear. Well, we're doing okay. Bowtie Gaming, thank you for the raid. Always freaks me out because I can't pause until the enemies touch the ground. That always throws me off every time. Yeah. Takes him out. Damn it, come on. There we go. Get it, get it, get it. Get her done. Got it. Round 17. All right, we're doing we're doing okay. Nothing terrible. We're doing we're doing all right. Just going to keep an eye out for rare treasure. But keep an eye out for rare treasure. How can I do that when the real treasure's already in front of me? Your computer. <laughs> sure. What is that? I want sure, it. Stop watching. Oh, you have to stopwatch. Oh, they cool. can still damage me when they're in stopwatch mode. Uh huh. Kind of dumb. Like that. So it just keeps them in place, but their hitbox is destructive. Okay. That sucks. A little bit. And 19. Well, I lost all my power ups by doing th <sighs> that. Found the shoe. Yeah, I got the shoe back at least. Star bubble. Clear. Now to fight the boss again. And I'll well, put in the IP room well, too. Well, that should be easy since you technically found the a quick way to kill it. Oh my god! What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shoe PC. <laughs> Oh, that's a PC. Oh. I, I saw Shadow's shoes. Okay, I'll post it in chat. I saw Shadow's, like, shoes recently. I didn't realize this actually was straight up a PC. Go, Xenomorph Motorcycle. You can do it. He can't do it, chat. Sure he can. How many times I gotta hit this fucking boss? There we go. <laughs> right, get ready for the pineapple. Got it. Well, it wasn't. It was peas this time. That was time. green beans. All right. What? Huh? Huh? Did you hit it? Already hit it three times? No. There we go. I got a point. Finally, I'm on the board. Let's go. Yeah. What? You touched it twice. Yeah, I'm yeah, to touch it three times! Hit it. I don't think you can... I think once you hit the... Try to spike it, I think that's it. Oh... Uh... Nice. I was gonna say, if that counted against you... <laughs> I'm very mad. Very mad. Do I have to beat him or do I just have to score? I think you have to beat him. Ah! There we go. Nice, nice, good. What? What? What are you doing on that one? I think it was in the same spots? Maybe? It must be. Yeah, I guess I, I actually guess I can't hit it twice. Maybe it's because it's oh, the serve? It's the serve. Well, that's bullshit. Yeah, it's because it was the fucking serve. Wow, this game. Well, we learned how to score now, at least, so we're doing marginally better. But no bonus because we didn't win. 
I mean, I guess it is following actual volleyball rules, but like, it's not as playable as volleyball. <laughs> so. There's literally a heart right above there. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going for it. Yeah, dude. Where's like uh, the orange hair kid? Oh, you sneaky little fucker. What? Just the enemy that literally jumped up right before you hit the heart. Yeah, because that's, that's what happened last time. That's actually what stopped us from getting it last time. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck off, you! Round twenty-two. The way weird chain chomp thing. Okay, so three charge bubbles seem to get rid of that guy. It takes so long to charge, and it slows down your movement, so it's hard to just, like, Mega Buster it. I'm more upset with, like, all of a sudden now, they'll put, like, spikes all around, when there's, like, no gradual, I don't know. It just seems like there's certain, like, um, levels that they'll just throw at you, be like, alright, by the way, have fun with this one. I mean, that's kind of what Bubble Bobble 1 did, so it's not super shocking. Fuck! There we go. Oh, nice double. My corn! God damn it! Hitboxes are just a little weird. Then I'll miss. Damn it. There we go, that's one. That's the other. There's a one up to make up for the life we lost. Here, kid dodges laser turrets next. Good luck. Oh god. Well, there's the garbage can. Umbrella. Which is a stage skip! Multiple. Round 27. Yeah, I'm just gonna deal with this thing now. Weird tree. Take this weird tree. I need the candy, get the candy. There we go. Candy. Oh no, he's gonna get out of the bubble. Never mind, he did not get out of the bubble. Ooh, a piece of candy. Of the bug. Doing way better compared to the first go around. Yeah. Knock it's on like wood. Something's clicked. Like Adam Sandler. No. Why always Adam Sandler? <laughs> I know about because the movie, but always... it's not the. <laughs> it always ends up back with Adam Sandler. D does it? I, I, actually, I'm with I'm with Monogamous one. Does it? I mean, I don't the know, there was like, that weird a, meme. The, the, a crazy nights meme going around. That was that funny. Yeah, was that meme is funny though. And then you have, like, Kevin James, who was a friend to Adam Sandler, going around. <laughs> Wait, so association just ties back to Adam Sandler? Like, it's always Adam Sandler. How connected are we to Adam Sandler? How we what? How, how connected are we to Adam Sandler? Not very. None. Deeper than you think. Do you think Adam Sandler's watching right now? Probably no. not. Adam Sandler, if you're in this chat, can you say hi? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Keep lurking Adam Sandler. <laughs> Don't let him know. Adam <laughs> <laughs> Sandler. The, 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 the bubble boy. The, or not bubble The water boy. Fuck. <laughs> the bubble boy? <laughs> bubble boy. <laughs> Rogue movie. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? But, who, boy. but who da, who da, who does remember the Bubble Boy movie? Yeah, who who was the actor in the Bubble Boy movie? I don't remember. That... God, who was it? I think it was... Oh, God. Why am I looking this up, too? You're oh looking it up because you God. need to know. You The <laughs> mystery is too interesting to you. That's what's oh, got me in trouble I, with these fucking oh, dreams. Figured... Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, that was young Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal? <laughs> yes. He was a young Jake Gyllenhaal at that point. A young Jake Gyllenhaal who actually took showers. 
the irony. What year did that... What year did that animated A Crazy Nights? When did that come out? Like, like 90s, I think? Early 2000s? Was it early 2000s? Okay. Pretty positive. 2002, from what I'm seeing. 2002? Oh my god. Yeah. 2002. My, my favorite thing is the A Crazy Nights guy was also the guy who was doing the Kingdom Hearts animated pilot. Yeah, it's like somewhere. Yeah, he actually, like, released it, that pilot at one point online, but he actually was asked to take it down. Oh. I have it saved, actually, because I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that thing is not staying up forever. <laughs> it was actually interesting, because they had, like, everybody from, like, the game cast, except for Sora. Uh, it was not Haley Joel Osment Sora. It was, like, a different kid. Hmm. Probably by that point, he was too expensive just for a show. Uh, I think it was actually, actually that he was just busy at the time with another movie. And that's why they didn't get him for like that like pilot. But like David Gallagher's there and like Like all the Disney VAs are there. God damn it! Oh my god, this dude. Okay, that's okay, this boss is like total bullshit. This isn't even a boss, it's just a boss. Nice. It's just a regular it's like a like a mini boss enemy. Like they just throw in like strong enemies randomly. 33, yeah. shoot! Oh. Oh, it's that's why the now. heart's there, so you survive the fucking hit. Ew. And I didn't even get it, because it despawned the second I got there. Wow. What garbage game, like, level is on? Holy shit. Not, like, that's how you fucking survive it. Jesus. Ugh. Like, we gotta be missing something with that, right? No, it, it's just the heart. It, God damn it! It's, so just, it it's just the heart. It was, so it literally spawned in a random spot, and it just so happens to be right there. No, it, it on purpose oh, spawns on the trash can. You have a couple seconds to go, get it! What's up, Trey? I was about to say, just randomly next time, if you end up back here again, just take out the one enemy. Don't bother with the trash can. Why? That's apparently what's what the game facts guy is saying. What? But well, we did that before and it didn't do anything. Wait, so that's really what you have to do? You have to just kill the one enemy that counts? Like, it's literally saying to Pence, Nimbus times one or five, another easy round because it's a trash can one. You can't make it this far in the game and succumb to this round. Just wait for the shoe mobile to wrap around the screen, jump up to the Nimbus and take it out. Nothing more needs to be said about this level. Did, it's such a weird thing didn't though. I do that? That's the I, thing. I thought you could do that, but you said you couldn't, or that you already tried that. Too much Adam Sandler in my brain. I can't remember shit right now. <laughs> it wasn't a heart last time. It was a gym. Oh, okay. That's also oh. true. Yeah. Fuck. This what the hell are those slimes? Better. I think there's only snails. They look like, like, chickens, but like, when they're all like, you know, so, like, yeah, just cut, like plucked chickens. Already cut up. Yeah. And they are turning into chicken there, so that might be not inherently incorrect. <laughs> yeah, raw, thank you, I couldn't remember the word raw. just regret leaving certain choices for chat to pick for game clearing? I mean, sometimes it's just, it's just fine. You just do it yourself. Alright, so I, don't I, like, I, touch I would have done this the... at some point. Yeah, so, okay, so I won't touch this this time. But I'd be careful, because I know the bubbles apparently move over to there. There, so now I should be able to... What the fuck? It worked! Holy All shit! Alright, well, awesome. there you go, then, I guess. Alright. Alright, this is where... There's some broccoli. Broccoli, but there, here's the little... These little fuckers. Whoa, what the fuck? Weird flying cat scorp- the little chimeras, actually. I wonder what the broccoli yeah, like the was supposed deal. to be. Or manticores, actually, yeah. That's what I said. Did you say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to bubble bounce. Come on. I can't. The bubbles keep moving away. Well, the at the very edge. To the fans. Well, the one on the very edge of the left bounce up and then... 
Oh my god, guys, look, Gokai gifted a sub to Adam Sandler. Oh my god. The, the Adam Sandler, guys. The Sandler. Adam Sandler, whoa. Alright, well, we made it past the last stage we got to. We haven't used to continue yet, so we're definitely doing way better. As soon as you said that. Yeah, that almost ended badly. No, 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 get off the fucking fan, bub! Do you guys know about the movie that, like, uh, has Shadow in it? Has you what? It has what? It? Uh, it has, a uh, Shadow of the Colossus in it. No. The one movie that has Shadow and the Colossus in it? Yeah, yeah, it's this movie called, uh, Rain Over Me. It stars Adam Sandler and, uh, Don Cheadle. It's actually a serious role for Adam Sandler, too, where he's playing, like, this, uh, guy who's, like, super depressed after... Losing his family. In oh, remember Sandler does do that movie. serious roles pretty well. He does actually. actually that movie is actually not that bad to my understanding. I actually want to watch it some because I've heard good things about it. What was the name of that uh, other movie he did that he was? People Uncut felt like he was actually Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems. That's the one. The one that he almost got an Oscar for. Like that's the thing you you remember for all those like a lot of like okay, good or very bad comedies. But uh -huh. he's can he can he's an actual legitimate actor. Here's the thing: most comedy your comedians can do drama because a lot of the th a lot of thing that people like who do comedy channel into is kind of the same thing that drama actors channel into because you kind of challenge like an inner pain. It's like you challenge an emotion. Oh, this stage looks garbage. Well, that's interesting. Oh, the boss. Oh. oh. I mean, just chill out there, sure. Why the fuck not? Oh, he moves the stage. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, so how the fuck do I hit him now? Ah, uh, we won! Okay. Get the green beans. The crew apparently played the game while they were making the movie. Yeah, they play while making the movie, and it's also, like, a kind of the storytelling of, like, overcoming impossible odds, which is cool. Jeez. I wonder if you're gonna win this one. Hmm, this seems a little easier somehow. I wonder. I wonder why. I just I shoved you. I some weird bullshit to where he just 50 to 18! What does that get me? 100,000 points. All right. Which got us three anything? lives. Nice. Ooh. Round 41. All right, we are halfway through the game. If there's only 80 stages, we are halfway through the game officially. Robin Williams was on Law & Order? Yes, he was. That's not surprising. Uh, uh it was Law & Order SVU. These are the boulder shooting guys, right? So was Logan Paul, yes. <laughs> Logan yes, Paul was, was on a Law and Order? Oh my god. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh yeah, no. Think, wasn't that also Justin Bieber? I think it's CSI actually for Bieber. CSI, yeah. Because everybody would me kind of memed that last scene of him in that show for a while. It was the same thing with Logan Paul too. That's a slingshot. Oh, it's Criminal Minds. I'm not gonna get to that in time. Oh my god, what's with the water? I actually got to it in time, holy shit, and then I lost it immediately. God damn it. What is happening in this stage? Will this damage me? It stuns me! Ah, okay. But it doesn't Here. kill. Yeah, but oh, that's that still dangerous territory right now. Remind me, the enemies. Do they, I know they screen wrap from top to bottom. Actually, no, I got my question right there. Never mind. Yeah, going from You're about to, right to ask there. to go from side to side. Pretty much, yeah. That was like a I mean, frame, yeah, I think... frame bubble shot, John. Well, okay. old all right, your all right, we're making it. God. We're doing it. We're making do. We're doing it. Oh my God, this movement. Okay, that's some movement. Oh, Dude, that, that is, that is movement. Spot. How the fuck? 
Hey, I why is how this... the I love how the waterfall is literally just... Fire the stars! I love how the waterfall's colors are. The trans flag, yeah. So yeah, Chats, Chats oh, yeah let's go. Trans rights, baby! So what? Trans waterfall rights! Someone... So why is the PS3 version of Shadow Colossus bad? Wait, what? Someone in chat just made mentioned that the PS3 version of Oh, it runs Shadow different. I forget what the whole deal with it is. Where did the helicopter... Okay, it's back. <laughs> Love his goofy smile. Oh, I cannot unsee it now. God damn it, maniacal. I assume I have oh, to get he... rid of the helicopter, but how the hell am I going to get the helicopter? Maybe burgers. the helicopter just wants me to have a shit ton of burgers. Maybe this game is for beef for These guys are giving me points, right? Yeah, they are. The burgers aren't worth much, but... So you Maybe do have to shoot. attack the helicopter. Maybe you do. I do, yeah. Alright, good to know. So the, only, the helicopter only appears once I have eaten all the burgers. One up. No, oh, never mind, I don't have to eat all the burgers. It's just it's just a time frame. <laughs> okay, which way is it going to come from? I think from the left. I, it, that, this is going to take so long. So then... If he came from, he the came left, from the left, exited right. from the right, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's gonna come from the right now. Oh, the hurry this can't explain. be the only way to do it, can it? Oh, he does. He literally will come from the the side that he left. Shit. Okay. Oh, he just dropped some more motherfuckers. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Wait, oh no, we're burning live suddenly. What is happening? They're getting a lot more aggressive. Oh yeah, okay, alright, we're in trouble now. We are actually in trouble now. We just burned, f like, four lives. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I think the helicopter's pissed. Oh, uh, I wonder why. It just saw the bubbles and it was oh like, oh, I, I'm not dealing with oh this. God, get the fuck away from me. God damn it. We had such a good rhythm going and then suddenly we just lost it out of nowhere. No, 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 no. Fucker! Cause, uh, as soon as I think any other three die, he comes back in to drop another three. So you would have to kill all of them in one shot. Dude, I've lost That's... six lives on this fucking stage now! Dude! <laughs> oh my lord, he's dropping this literally is... too many enemies now. I think you might have to say, screw the enemies, go after the <gasps> helicopter. How, Gex?! No, cause he has to- Gex, he has to kill them! Like, that's the problem right now. He has to there's, kill There's, him. like, there's too much pressure. I can't even get, like, any light timing for this guy, because there's so much pressure. Oh. Fuck. How many hits do you take? Alright, we gotta, we gotta try this. Go, 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 go! Oh. Hello. No! Oh! Did the ghost get me, or did he shoot me? I think the ghost got you. Up, 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 up. Mm. Fuck! Dude. Uh. This run was going so good. This isn't. I don't even think this is a mini boss. I think this is just like a, a, a tough enemy. You sure? I don't think! Fuck! The fact that they take Wait. two bubbles to, like, get popped is screwing things up. Oh my god, he's right. What? Yeah, this isn't even a boss. Get up there, get up there, Bob. Bob! He... Oh my god, we can't get up there to get him with the power shot to speed this up! Because even the game facts guy that got pulled up says this there is the There we go! God! Level. Finally! Oh my god. Good shot. Nice, nice. Because even the GameFAQs guy was saying this was probably the hardest level in the game. I can yeah, see why! 
Yes, give me more burgers, please. Yeah, look, look it up a video, like, even the video takes a few sucks! That was awful! How many lives did you burn? I lost like eight seven. lives there! Oh, Because we gained a life in that area, and there's a manticore that's gonna fuck this up now. Heart. Oh, it's not gonna be any good if I can't get to it! Well, this run was going good. There we go. Alright, well, if that's the hardest stage in the game, then at least we fucking got past it. But holy shit, that... That completely destroyed our flow. We were doing so good up to that point. Yeah, I just... God, dude, I just did not envy your position there. Just more of the fact that it literally just destroyed, like, everything. It was the ghost that got me? Damn it. Alright, well, that answers that, then. You earned a life... You earned a life while the counter was at 10, John. I think they capped you at 10 lives as well? That's... weird. Why? Okay, how in the fuck do I get to them? I think we have to bubble up. Okay, so I can get in there now. Uh... <laughs> yeah, these are the guys that vomit rocks. Okay, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, they're coming after me now. Okay, there we go. God damn it. This guy wants me dead! Not gonna get to those in time. Oh, apparently I did. Shit. <laughs> I need the extra points to make up my lives. Nope. Game, that was just mean. Round 48. There's a... Oh, no. Got it. <laughs> yes! Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, frame rate! They move sideways? Wait, what? Huh? They're homing spikes? They, they, they go, they're like the ones in Zelda. They move, like, up and they, they follow your movement, but I didn't expect them to move left and right, because that one went straight down, and I thought, oh, they just go straight down. Like you to think. <laughs> Can't, at least we got the continue before we needed to use it. And 49. What is that bubble? Okay, well... Uh, the broccoli. What's the broccoli do? I don't know what that did! It's probably just more points. Probably is more points. I assume those other bubbles are little mini-bombs? Yeah, the sparks seem like they will damage on impact. The problem is... I gotta get over to them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm just gonna get out of here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Just get the last one. Oof. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're making traction again. Um. Oh. I think those pineapples? damaged me. No. They stunned me. Round 50! Oh god, it's That's a monster, a monster truck! truck. Alright. It's Kirby! It's just Kirby, yeah. Let's kill Kirby. How do I do this? Oh, it could get you on a screen wrap. I'm gonna hope these probably, stars are the answer. It's probably the safe get answer. Oh, I don't think they're reaching him, actually. Man, you guys remember when like mouthful mode was first revealed? Never mind, he's not even uh, an enemy. Okay, moving on. Mm, all right. Fifty-one. Yeah, I remember the internet freaked out because of how just fucking weird it was. Yeah, I, 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 don't, it, I don't mind it though. It's, it's it's silly, but it's fine. MC's was a great reaction though. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> He I'd ate the car. That. Why? What? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get.
get to that in time. There's not even a way to go down from this one. No. So the game literally will punish you if you're not quick on your feet. Wow. You have to know when item will spawn there and know if it's worth it or not, I guess. But shit. The other Peach. problem is your your like attack is lower than your head because it comes out of your mouth, but it's the lower half of your body. So as a result, uh, you try to jump up to slide in and hit someone, and your head gets hit first before you can even attack. This one little ghost is fucking trolling there you. There you. Don't worry, I'm used to being Can trolled. Can up? Oh, no, you <laughs> Are you now? Okay, that's one. That's the thunder stage, so maybe the thunder will help. Let's get rid of you if we can. Can I not? Do I actually have to use the thunder? That's gonna hit. I don't know, like, we have to stand to get that bubble. You should be able to hit him from the top one. I can't keep hitting him is the problem. Keep trying it again from that platform. Just humor me. Oh, maybe you're right. Problem is, I gotta dodge that. Oh, thank God. Okay, good job, Trey. You're welcome. Yeah, what, what, what a good boy you've been, Trey. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, today on, when I just said, what now? I could have made that a ten times worse. You could have. I, I, I really. Or did you? No. Exactly. But he can, is but, the point. But, but I could have. How? You know, and everyone, both John and Gex also know. <sighs> oh my god, what a bullshit spawn for a heart. Yep, didn't get to in time. That's rough, dude, man. Dude, dude that's such bullshit. Like garbage. It's like you, just, you gotta just know ahead of time they're there. That's really it. But like for a first-time player, it's it's a punishing first-time player game. Welcome to the NES, baby. Yeah, I mean much. he's yeah. right. That's that's just the NES you're describing at that point. Oh, shit. Oh, there's two bubbles that would kill him if I can get them in time. That one. There we go. I'll get him before he pops. Out of the bubble. I can't pop bubbles while I'm in bubble mode. That makes sense, I guess. Can't pop bubbles when you're a bubble yourself. Yep. Uh oh. Oh god! Oh, hi! Oh. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkles means I can do things! Sparkle, sparkle, baby! Sparkle! Wait, sparkle. did that kill all four of them? Yes, it did. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking take that. 57. Okay. Oh. Also, apparently they're called ch Chibi Raw. Chibi Raw. I think that waterfall literally just one shot of the boss. Yeah, or yeah, fire yeah. enemy. You can, because it's water on fire. How do I. Oh, I can't get back down, though. Uh oh. Unless I do this. Whee! Thank you, Starman Waterfall. But I think our... Was this 58? I think this is 58. Then next round's gonna suck. This is 58. 58 okay. time. So 59 so 59's gonna be awful is what you're saying? I think... I got greedy. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, he's gone. Yeah.
All right, time for 59. Which apparently will suck. Interesting. Oh, those, on top. those missiles, yeah, missiles home. Yeah, and they home. And I cannot take them out. Ah, uh, now I see why this might be gross. Why is he stopped? Is there a shoe? Oh, I think the pilot like. Oh, he has the out. wind up. Ah. Oh. Okay. Cool, but also the So you would have to dodge these. Wait until he's out. He can't he's out. no more. Go, 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 go! Why are you not letting me go up? <laughs> That's what? Huh? Is it the, only a certain this way you bubble can go form up? follows the most arbitrary rules. I swear to God. How many miss? So it looks like two, three missiles is every time. Fuck. Okay. No, God, just let me get up there. You there can only go. rise on the right side of the level. Whoop! Which is a we weird stipulation. It. Got it! Good nice. platforming there, John. That was good platforming. Oh, no. Alright, actual boss. Oh god. oh, god. Yo, it's a phoenix with sneakers! It's Okay! Name is That's a thing! These, these stars are so fast, I can't even hit them! Thank you. Oh, this boss is gonna be rough. Can I hang by these the screen oh. edges? I might be okay. But uh, oh. hitting these bubbles is near to near impossible. Oh. Oh, 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 John. Good dodge. Oh, this boss has two phases. Oh, of course it does. Why Why wouldn't it? Yeah, why, why would it not have that? This sucks. I basically, again, don't basically what John's position. what John's doing is basically the strat the strats. Oh. Hug the edges and yes. somehow. Oh my god! All right, this is phase two. Oh, he lost, he's lost his, his hair, his dude. Do be careful. He yeah, he's got a worse shot now. And I think they get screen wrap too. Ah oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Whoop. Thread that needle, oh John. God. Yeah, I'm trying. Shit! Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to put flashing light warning up for this one, I think. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty bad. Probably a good idea. Why can you push the bubbles instead of popping them? Because this, this is kind of just how they work, annoyingly. Because technically you're supposed to pop them with, like, the, the spike on your head, or the... or the ones on your back, or the one on your feet. 
Okay, apparently I've seen the fucking code, cause just holy shit. He's cracked it. He's hacking, he's hacking. Crack it. Fuck. How many hits do you take? Too many. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Shit, why'd you jump Can into that, John? Oh. Can't you just grab a lot of games with that and just like... There we go. Why does this cost take so many hits? Also nicely done. Okay, I mean, we're really gonna need something good off this mini game because we're the last twenty stages now. I think next is basketball. Bonus game. How do I play this? Also, do not get into a shoving match with him. He will win. I'm noticing that. What? How do I? How do I score? It's gotta go in the hoop, I imagine, when it's open, right? <laughs> I am surprised he did not go in. Okay. Yeah, he didn't get a point. Yeah! Fucking take it. Smite, maybe this is the one you should have made a fucking challenge out of. Holy shit. <laughs> score at least like two points. I think at this point, just score a point. No bonus. Neat. Dang. <sighs> Round 61. Oh, good. Well, He's we're in back. hell. Uh, missile guy's back. Great. But at least he... Yeah, but I see two bubbles that are super powered. They could probably take him out. All right, Sparks. Corn. Behold. You said a door could show up that would lead me to a bonus round? I have not seen a single one in all game. Oh, no, I just oh, think the next, next bonus game was going to be basketball. No, the door's literally going to show up on the last level. Watch. Probably. And it'll be the fucking volleyball game again. Squeeze. But this time, but this time, it'll be different. <laughs> Will it though? Will it? I hope. I could be hopeful. It's Sixty-three. Get rid of the lasers first. There's no way around it. Get rid of the lasers first, and then the happy ghosts show up. <laughs> oh boy, I love Tinker Night stage. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, Shovel Knight. Have you not played uh, Shovel Knight? I that have not. A, uh, that's a game. That is a game. That is a game I should actually try. Because I think finally everything's out for now. Oh, yeah. Yes. Everything's yeah. been out for a bit, but yeah. We're at 64. I'm just gonna sit right here and not worry about anything else. They can't shoot up, I hope to God. <laughs> but now the real challenge begins. We're about um 62 stages in. This is 63. 64. 64? 64. Nintendo 64. Shit. Fuck. Can you flow within the edges? No. 
Oh. That'd be too easy. Oh, there are special bubbles, but they're spawning on the bottom where I can't use them. Why? To fuck with you. I guess. Like I said, the, the level design for this game is not good. It's one. Got them both. Okay, there we go. Nice. Very nice. Of course, they spawn on opposite sides! I'm gonna get all the points I, I, I can believe... and hopefully get as many lives as I can. What the fuck is that? <laughs> have you not seen it before? We've seen it before. Yeah, we have seen this before. I appreciate I it. Mu I, I must have just... I had a step away for a little bit. I must have not saw it the first time then. Oh, no! What? The... Christy. This stage? Uh, 65? Should we? Oh, oh, you motherfucker! Yo, it's the happy helicopter. Oh, well, wait, we can actually be on the same level as this Yeah, fucker. this is a fair fight. <laughs> Thank you. How's this easier? Because we can stand on his level. Yeah, and I can actually use my charge now shots now. See? Already done. Because now, can... now we can fight him on our own level. I needed to use charge shots to speed up that fight, but you couldn't do it in the fucking waterfall stage because the water kept, like, the air currents wouldn't let me get that high. But now I have a problem if those guys won't jump out of their little hole. Because I can't reach them there. They'll come after you. Well, they're gonna have to because there's absolutely no way I can get them. Yeah, I was hoping. And you can't screen wrap, can you? Maybe? No, on this one, no. I might be able to. Hang on. I might be able to cheese it. No, the air current won't let me do it. Oh. What is the... The air current point is so dumb. There we go. Okay. You think you can get in that one pyramid? No. Yeah, bottom the left. The pyramids are what are stopping me from moving. Is there a way to get oh, to that, like, hollow pyramid in the bottom left? I, oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, that maybe, was the one maybe. I was pointing out. Got one of them. Uh oh. Shit. I, had to take, I had to take the hit because Ellis was going to get me otherwise. And I can't get the burger. Dang. Uh, unless you quickly screen wrap, but never mind. It's not worth it. Yeah, because this will be the one time, the one time I can get it inside. <laughs> Now the ghosts are actually in bed sheets like Charlie Brown. Oh, you didn't cool. notice that earlier? Yeah, this is like no, the I... second stage they did this now. If oh. they, they get an extra hit. Yeah. Shit. I, I like it went for like Charlie Brown first, by the way, for the bed sheets. To be fair, that is that is a notorious costume for Charlie Brown. It is, yeah, it's just like that's just I appreciate like that's like the first association you have with it. Wait, why Isn't are we? There... Oh, I missed one. Well, well because I grew, because I grew up with the Peanuts crew. Ah, oh, that's fair. Like every, like every, you know when, like it's October and everything. Because guess what? It's the Great Pumpkin, pr br uh, the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It's yeah, the Great Pumpkin. We got a bunch pumpkin. more of those about to come up. A lot of spikes down there. That's a lot of spikes. That's a lot of spikes. John, how dare you play Green Beefaroo? Oh, there's to a hell continue. Oh no! Oh, no! There's no. It's That's gone. so dirty. It's gone. <laughs> oh, God, even the charge shot still only does one hit. I'll admit, I've, I I don't think I actually know if I've seen anything Charlie Brown before. The more I think Shut, about it, what? Shut up, why'd for go, real? Why would I go so high? God damn it! Like I'm thinking more about it. I'm like, I don't know if I have. You've never seen like any when of I the go, Charlie Brown. But is younger stuff? than us, Gex, so that's not all that surprising. I'm, I'm, the peanuts I'm had 20... like, yep. I say the peanuts like they had a resurgence in the '90s, but I wouldn't really say they were like, you guys see them everywhere. 
I mean, like, it feels like it's just hard not to miss them, like, for every Halloween, every Christmas, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving I year. will give you- I will give you that, like, the- those movies are always on during the holidays, but still, like, it's still- Those do kill. Oh Shit, I beat my the stage. God. No. You <laughs> gotta be kidding me. That's my own fault. That is my own fault. Does, There's no wait, one else's fault but does, mine. God damn it on that. Now it's a broccoli. Which I still don't know what that does. You know stuff on Apple streaming. Like, I don't have Apple. It's like it's not like I'm judging him based off like he hasn't seen like some of the shows or any of the comics some other or anything. Movies. It's just it's just basically any of the holiday ones because those will always the pop holiday up specials on, like, like are always on TV or like at, at during the time like the Christmas ones always yeah. on Thanksgiving ones always on. I think like, I, I must have seen like a brief. I clip expect the great. There. Oh, and, and great. Like, I'm expecting guess, the. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm expecting the Great Pumpkin to surge. God damn it. I have one continue left, correct? I yeah, think uh, so. that sounds right. I think, the more I think about it, the most, the most I've seen of Peanuts, is it really Peanuts? As there was, like, a parody of it in the Fairly Odd Parents Channel Chasers. I remember, like, that clip from it. Along with, like, many other parodies of other shows that were in that, like, yeah, TV they, movie. They parodied a lot. Yeah, remember uh, Maho Mushi, which is just anime in general, with mostly Dragon Ball? <laughs> I think that's definitely mostly Dragon there. Ball. Yeah, I think there was like a mech in was... that, like, bit, so it might have been like Gundam sure... with that. I'm sure the majority was like a lot of anime, but it was easy to kind of see the Dragon Ball focus on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, The Simpsons. Did anyone try the Charlie Rand Great Pumpkin cereal? What? Looking this oh, up. Yeah, there was a cereal. I completely forgot about that cereal. Why? Oh, and also, guys. Yeah. We, we nice. got it. Nice. Oh, shit, they're super nice. drunk. Last continue. Apparently, this is a current cereal. What? Now, throw it up in a VIP. Get him. Oh. oh my god, this dude wants my blood! Your blood, your soul, everything. Oh good, he can... Yeah, that, He has a, a boomerang potion. That... Cool. Oh god. Oh, he could scream rap too. There we go, got him. Pencil, please show up on this one. Hey, it's my girlfriend. Hey. Goodbye, girlfriend. <laughs> Goodbye, girlfriend. Hello, Round Satan. Seven. Okay, I, I have sparks. Oh, he's got projectile. And it looks like a spread shop. It's looks a like spread a shop. <laughs> How am I gonna get him? Is that That's the Grim Reaper? Man. That was like a lot of damage you just did. Fuck you! Let's go. Is that a game? Are Can't we done? Be. There was 80 stages. Unless we were lied to. Oh, she still loves SOS! you. SOS! Round 71. Uh. God damn it, and that's game over. Fucking hell. No. Alright. We're gonna go to break. What's the call? Do we try again? Cause we did pretty good ex with some bad exceptions. We technically saved your girlfriend, so it's not credits though. That's not the game's not over. There's clearly ten more stages. So Did we use that level select just... code, maybe? I can get her here in a sec. Should we just pull it? Pull it during break? If you rescued the girl, you deserve level select. Uh, let's see. What was the last stage you got on? 71. So I have the 
I do have the password for 71. All right, well, then we'll jump to it. Wait, wait, you said password? Yeah, like, I, I don't know how you access the screen for that. Hang on. Blue Ball Part 2. That's the Game Boy version. It says both. Cheats. Stage select. Use up and down arrows to scroll through stages. Right arrow. What? Right arrow 5? Right arrow V? What? This must be... This is not the right version. These might be... Oh, this this is might Game just Boy be the one. Game Boy version. Collect the three hidden keys to get the good ending after beating the last boss? I haven't seen any keys. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna look this up during the break. We're gonna look this up during the break. We'll see if we can solve that mystery there. Wow, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown cereal. Vanilla flavored cereal. What in the fuck? Interesting. Still for 42, Leslie Pro 4 for 61. Hey, um, try this real quick. I may, I think I have something. To unlock the option to select any stage in the game, insert the following code after turning the game on on the main menu. Is that the left B right up down one? That's the one. I might I might have yeah, fucked up already because I have this up here. So let's see. Left B right up down left right B. Nope. Reset. Left B right up down left right B. Um. On the main menu, left B, right, up, down, left, right, B. Left B, right, up, down, left, right, B. Hang on, maybe I'm doing it too early? Let's see when the press start button shows up. Left B, right, up, down, left, right, B. Try it just on the title screen? Like after you press start? Left B, right, up, down, left, right, B. I don't think it's working. Is there a different screen they, they mean? I don't know what other screen. Let me try the title screen, see if I can do it in that fast. Left B, right up. No, because I'm going to press a button, it goes away. Left B, right up, down, left, right, B. Uh... We might be fucked, boys. Let's go, let's go look at it during break. FZR Brawler for 75. Oh, 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 my dude for 63. Clay Dogs for 120. Neo Drago 05 for 11. Angel Hasman Hotel for 6. If you go to any game conventions in Georgia, I'll be looking forward to meet you. Uh, Hasman, you're in luck. We actually go to uh, Momocon annually. We've been going there for years. Well, other than COVID, but yeah. Tiger Tiger 413 for... Oh, wait, that's... Sorry, that's a dono. Uh, Electric Pickle for 60. Iska Bird for 45. Aura Guardian 98 for 73. Starbloom Fae for 27. I Pay the Fool for 43. Gokai, give it the sub to Hot Teacher 69. Heal the Azure Plains for 61. Pamazar for 25. Puppet Master for 117. Lil Hylian for 26. Element X Luna for 20. Arielin for 51. Scruffker Fluff for 69. Nice. 
Phase on Farmer, give it a sub to Kaizo Trap. Go Kai, give it a sub to Adam Sandler. Obo Ubo Obo my dude, give it a sub to Adam Beach. Now we have Florence for 40 and Goldilocks SOS for 64. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. Oh my god, there's a lot in the carton. That is not a code for Bubble Bubble Part 2, that is a code for Rainbow Island. Son of a bitch. The Game Boy version has a password system, the three key requirement for the good ending, but is completely different stages and the difficult difficulty is much easier. Source me, I beat the Game Boy version. I'm the source. From Draco. So remember that green screenable escape sequence? I'm Duke Nukem. I'm gonna kick your ass. You yeah. can't handle the Duke. <laughs> Is that all you've got? If you got paid for dying, You'd be a rich man. <laughs> Game over. Be drumming his pecs. I might need that one, Draco. <laughs> well, now we know what the Game Over screen was. It's the Try Again screen. Cable 51 with Duke is a disc-only podcast fan. Tonight, you dine in hell. I like Steven's shadow up there. Steven's cryptid shadow up the, the top of Outback Stab House. It's beautiful. No one's on this one, oh by the way, God. Cable, so that one's good. That one's good. Gokai with the dream transfer. Oh, no. Why is this the fucking Law and Order font? <laughs> Why is it the fucking Law and Order fuck is the talk earlier? Jesus. Oh, no. Probably. Oh, no. All right. Let's, let's hear it go, Kai. Dreaming in the dream time Our history is told in story Dreaming in the dream time I vomit <sighs> out the dream and last but not least from Princess Skylar fuck you Cherry I'll finish this damn song even if it kills me work in progress music will actually start at 10 seconds to give John some time to adjust the volume because my hearing sucks and I can never tell if it's balanced I don't usually share music whips with lyrics because of how self-conscious I am but given I'm actually really enjoying writing this even though it's even though it's kind of a shit post, I decided to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. This might They might be a little hard to understand because I haven't probably tuned the voice banks. I use synthesizer V. It's like Vocaloid, and there are some placeholders at, at the near end, so all you hear at some point is na-na-na. Mind this is a major work in progress. I really hope I can actually finish this okay. Sorry for the wall of text. <laughs> Skylar. I have no idea what to name this damn song, and I'm going to fight Cherry for vanishing. Sick in my head. There's so much hate. Here we are again, back in the dream space Back at it again with a wild chase Hidden in the corner of my eye You said goodbye without a trace Yet I still see your face I hear nothing, I'm everywhere Close the lid, nice and hop on in And don't fall behind to the next dream No, 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 la, la La, 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 no, 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 la, 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 la Interesting I like it. I'm curious to hear the rest of it when it's done. Even if Cherry does not show up again, which I'm very sure she'll show up again, which is really fucking funny. What's happening? Going to break. Oops. When we come back, uh, where was that link someone just dropped? Is this the right code? That's the code we tried, wasn't it? Left B, right up, down, left, right B? That sounds right. Yeah. That sounds like the code we just tried. And... We'll try it again. Left B, right up, down, left, right, B. I'll fuck around with this. Maybe there's some other way it works, but, uh... Yeah, nothing right now. But, uh... If we can't get the code working, what do we do? Do we do another run? Because we have a lot of knowledge now. We'll probably get through it. 
but we have to do the entire game again. That's the trade-off. Do you want to put that one up to a vote? You might want to put that up to a vote, because I'm going to be real. Uh, if we if we don't do it again, I just want to play Gradius, uh, Gradius 3. So <laughs> you're basically voting on Bubble Bobble Part 2 or Gradius 3, although Prime suggested you have the Game Boy version. I do have that somewhere. Isn't that technically a different game, though? Lino, this is the problem. We can't get the code to work. If the code doesn't work, we have to do the entire game again. Do we, like, have footage of this working for the NES version? No. Because, like, I don't, I don't actually know if this works or not. All right, we'll run a poll during the break. Or actually, rather, when I get back from break. So we'll, we'll figure it all out when I get back. See you guys in a bit. chat. What's up? How we doing? So yeah, going back to Charlie Brown and um, all the specials. Yeah, Maniacal, you should definitely try it out. Uh, Give those a watch. It, they're really good. They pretty much hold up to the test of time. I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'll give them a. I'll give them a watch at some point. They're, they're pretty timeless. There was one movie. I don't think out of all the movies for with the Peanuts crew, I think there was one I never saw. It was the, the one where Charlie Brown. Is that it? It's the I have one no where... idea. I literally just pulled a name out of my ass. No, um, it was it it was where Snoopy left Charlie Brown, and Snoopy went to go see a girl. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it had the name. Yeah, it had the most super fucked. I just know about it because of a super fucked up song and a really damn sad one. And I was like, I don't think I've ever seen that one. I forget what it was called. Snoopy Come Home. I think that's the name of it. Was Snoopy Come Home. Just for... No dogs allowed. Yeah, because like partway through the end, it's like this really heart-wrenching where he's literally trying to leave. Charlie Brown's trying to keep it together and then all of a sudden, I think Snoopy hugs him and he just completely loses it. Best part, it was written by the Sherman Brothers. Well, I'll be damned. And it was also the one where, like, yeah, I think he beats up Lucy. <laughs> yeah, now I know I haven't seen it. That was her name, right? Lucy, the, the girl with, like, the black hair and the blue dress? Who always, yes. like, took yes. the football away from Charlie Brown? Yeah. He gets into, like, a boxing match with her and he, he wins. And then he just acts. Then she just acts petty and throws the boxing glove at him. You know, there was another. Um, speaking with the about peanuts, there was another comic series I used to always enjoy watching, or not watching, uh, reading up, especially during the papers. Um, Calvin and Hobbes. I was about to say it's Calvin and Hobbes, isn't it? Oh hell yeah. When I was a teacher's aide, way back in my junior high, um, I had these two teachers. I gotta remember their name. It was, I don't... Uh, I think, and this is I how I know. And this is how I know they were important with my life. It was, uh, it was I believe, Mrs. Applegate and Mr. Fo uh, his Follinger. It, it was like Follinger or something like that. Very odd one. But when I was a teacher aide for them, I was one of their best. And I, I used to remember because they had Calvin and Hobbes books. You know, I would read the the, yeah, that's the how books. 
the books with all the different comics about them and everything. And um, that's how I also saw all those like comic strips was those Calvin and Hobbes books, like compilations. Yeah. And I remembered since I was their best teacher because I was so on top of everything and everything. Uh, they actually started giving me those as like Christmas presents for the year I was with them. It was actually super Aww. touching. I still have those to this day. I still have them to this day. And uh, they're they're stored away something. But I remember I have the Attack of the Mutant Snowman. There oh, was the horrible Beetle Bailey. Oh man. Yeah. Yo, who who also I also remember I I think they still do it, but at the time uh, it was another comic strip called Zits. Mm. I think that was one kind of one of the more modern comic strips, but that one was kind of like a fun time to read. But the funny thing is, is I bet you some people will probably recognize Calvin. He's oh, you'll see him usually on the back of people's cars or trucks of their, their it's pickup the little, trucks. Yeah, it's the little kid pissing on a symbol. That's Calvin. Yeah, that that's him. Is it still, I don't know if Zitz is still going. That's just what I remember reading in the comics for a while. There's, oh, you know, there's especially in the papers. It. Yeah. There was also the, uh, uh, what was his name? Bl I think Blondie. Yeah, that was another one. Yeah. I, I don't that, know. That was it. it was just interesting. We have an old. Um, article back in 2000. Shit, when did Grandpa die? Because I that's why I actually started reading the comics, um, in the papers because we were waiting for my grandfather's obituary to actually pop up because we wanted to save it. So for a while, I was always reading the newspapers and everything, and that's why I just kind of started reading the comics about those. I guess it was a way for like comfort way back in the day. But this is like, God, almost 24, 25 years ago at this point. Jesus. I'm, not, I'm sure a lot of other people here probably know it. But another like popular animated show that actually started off as a four strip comic was The Boondocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I remember oh, that. Oh, wait. I just re also remember. Holy shit. Baby Blues. That one I don't know. It was just like this comic of just two, two parents with their kid, and then eventually they get a second one. But it also had an Adult Swim show back when Adult Swim was just starting out. Interesting. And I think this was when, like, they had set it to where the the parents are on their first kid when she's, like, a baby or something. So this was before she got older and they had the second one. Oh, yeah, they did have a third. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, the famous Dilbert. What about you, Maniacal? Have you ever read comics from, like, newspapers before? I don't know if he's here or not. Okay, well, so it's just you and me talking yeah, about big nate We're... i don't think i read big nate i don't think so fun fact i saw a peanuts art exhibit not too long ago and i learned that pig pen was mutt's least favorite character by default only because he didn't know how to write the character so when pig pen became popular he sucked he sucked it up and included him because he still loved all of his characters oh that's cool Oh yeah, Family Circus. I have no I Foxtrot? I've never read that. I've never even heard of it. Uh hold on. Sounds familiar, but I may be getting mixed up. <clears throat> yeah, like Fox I said. Foxtrot comic. John, have you ever read newspaper okay. comics yeah, before? No. Was that? Uh newspaper comics, you know, like Garfield, um, Peanuts, all them. You ever read yeah. those? Yeah, I've talked about that before. I I read the Phantom. That's where I read the Phantom from. It's from old newspapers. Oh, I remember this one, Slylock Fox. I have no idea what that one is. He was always like the one, like the Detective Fox. Like he was always, it was basically like a comic, but also like a kind of a not spot the difference, but kind of spot like the mystery or whatever. 
It was kind of like that. It was like a puzzle. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Let's do alerts. Art block, and then... Well, I guess while I'm doing alerts, let's do the poll. All right. Uh, new poll. Run it back. Wait. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll also ask this. John, do you remember when Baby Blues got a season on Adult Swim when it was first starting off? It was on Adult Swim? I watched it on, like, one of the local TV shows or TV channels. But I do remember the cartoon because it had, like, the Bare Naked Ladies theme. Epid, I didn't remember. I just remembered the show existed. No, I've never heard of Get Fuzzies. Or Get Fuzzy. Oh, we, oh yeah, Pop Tropica, that Flash game. I, I'm just aware it, it exists. I never played it. I had a brother. He was young enough, he played it. Alright, polls running. Run it back one more time, or nah, greatest three. Meanwhile, let's read alerts. Uh, Tiger Tiger says, Mundane explanation. Your viewers are now dreaming of Blossom because you've mentioned her so much on stream lately that she's on everyone's minds and the timing is a coincidence. That's probably what it actually is. Reese is right. But I think it's way funnier this way. Oh, whoa says, Well, sometimes the memories of a person can be a real gray area on Steam. It's a game. I hear a pug. That would be her again, laying on my lap, getting a little chin rub. Huh. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Gray area. Got it. It's in the cart. Afro the Cobalt says, uh, watch this. She's going to be MIA for like an entire year. Then she'll show back up either like nothing ever happened or be like, I'm back, bitches. That's probably what's going to happen. I'll argue not, because I indefinitely had no room to be thinking about her the last couple days unless it was purely subconscious. Just a question here. Google shutting down Google Podcasts soon. Since it's only about fans currently links to the Google Podcast page, is there a spot you guys would rather it link to? Currently I have links to Spotify and Apple. Spotify is probably the best. Tiger Tiger says, so if we're going by the previous theory that Blossom is your subconscious, what does it mean if your subconscious has left you and is now visiting other people's dreams? It means I have no subconscious, clearly. I have no thoughts, head empty, which is why I feel so light. It all makes sense. Busy Kick says, what if Blossom is like Pyra and Mithrid with two distinct looks and personalities? I mean, it's possible. Like I said, she she looked uh, different a couple of times. One part of the dream, one dream, she was like a little chubbier. She seemed like she was back to normal in the one where she was fucking dressed as Captain Harlock. But also, she was taller. So like, I mean, it's also my subconscious. It's just gonna have, fucking have weird fun because it's a dream. Phazon Farmer says, "Hey, do you know if uh, BB Symphony got a re-release ever? I played it via Mame as a kid, and the words Bubble Bobble sequel gave me an itch for it out of nowhere." Uh, Bubble Symphony got a re-release on the Saturn, or was it the TurboGrafx CD? It's one of them. I think it's the Saturn. But I don't think it ever got re-released in North America, unless it was in some collection. Oh, by the way, Gradius crushed it. 74%, 109 to 39. Uh, Vice Nice says, I usually lurk in your streams, and I remember learning about exploding head syndrome during one of your streams a little while back. Never knew it was an actual thing. That's happened to me a few times over the last several years. Happened last night, actually. It was interesting to learn there's an actual term for that. Yeah, no, I learned about the term on stream. So I thought that was super fascinating. Because I've had exploding head syndrome for decades. No, John, it means you're living rent-free in their heads. I mean, that's not a bad place for a content creator to be. Does that mean Cherry is dream cheating? She's trying to find her parents, which gave me an idea when I was upstairs. I'm going to text my mom tomorrow and be like, oh, hey, no. you or dad had any weird dreams by any chance the past few days? Because if she says yes, I'm going to fucking lose it. Just be like, hey, yeah, sorry. I like inherited this like sleep demon. Uh, sorry that's affecting you guys too. I'm going to word it in a way that doesn't make them think I'm insane. 
Yeah, all of a sudden you just hear a knock at the door. Mental police. Ah, yes, the mental cops. Owo the said. Owo says, I have four dollars. Patrick A star. Right, cop on alerts. Pretty sure your family already thinks you're insane. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. What about asking your sister? She said she was going to find her family, though, was the thing. Her parents, specifically. Yeah, what was what it it actually said? In the, let, me, let me read the exact words I got. She says she's on a journey to find her parents, so she's traveling the galaxy. I swear to God, John, if she finds her way into my dreams and I don't remember dreams, well, it would be hilarious, but still. I mean, I'm going to laugh my ass off if anyone else actually genuinely does it. All right, art block time. Let's jump over there. And of course it starts with, with what we assume is Cherry. From Arizona, between dreams I recall, saw a brief flash of a figure with waist length, sandy blonde slash golden hair, wearing a light blue hoodie facing away from me. They were standing there in the void, but that was all I garnered, ex excerpt from my dream log from this morning. Straight up. I honestly don't know if John's subconscious has become a, uh, Thaumil, SCP, or a WoW-class abnormality, but this entity was the most vivid thing I could recall from my dream this morning. The only other character I could identify with confidence was the POV, uh, who was me, in the form of an OC of mine. If she shows back up, John will know. <laughs> I should note, with the dream, I recall much more than this figure, but everything else I dreamed of is pretty personal or only I would get. So I only shared what is relevant to Dream Watch. Uh, TRG has uh, have appeared before, but usually in ways I barely remember. This was vivid. I wonder if that's why I felt something was off about my dreams the other night. Probably not, but still odd. That'd be so fucking funny. That'd be so fucking funny, dude! Thank you, Ari. Next up. Esper Magic, no... Oh, Dr. Egg Pack, day one. Artist is Loving Soccer Cat. Well, there you go. It's cute. Yeah, Esper for sharing that. E. <laughs> From Royal Raven. Just a draw over of a GP Legend screenshot. Just had to draw this once. It came to mind. I like it, though. It's good. Good shit. Cherry slash Blossom is the true succubus. But she's not getting any energy out of me. I have more energy now that she's gone. <laughs> She's just really bad she, at her job. What was that fucking weird-ass anime about, like, the vampire that actually gave people blood if she bit them? Chibi vampire. Yeah, it's like it's like a reverse vampire situation. I like how you do that immediately. Look. <laughs> I don't have a defense on that. Thank you, Raven. Next up, I assume we have day draw October egg pack day two members. A lovely couple, Clo Chloe and Kid Arkstorm. Oh, cute. Too. Wait, if you have more energy now that she's gone, isn't that just proving that she's sucking it from you? And I mean, mm, 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 mm. they got me there. Siphoning. They got me there. Siphoning. Siphoning. But like, but like, here's the thing. My point is, I have more energy than I had even before the dream started. Like, let, let's say. Pre-dreams, I was like a seven. During the dreams, I was maybe a six. And now I'm like a nine. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't. There might not be any ground there, but I, I see, the, see the angle here. All right, I need to sleep now. Prepares white damage weapon, and I'm prepared. Good luck. Next up from Shino. Draw October day two, featuring buns. Don't think I've ever drawn Lucy before. Very good bun. Nicely done. Thumbs up. Snoring dog gives a thumbs up. <laughs> good, luck, yeah, good luck, Eric. Keep me posted in the morning. Also lines Love up with the me. question I asked in a previous stream about feeling more tired after interest in I like I didn't usually feel that tired. That's why I'm saying like a jump from like a seven to a six. That's not that big a jump. <laughs> if anything, I think I felt more tired after the dream where I dreamt she left. I definitely felt tired that day. What is it you guys are hearing? That would be... That would be Proofgold's, uh, dog. <laughs> it's a snoring one. 
She was always there sapping your power. She just grew powerful enough to actually appear in your dreams until she has enough to leave you. Interesting. Interesting theory. Ever dream this woman? Every night all over the world, hundreds of viewers see this face in their dreams. If this woman appears in your dreams too, or if you have any information that can help us identify her, please contact us, CaptainFalconSchool.com. From Trans Gwender. I was telling my girlfriend about the latest updates on the dreams, and she pointed out that old ever dream this man, and I <laughs> just had to create this. Can't wait for her to come smash back into your dreams Kool-Aid man style. God, she probably will fucking too. She's literally gonna break down a door like, hey motherfucker, miss me? <laughs> Guess who's back? Thanks, Gwen. I swear to God, this sounds like the basis for like a D&D &D campaign. You're trying to literally find this girl. From Golden. Something I drew up during work today from a dream I had. I had trouble remembering who this was until I heard Dreamwatch earlier and figured I should post. In my dream, my friends and I were gearing up to play the Cyberpunk Red TTRPG when a voice called out asking to join. I turn to look to see a girl that matches the description of Cherry slash Blossom, just with no face, hence the drawing from work. As I respond with sure thing and go to say her name, but it was almost like the word itself was stolen. Even without a face, I could tell she was smirking, waved, and vanished without a trace. It's weird, for this is the first dream I've had where I could not see a face on someone. This fucking rules! This fucking rules, dude! This is awesome! This is so fucking cool! <laughs> oh my god! That makes the last post funnier? Oh my god, it totally fucking does! <laughs> Good job, John, you've created a de dream demon. Well, look, I had to do something with my life, but apparently it was this. I swear to god, this sounds Dude. like the basis for a horror film. Dude, my therapist is gonna be like, what the fuck? What are you- what is happening here? I feel like we're getting into oh, horoscope shit now. Hey, we, be... we probably are, that's the problem. But like, it's still really funny. It's still really fucking funny. Alright. Day one, community member, Void Shout. From Spin, now it's time for day two of the Drawtober Challenge. A fellow community member in Void Shout's main OC, Null. Now the four options I was debating with uh, between this one seemed the most complicated, but it was actually really quick to draw this one, relatively, but it was still a fun time. Before I go, I'd like to come make an announcement. <clears throat> Jumni, you are not safe from my drawing you tomorrow. Your mod privileges might give you power over, over B, but they only make you a bigger target. Because of them, I'm able to draw both you and Tiger Brows in the same week. Nothing can stop me from drawing your cat girl. How do you like that, pussy? How do you like that, cat? I called you a cat. You have an indiscriminate amount of time to stop me before I start drawing your cat girl self by drawing my cat girl, Christina, as your only defense from this madness. And even then, it might not save you. Now let our drawings... Let our drawings being legendary. <laughs> One, two, Jerry's coming for you. Oh, no. 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 Gwen says, your therapist is going to start your session off with, so funny story, I had a weird dream last night. No, that, if she did that, I would lose it. Absolutely lose it. Everyone that your life touches has the same dream. I would quit my mod ship just like that. See you, loser. I'm going to go find my parents. Spawn combust. I'm kind of sad Blossom decided to get the fuck out so soon. I wanted to do some fun art. Oh well, I'll probably do some more when I get a chance. The dream stuff reminds me of doing comics based on dreams in grad school. The advice we got to remember our dreams uh, and not have them influence too much was to avoid screens, video-based media, for a few hours before bed. Go to bed thinking how you'll remember your dreams and of course writing them down right after you wake up with what you remember. But what do I know? I often think of my dreams as like fun movies or TV shows. I forgot a lot of details when I wake up, so I'm no advice master. I just play one on the screen. I mean, so here's the thing. Uh, so, Captain Harlock, there is a female character that has a very similar outfit, which is more red-tinted, so this is basically, I think it's Emeraldas or Emeraldas or something like that? It's not quite Emeraldas. Emeraldas, something like that, I think. Emeraldas, yeah. yeah. So, like, this is Emeraldas' outfit. It was, was like distinctly Captain Harlock's outfit. Like, the inside was black and everything. Because even I asked the exact same thing. Yeah, it's like, it is distinctly uh, Harlock's outfit. But yeah, although, like, I love the Emeralda's outfit, too. I think it's solid. 
Thank you, Spawn. And like I said, who knows? She'll probably be back. Like, honestly, I'll probably tweet something tomorrow and just be like, yep, she came back. <laughs> or something like that. But if I have a week of, like, no dreams of her, that's going to be wild. If I have a week of no dreams or only remembering small fragments instead of, like, the full solidified dreams I was remembering, that's going to be so weird to me. From Nerd, Drawtober OC slash Egg. So I already know I won't be able to do all the prompts, but no one said I couldn't do more than one at once. So here's my OC, Skellix, holding you, hand, handing you a deviled egg. Get it? Now, I mean, you're fine at combined prompts. No one's saying you can't do that. No one says you have to do all of them. So you're fine. Thank you, Nerd. Next up, from Mika. Oh, this is beautiful. I've been experimenting with a chalkboard art style, so I drew Rosa. This looks amazing, Mika. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Love it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Super dreamy, too, because of the, the black and white with the, with the gold. Good call. Very nice. You know what will happen? You tell your therapist about all this, and then next session she says she had a dream about Blossom. I mean, I already told my therapist about all, like, the first dreams, but this was before I figured that her name was Blossom. Thank you, Mika. Next up, looks like from Tree. Yep. Okay, I don't think I'm doing the egg pack straw tober because A, OC-tober, and B, I'm horrible at following prompts, but I couldn't pass up doing a new version of my Sona for a late day one. The previous variant was seven years old, so she needed some updates. We're gonna probably wrap on the wiki eventually, too. Cute. I like the outfit a lot. Thank you, Tree. Okay, but what if the other three people of Disc only mentioned they saw Cherry tonight, tomorrow? I'll laugh. I'm not planning on bringing up Dreams tomorrow unless it comes up organically, or I think to mention it. Like... But like I, I'm, I'm not gonna make it the main focus of tomorrow. Doubly so because Jared's not there. Next up, Ailita from Princess Skylar. I know this Ooh. isn't necessarily a drawing per se, but rendering is also a type of art, and I will fight anyone who says otherwise. Anyways, I won't be doing all of Drawtober, but just ones that I have time for or catch my eye. Artist uh, was the first one, and I decided to put my model idea of Ailita to good use. I watch Ailita streams the most out of all the Egg Pack crew. The second one being Cupo, but I have yet to make a model of him. I always thought she was pretty radical, so yeah, make you last. Cute. And she seems to like it. Nicely done, Skylar. If you somehow That's actually... do, will you do the Dreamwatch bit during... I won't use the actual animation during during Disc Only. No, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't even think I have the Wisdom of Duke on that screen, to be honest. You don't do Duke during it. And the last one for my Lita, Squ Squidward, the sky had a wonder baby. So here's a little context for my raid message from earlier. I was playing Miku, colorful stage, and the pink-haired girl pictured here is named Emu, or Emu. Her catchphrase in the game is Wonderhoy, and chat fused it with this iconic SpongeBob scene, and the rest was history. Have a Wonderhoy evening. Thank you, Ailuda. That gives us context. Yeah, yeah. Viperfan gives us Duke, and you know, I'm going to throw this last one in here for looks like Chloe. Ugh, oh, damn it! Why does a TV need Wi-Fi? My only guess is that someone stole that new dream router I installed Friday. Okay, but who? <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Kid Ark joked that with the dream static, Blossom stole your router before running off into dream space. This inspired a joke. In any case, hope y'all enjoy. God damn it. <laughs> chicks lift me. I love chicks. I guess she's not even holding. The bag is behind her on the ground. I mean, I guess you gotta be very careful when you're leaving. Uh, thank you, Chloe. Sorry, I apparently ruined your dream, your prompt plan by having her leave somehow. I think you're taking your powers of being an influencer a little too far. You're trespassing into our dreams now. Wait, one more. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Proton John's oh. in crazy dreams. <laughs> You know what? Beefru is drowning, but Sandler. Oh, God, God damn it, Rhyme. <laughs> fucking Wait. punked me. Fucking Hold punked on. me. The thumbnail is this. Oh, I can't. No, actually, it's not even going to do it now. Uh, open image in new tab. Dude, that's the so good. The thumbnail is just Beefru drowning. <laughs> oh. Oh, do not let Camille see that. Uh oh. No, she's seen it. She saw it. Well, she wait, showed up hold on, after. hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Where are the other two, where are the other four characters? It doesn't matter. Oh. No, no, it, it matters actually. No, Gex is right. What? Don't, you're gonna make her work on this more? Yeah. Oh my 
God, you asshole. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, she I said that was lazy. Let the poor lady take a break. She already committed to drawing me as Adam like Sandler. Milky Fru is dead. Too, too late. Too late. I fucking saw it, motherfuckers. Ryan, what did you do? What? You know the baby can all go off without his little swimmies. His little swimmies. Uh. I don't even know what they're supposed to be called. You know, the, flo the floaties. The floaties? Is that what they call? The floaties. Yeah, the, the floaties. Uh. He, tried he tried to, to float. <laughs> he tried to float. But he did! He just floated face down in the water! <laughs> oh you god, Pennywise is here. Run. You should have You should have told him that the plank position is not face in the water! It's face out the water! <laughs> the plank position. <laughs> I might have not just mentioned the where his face needed to be on purpose. <laughs> what is this it's voice just... you're doing? <laughs> I, I, I'm confused as well, don't worry. <laughs> I don't know, I'm running this with this Odro saw my ass voice? <laughs> John, I think I think that Beefaroo has been tutored by Pennywise. We yeah, all yeah, float that's, down that's... here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The, that Wily What is that Odro Sama? <laughs> Excuse me, what is what is that princess Pennywise right here? There you we go. I, I can't do the voice here. and that do it that like... high. I can't do it that well. Dude. We all float down here. Come join Beefaroo, dearies. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot join Beefaroo. I have work to do, madam motherfucker. See you. I <laughs> can mail. mail. Have a good one, but also pay me for the dividends for the first death, okay? Bye! <laughs> the, the dividends of his death? What was the fucking, like, assassin yeah, contract? Yeah, sure it's ballsy out on him, clearly. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, actually, hold on. According to the lore here... Oh, shit, none of us can afford that. <laughs> it's according to the lore. We we some broke bitches. Yo, is your game okay? It's a lot of, it's a lot of lines. There we go. Konami... That's what Konami does to warm up their, uh, their arcade machines when the game turns on. Mm-hmm. So, welcome to Gradius. Well, we're Three. not getting there yet. We're not getting there quite yet. Viper Fang. Oh, yeah, and the dude? What's the dude? Oh, great. This again. Fuck you. I like this game, Duke. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that is perfect timing. That was a dude. perfect one. Duke, he wants his, his guns, dude. Again. Give Dookie Nookie a gun. The Dookie Nookie. I did Ian's, right? I think I did. Pretty sure I did. I oh, think you did. did it here. Do another one. Oh, hi, highway. Anybody mind if I take off my pants? I wait, no, you can't do that either. Too late. They're gone. The pants are gone. So therefore, he has to be shot for his insolence. Goes more like counterfeit raisin, huh? I, I assume that, that's what it would have done for you. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna run countermeasures just for High Wang. <laughs> then we'll get to it. Eventually.
Lord help us all. Hi, Wang. Thank you for the raid. We tried to game clear Bubble Bobble Part 2 today. We got to stage 71 and then chat was done. Uh, we did beat Phantom 2040 earlier tonight. Uh, way earlier than I expected. So, and this is another game clear that's eluded me for a while. Radius 3. SNES version specifically, with, with slowdown. I'm not doing the no slowdown one, because I want to actually have a chance of doing this. Of course. Tried? Yeah, so we did two runs of uh, Bubble Bobble Part 2. Run 1 got us to stage 36 of 80. Run 2 got us to 71 of 80. And then chat was like, yeah, we're good. Go to something else. We, we tried a level select code, it did not work. Yeah, we were going to do the level select code, and then every version of the level select code we've tried has not worked. Yeah. Shot, missile, power up, those are all fine. Well, can you not give yourself extra lives in this one? I thought you could. Normal. Hey, hi, Wang. Take it easy. <laughs> Speed up. All right. Gradius 3. We've tried game clearing this a number of times now, and we've come close sometimes, but never, never quite doing it. Now, I have not played this also in a long time, so I'm expecting to be a lot of rust on this. I think the only time I've played it recently was for a <laughs> challenge for... for... Dark Controllers. That's why I'm starting to laugh right now. Mm. Uh, Didn't you yeah. say this was like the level all the mods were like having difficulty? All the ones that were... Some of them that were there, because some I know didn't get the chance to actually try it out. I think Deep's the only one that didn't do it. I thought it was also Meds who didn't get a chance. Meds was... Oh, no, Meds wasn't there, no. I think it was, it was, uh, Pop, I think Shamrock tried it, and, uh, Cold. Oh, so this is, this is the game that apparently no one, according to all of us mods, can't beat. Well, I, I can, Man, I, some I, I of y'all really took offense that, huh? I wounded some pride with that one. <laughs> Look, John, Magnus is coming up. Give me a challenge. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, you got Not greedy there. Not a good there. start. Not a good start. Aelita <laughs> wasn't there and she felt the call out. Just all chilling at home, really? all of a sudden we hear a disturbance in the forest. Rather, we feel <laughs> it. <laughs> Y'all can't fucking Just... handle. You can't fucking handle me having a little bit of razz, a little bit of showmanship. <laughs> <laughs> He has but, to take all our abuse, but when he, when he tries to abuse yeah, us, Yeah, no, yeah, that's the fucking can't. thing! Y'all give me shit all the time, and now I get a chance to swing back, and like, Nope. Fuck you, John. <laughs> fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Enjoy your fucking dream, woman who keeps jumping around. We don't fucking care. Hey, that, that fucking John guy, he's causing his problems. <laughs> what, what is this? What is that voice? <laughs> Maniacal felt left out in the voices, so he wanted to do a voice. Fair enough. I'm gonna do a voice. Yeah. Ah, shit. I, I gotta got do this with no The power. boss. This is a Ooh. Giant sand beetle. Yeah, I could do this. I told you. I fail you in other ways. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I mean, fail. That... Sorry. There's something mean, else. True. You know, actually, John, what's the last time I failed you? Like, that's a fun I, I question. I don't know. Right? I'm not keeping a fucking <laughs> list. <laughs> 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 Y'all got Let's some problems, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time I spurred you so you wrote it down because you were just that mad at me? <laughs> I've heard of petty recordness. That's a new one. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't worry about oh, you guys let's just sometimes. get out in the open. I wonder open. how much let's of this just... I've cost. 
Let's just get it out in the open. So, yeah, you know, like Maniacal says, John, what did I fail you? You know, just wonder. You know, all that kind of shit. Not <laughs> alcohol. <sighs> Fire up Parsec let one of the mods go out and prove him wrong. But then I gotta emulate the game. I'm using my actual cart. January 23rd, 2018, Maniacal failed me for the seventh time today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And here's the stream to prove it. It was that every exact time moment. A, every time a mod fails, it goes on their permanent record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what you guys don't know, actually, uh, so I went to John's house one time, and he actually has a whiteboard filled with gold stars for all the mods' names, right? Oh, oh don't God. even pitch this idea, because someone will think you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, oh, are we going to talk about, like, the filing cabinet where we have to go, go to an entirely separate building just for Maniacal himself? Why, why am I in the fucking cast out building? <laughs> the cast out building? Who has like, who has like file cabinets like 15 by 40 or something. I'm trying to remember the Simpsons bit. Bart, doesn't it? Yeah, because it was Bart when it, like the judge is saying he has his own, fi like his own separate building for the filing cabinets. Good God. <laughs> Use a Konami code while paused. Oh, doesn't it I'm kill sure. you in this one? I think this is the one That's that kills really you. That's really funny just yeah. the case. Cause I'm like, oh right. Cause I see the the faces and I'm like, oh right. I think this is like one of the few games where the Konami code actually fucks you over. Cause it became nice. such a widely known code I think this is even the other type of backwards and it works. That's a very trolly shit, thing. Shit, did I miss the, the pit for the bonus game? Ah, shit, I think I did. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not a big <laughs> deal, I usually die in there. Yeah, I'm at the boss. Oh, actually, no, this is the pit. The pit. I was gonna get there before. <coughs> okay, now here's the real trick. I don't remember the safe spot in this one. Standard Konami code gives you all the good shit, but also kills you upon unpausing. Substituting left and right for L and R does it proper. That's the change. Okay. Let's open up this pit. So one I guess the one up. So the one ups are buried in here, babe. Yeah, that green thing is a one up. And here's the problem: the stage builds around these things. I don't remember where the safe spots are. Uh, are. Ooh, interesting. It's a very so unique idea. So remind me, does hitting the up and wall, the the ceiling and the floor, kill you? Yes. Okay. That one up. It was too late to get that one. Can I get the third? Apparently there is a 30 lives code, but it's at the title screen. Holy shit, but I don't I think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever done that bonus stage. Holy shit! Nice. Nice! nice. I normally go in there and get killed. So I figured I was gonna get like maybe one life out of it and break even, but I think we actually you know, like abandoned. The best part is if you clear the bonus stage, you just skip the stage. No boss fight, nothing. You just you just move on. Okay. Oh, let's so do it's it. beneficial to do that. That's cool. Well you only get one shot at it. If you die and that the warp to it is gone. And you get spit back to the last checkpoint in the actual stage, and you just have to deal with the rest of the stage. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, full power. Laser! The other problem is I don't actually remember all the warps, because I know some of them have weird rules. Like, there's two that are actually pretty easy to get to. One's in high speed zone, and the other is the one we just did. The others require, like, you need to destroy something specific. 
Ah, one of those. One I think even might require a specific yeah. score, but I could be imagining that one. Retro games. Retro games, baby. Basically purposely trying to find ways to make you get that Nintendo Power subscription. <laughs> of course, yes. So you got started with, like, the original Gradius, right, John? Ah, fuck. I got greedy. You got greedy. So I, I realize oh. I think this is the stage where you have to destroy all the turrets to get the next bonus stage. Oh, boy. There go those bonus lives. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Now I don't get the speed up to start. Oh, oh, ooh, I Gradius, feel that. Baby, Gradius. God bless its adaptive difficulty and how fucking annoying it can be at times. Damn, my missile should say for double. I'm going for double. Whoa! I'm playing a dangerous game here, my friend. Sure am! It's called Gradius 3! <laughs> Warning, this game is actually dangerous. Oh, it says so on the back here. Hmm. Yeah, I think these turrets are the ones I actually have to destroy. If I destroy them all, I have a chance at going to another bonus stage. Because I don't think I've ever done that bonus stage before, so... Option. It's in like a really fucking garbo spot from what I remember. And outside down for volcano. Sure. It's space, it's fine. Yeah, true, 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 true. S space volcano. Did I get all the turrets? We have to get the turrets here too, I forget. <laughs> I missed one. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get it. Fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I wonder what I missed. <clears throat> How many stages does this Gradius, Gradius right now? Eight, have? nine? I don't remember. The, only, the farthest we ever got was, I believe... The boss rush before the final stage, or is it the boss rush before the second last stage? I don't remember. Uh, so this also has a boss gauntlet. They all do. Fair enough. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, these fucking rocks. Oh, all rocks. Good stage to have double on. Laser would have been better, but it's giving me more movement room at least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh oh boy. boy. You oh skin boy. through that like no. You skin that through your teeth. Skin. Skin. But, man. Is that so wild? That's what we call like the like the flesh that protects us skin. Like we just decided someday. Yeah, that's that's the name. Gonna, we're gonna call it skin. Okay, Michael, I'm, I'll buy it. Go on. No, that's really it, honestly. Like it's just kind of cool that we just like call it skin. Sure. Hundreds of years of medical records and terminology of sure, skin. No, he's got a point. His point is actually the fact that, like, the brain names all the things in the body. The brain names itself, for example. Exactly. That's kind of his point. I can't even damn uh, like I'm getting so greedy. Like, like, a brain named, like, the aspects of itself in the body and spread those ideals. Because they had to have originated from somewhere, from one brain to then spread to every brain. Because, like, we only call, like, ourselves, like, uh, like, those parts of our body, the parts of our body, because we were taught that. 
because we learned that from someone else. It's all a chain of learning, right? Because, like, don't like God, how deep this man is going right now. No, but here's the thing he's actually fucking right, and I'm hating this. Shit. But go, so it's go on. Oh. This pattern. Ha oh, come on. Oh, we're fucked. This checkpoint sucks. Ew. Oh. oh. Shit, what was the trick to getting out of this? There's a there's a specific thing I have to do. Oh, I need a double. I think that's what I needed. I think I'll play this Gradius for a bit once. Might have been on case, though. We're, we're dead. We're, we're actually fucked. Oh, oh my god. Oh lord. <laughs> John, is your hitbox a little tiny dot in the plane by chance? No. Then how the fuck did you? <sighs> Slow down, stopped. <laughs> Damn. Yo, out of curiosity, you ever beat Silver Surfer? No, I've gotten really close though. I need a third one. Give me a third one. Give me a third one. Give me a third one. Go. Breathing room. Give me breathing room, baby. God, Silver Surfer. Great music, aw, uh, trash game. <laughs> Actually, is this oh, bad or just hard? It's just hard. a little bit of both. There we go, we got out of there. Nice. Like, it's just one of the more for unforgiving shmups. Yeah. Because I think the uh, in, like any contact with anything will kill you. Yeah, and, and your sprites are pretty those... big. I have gotten to the final world in that game before. I've come close to beating that game. I never actually succeeded. And you have to hit okay. the shot button for every shot. So, oh, what are you doing, Jonathan? Yeah. Ugh. Uh. Like, that's basically a game you want the turbo button for. Yeah. Unless you don't want to, you know. I think that's also the thing, the thing with most shmups, though. Mon <laughs> Maniacal chat. Hmm? What about it? Oh, uh, that, that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I read it earlier. It's like, that's neat. Shit, shit. Yeah, no. I need to speed up, too. This run might be over. Might Game be. Game over, yeah! Hey, John, you played Advanced Wars with Chug and Tim, but have you ever tried Wargroove? It's similar to Advanced Wars. It has a lot of cool features like camping and cutscene creator. It's getting a sequel in three days, and I wanted to make a map with cutscenes for you guys. You're willing to try it out. I have War Group 1 and 2, because I got a code for 2. Nice. But uh, I have not played either. I've heard great things. I love Advanced Wars, but man, yeah, never played it, unfortunately. Man, I got to like Chapter 2 of War Group, and I just never went back to it. I, I was liking the game. I don't know why I just I don't, oh. I don't know why I never went back to it. This run's fucked already. I'm going to hang. All right, so it's time for Plan B. Plan B is strategic, well, right. is strategic restarting. Is that just resetting the system? No, no, we can get out of this corner. It's just it need, I need a very specific setup. Okay. So if this so third ship down here get... just gives me a, a bomb instead of the power up, we're fucked. All right, we got the power up. We can do this. I have the movement speed I need. All right. Okay. Okay, so the the thing about Gradius is, yes, if you do not have the power-ups you need, you're fucked. But there are ways to get around every scenario if you can get a specific power-up combo. The problem is, the game does not always give you what you need. Okay. So, uh, that scenario is normally a you-might-as-well-reset-if-you-fuck-that-up part. But because I know the, the backup plan to get out of it, we'll be fine. I just have to make sure I don't do the same stupid mistake I just did and just eat that laser for no reason. Now, this sounds like a series thing uh, with the whole, like, uh, ways to get out of everything. Yeah, no, there, oh, there are admittedly, like, Gradius is basically known as a series of, like, yeah, if you lose all your power-ups, you are basically fucked because there's no way to get out of it. Unless you have, like, either very, very good skills or you get lucky with drops, because the problem is a lot of situations can only be dealt with if you have power-ups. Like, those enemies specifically, the ones that we were dealing with, they cannot be killed fast enough with just your regular shot. You need a weapon upgrade. There's no way around it, which is why I got double, because double lets me deal with both of the turrets and the boss himself. And laser patterns difference. 
This is the one that if I get greedy, I can stay in the middle and keep working with, but I'm not gonna do that. I'd rather time out the boss at this rate. But doesn't this part change too? Yes, it does! Oh, jeez! Oh, good shit, good shit. Remember that a little... I wish I wish... Remember that a little sooner! <laughs> Just a switch! Oh my gosh. That Fear was a God was... I think Fry that was a heart stopper. Okay. All right, all right, we're, we're moving, we're moving, we're schmoving. We're in a new area, we're, we're in a new area. We're gaming, we're gaming. We're gaming, video gaming. Today we video game. Video games. Tonight I dine on video games. It's not a very good diet, honestly. That's why, Dude, why I'm so taste good. That's why I've Man, lost all this taste... weight. I can't stop eating video games. <laughs> of course, yes. You guys what, ever... were you gonna... what were you gonna say uh, I'm just I gonna go? say, uh, have you guys ever accidentally tasted uh, Switch cartridges before? Yes. No. Accidentally, no. On purpose, also no. But I appreciate the hustle. Well, like, I have, because, like, what happened was, like, I touched, like, a <laughs> That's why I said I appreciate the hustle, because I knew you were about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I commit to the bit, unlike you, apparently. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Tell wow. me how you're doing, I'm not going to tell all right, so yeah, remember when we, bitch, talk, you remember when we bitch, talked about it earlier bitch. about how we just all we do is just give John shit, and the one time he does it back, we get so pissed off about it. You're not allowed <laughs> to fight back. <laughs> They're not supposed to be able to fight back. Look, oh, shit, if I'm where, gonna fuck up, it better this? be for my own mistakes, not someone else's dumbass. The bonus course. stage in this one. It's in like a really weird spot. Oh, so but yeah, Switch cartridge is so fucking bitter, dude. It's terrible. Well, yes, that's on purpose. Yeah, because they don't want you eating the cartridges for obvious reasons. Which is why you tried to lick the cartridge. I didn't try to lick the cartridge. The residue was on my hand, and I was eating chips at the time. Okay. How do you get the residue on your hand? Because what happened was uh, I was putting the, car the game into my, into my Switch, and then uh -huh. a friend offered me like, some chips. I was like, yeah, sure, I grabbed the chip, right? Ate the chip. Wait, what kind of chips? Wait. I, think, I, think it was like, I don't remember. I think it was like a layer. Why or is something. it important what kind of chips it was? <laughs> How much? We don't need to set the dust. scene. We don't need to set the scene. <laughs> because we got to see how much chip dust actually appeared on it. Because certain chips don't leave that much residue. Go We're on. not judging him for the specific type, like chip residue on his hand. His reasoning is solid. I, we don't need to be well, that on. granular. I'm judging him. I'm the judging point, him. So go the on. point is, it was some chip that left behind some fucking like a uh, little like residue. They like a talkie or something. And like I had one, it's like, oh, okay, like there's like a little like dust left over, so I just like flick it off, right? And then it's like, oh, oh, there was switch cartridge residue left behind. Oh, that's what that tastes like. <laughs> yeah, no, terrible. I can believe that. I can believe that. So, oh, actually, hmm. You know, being boozled, right? Like, yeah. you think they ever yeah. really have like switch cartridge residue as like a flavor? <laughs> I, I thought you were about to say, what to if it. they did being boozled? But switch cart flavor. <laughs> that's just that's, all that's terrible. That's basically what he just said. Okay, it just sounded like the residue for th that. N N Nintendo flavor being boozled. Oh, shit, oh my, my god! Entire shit. How would that? Are you kidding me? Yeah, one, one, one's like a mushroom, the other's like Wario. It's, it's just or Wario one's flavor. Like the, po the poison one-up mushroom. <laughs> it's just actual poison. God, War <laughs> Wario flavored chips. I imagine they just taste like garlic because he loves garlic to consume garlic. garlic. You can tell no, a lot about someone uh, from the kind of shit they enjoy in their spare time. All right, so mine's salt and vinegar and ketchup. So what does that say about me? This is the worst image I... Montard added me with. My dude added me with an image of him licking a switch cartridge. <laughs> oh my lord. Never <laughs> accidentally, always on purpose. Yep, never accidentally, always on purpose. Great caption. Oh my fucking god. Now, also, for chip flavors I like, I, I like barbecue and... Probably also sea salt and vinegar, but I'll, I'm also kind of a sucker for Cheetos. I like Cool Ranch. I like, uh... What else do I like? Uh... What is it? Sour cream and onion? Yeah, sour cream and onion I like. Sour cream and onion's pretty good. You're Sour bitter cream. and Canadian is what it means? Oh, okay. That I mean, that's just... <laughs> Damn. Damn. You're expired, Damn. Damn. When did the chat get given? Chat's on this? always been like this. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> Dude, if you can have a good relationship with chat, where like you're just both ribbing on each other, it's the best, honestly. They're all mad. I got fucking blossom stuck in their dreams now. They're they're pissed at me. 
They were they were enjoying all the fucking dream watching was just in my goddamn mind. Now that everyone else is dealing with it, like, oh fuck this guy. <laughs> no, it's fuck his this fucking clown. fault. Take out. Oh fuck the consequences of my actions. Gives us a fucking week of trans imagery dreams, and then suddenly we're all fucking screaming like we're in a horror movie. <laughs> I like sour cream and cheddar chips. Oh god, all my options. Ah, oh, shit. Not good. That was the worst case scenario. Wait, you can just lose all your options if too? If you're doing too good in the game, the game introduces an option eater or option stealer, I forget the actual term is, uh, that literally just shows up and steals all as many options as it can reach. Gross. That's, that's gross. dirty. Fuck! Ah, oh, double fuck, I didn't get my shield. Oh, that's what that was just then? Damn. No, I, I had it on shield, but I happened to just touch a power-up just as I hit the button, so I did the screen clear instead. <laughs> Something like, stuck? I sent her an invite on how to plan the plan how to troll others. I don't know what you're talking about. If you send her my way, I'll laugh the entire time. <laughs> See, what, what if she's waiting until you put your guard down? But, like, I'm sleeping. My guard is always down. <laughs> you, you don't sleep with one eye open? No. But what if you sleep with your guard up? I wear a sleeping mask because Reese normally has a light on in the room. Oh, interesting. Okay. God she damn afraid it. of the dark. She hates sleeping in the dark. Yeah, she can't sleep in absence of darkness. I can, and usually need it, because I can see too well in the dark, so it keeps me awake. God, ain't that in a mood? Like God. Uh, sleeping uh, that night, that dark. I can't remember where the bonus stage is in here, because I remember it's in like a really, really bad spot. So speaking of night, um, I've actually been doing some night photography, right? And I forgot oh, how fun- no, this boss! And I forgot oh. how fun- That, uh, that looks like a fun, uh, fire dragon. Yeah. You know what's more fun about fun. it? The fact that it is cat dog. Oh. Hello, Dragon Dragon. How are you doing today? Yeah, to Rock the Dragon. dragon. Well, this no. reminds me of, like, there's a boss fight in Spyro 3 called Bad Dragon, and it's like two dragons that fight you. It's pretty cool. I'm also really reminded of the... They weren't, like, a cat dog thing. They were just two different... An ice dragon and a fire dragon from Banjo-Tooie. Damn, I do not remember where this fucking... warp is. Uh, I think I missed it. No, that's. I don't think that's what he was trying to mean, guys. What? P people I think are taking he said the... bad dragon, and now everyone's like maniacal. No. Oh, oh, okay. No, that's a real thing, though. That's a real thing in Spyro Three. People just get their freaking heads out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> well, they live in the gutter. Where the yeah. hell do you live? The trash. I'm Oscar, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if you could live like Oscar the Grouch, would you do it for like a day? Fuck no. I probably could. Do... It's uncomfortable. I mean, you unless, get to like in a trash can for like a day, right? But you're paying like a thousand. Unless bucks. like my trash can led to like a, a portal to like dollars. trash walls. Okay, no, a thousand dollars for one day living in the trash. Yeah, li That's living in a trash can like Oscar the Grouch for a thousand dollars for one day. No, make it ten thousand, then we'll talk. You can't pay a thousand dollars living in a trash can for a day. Why are you not taking the offer? <laughs> because I have higher standards. Because I think he needs something that he can. Not making a week. Damn it. Yeah, you're right. This Have you ever seen run. Elmo? Have you ever seen Elmo in Grouchland? Dude got a whole pad in there. I can't do my Elmo voice right now. It's so fucked up. Hold on. <laughs> they was the value of dragon who switched cartridge flavored Kool Aid. Ew. Terrible. <laughs> my, my favorite thing with Oscar that's the Grouch. Gross Puppet Master, you. I think one of my favorite things with Oscar the Grouch is like, uh, there's like this bit where like he's talking, I think, to Conan, or no, I think it was to Stephen Colbert. And uh, he was talking about like uh, teaching kids math. And Colbert's like, oh, that sounds really hard. And Oscar's like, really? The preschoolers get it pretty easily. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so fucking hilarious. Like the Sesame Street getting like, like witty and like chaotic like that is so funny. Right, the only option. Let's see how this goes. 
It's like Ernie being stuck in uh, Elmo's world. Uh, Elmo, how do I get out? I don't know. <laughs> Elmo don't know. Elmo always trapped in this void. <laughs> His dark limitless void. Elmo knows just how to get out. Elmo was allowed to. There we go. Okay, Except stars. for Rocco. <laughs> Fuck Rocco. He doesn't exist. He's not real. His fucking. Oh, I didn't have enough speed. Game over. Elmo's beef with the fucking rock is so funny. The fucking, I, like, I can't what, do what do they call Elmo it? The Kubrick board. stare? <laughs> the Kubrick stare into the abyss. Gentlemen, lady, horoscope. <clears throat> no, horoscope. Hor horoscope. Oh, dude, the outtakes with Robin Williams is fucking Those hilarious. Are so good. Mr. Robbins, I'm taking the stick back. Oh, thank you, Mr. Robbins. Mr. Robbins, take the stick back, Elmo. Force field. One of my favorite bits I think I've also seen with like uh, Elmo or like the Sesame Street actors doing their characters like outside of the show. Was there was this bit where like uh, the Elmo actor was like a guest on like some late night show, and he's like, "Oh, Elmo doesn't need to go to the bathroom. Elmo just goes." Oh, I like, know that one. <laughs> he's like, "Do you know what color think... red and yellow makes? <laughs> Orange." And you really like, hear him just losing it in character. He's like, "That's I think terrible." That... <laughs> I think that was on Conan, I do believe. I don't think that was Conan. That sounds like something that would happen on Conan, though. To be fair. Yes, like, that is. That, oh I've seen God. that clip. I've seen that clip too. Yes, that is true. Uh, Elmo does make that joke. It is the funniest thing. Yeah, that, that is a real Sesame Street clip that, that's out there. Not, not, well, real Elmo clip. I like the idea that they just make their characters like actors in Sesame Street and then they're like actual like people outside of it. But they're still obviously the characters. It's just puppeteer. But that's the beauty of it though. When you can bring a character to life, you can, and it's so memorable to a lot of people. Oh, it's hilarious how these sand dragons are so much weaker than fire dragons. Well, it's because it's stage one. <laughs> and it'd be really sad if those dragons know. were just as strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Elmo Zach Braff clip. Elmo learned a new word. Because <laughs> I think it swears. What was that one thing for, like, Bear in the Big Blue House and the bloop so a blooper for that got out? Oh, with, um, was it Tupper and, uh, like, another character? They're just, like, swearing at each other. and then Oh, the mice. The oh, it's the mouse. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Oh, Tupper. What did I say? <laughs> oh, no. I, th I think it's Tutter. I just said Tupper. <laughs> I can see Tupper. now. Look, characters. Tupper. I'm just thinking Tupper. No big deal. Yeah. Shit, I didn't see that bullet. Fuck. And we just know you are all fucked. Did you ever see the um if we're talking about like all these other kids shows here the barney outtake where he like steals like the woman's purse yeah i thought yeah. that was fake no that's actually real that's real it's hilarious uh nope did not see that one let's see if i can find it he's that easy i was like never cop around when you need one <laughs> like <laughs> never cop around when you need one <laughs> something like that yeah in the barney voice and it's so funny dude <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's sorry. It's actually I... very like the one thing I have here is interesting of all like the weird fucked up behind the scenes stuff for that Barney show. I am concerned why you could do a good Elmo. Thank you. I know I know how to do VA work. My VA work's still pretty bad. There's Today's still, summer and there's still time to work on it, sweetie. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't I know. Also, I don't know what's worse. At any time you get called mommy, and then you would just instinctively go to the mommy voice, or you just do that on purpose. Well, of course, I fucking do it on purpose. What do you expect me to just have like a fucking subconscious reaction to do it? But what your subconscious point, yes. is not with you right now. You're right. I don't have one anymore, <laughs> so I can't. Are we gonna like slowly so... Pavlov him into a mommy voice? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> It'd be funny. Now, Jonathan, when you hear this finger snap twice. You will slide That's... into the Jami voice. <laughs> That's just hypnotism. Yeah, that exactly. is. 
Well, that, that's kind of what Pavlovian responses are. In a way, it's a form of like muscle memory hypnotism. I'm going to be in a tactics game on Steam. I sent in the file a few weeks ago. Oh, dude, that's awesome, Montero. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, nice. we got to save the planet. But first, cherry pie. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, 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 I love that cherry pie. Now, I, I'm afraid it's voice o'clock. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's that's the right alert sound for right now. I, I feel that. I'm bones. So, John, I know like weed's legal in Canada, so but like you don't do it, right? right weed is legal up here, but yeah, I do not partake. Okay. I'm too. I'm too. What's the term? Straight edge, I believe. Shit, I should go yes. option, not the shit. Vanilla. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm boring. Straight I'm, edge. I'm bland. Would be the thing. I'm no, so it's, bland. That's a, no, that's it's not. No, it's straight edge. It's straight edge. Nope, that, that's the, that's the correct term. Like, I don't you think I ever want to do it either, to be honest. I got no problem with anyone who um, does it. I know plenty of people that can fucking The same. Smoke, smoke, <laughs> I went to a friend's party whatever. once and like I saw my I caught my sister doing it. She's like, don't tell mom. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Just be careful. <laughs> I'm not a fucking narc. Go for it. <laughs> Here's a I, I I will say You tell there, anyone did you die. Everyone knows how to cut people, anyone. Um, to go back, marijuana for medical purposes, it actually does have some good really good benefits especially if you have eating disorders suffer ptsd or anxiety and things it does actually help but mm -hmm. consult with your doctor first yeah also gotta be in, like the right like it has to be legal in your state too like uh i'm in texas so that's never happening here uh, <laughs> good luck there uh, oh yeah you're fucked goodbye i mean i don't want to do it anyway so i don't care but i mean yeah it's never happening here Where's Tom Fox when you need ammo? Ammo's right here! Hi, everyone! Yeah, well, well they made more time to have Elmo talk to Elmo. <laughs> Which Elmo's the real one? I have the El gun. Elmo, Elmo off? <laughs> <laughs> Elmo off. Oh. Everyone wants to know, are you one of them imposters? Wait, hang on a second. I was waiting for the sus to, to drop. I thought fucking... about it. So, with how big it was, I'm surprised Sesame Street never bothered with like a Among Us parody, right? How many I gaming mean, parodies like... did they do? I don't think they did that many. Uh, that I... might be, you might be right about that. They did do gaming parodies. Like, they did like Game of Thrones that one time. Oh Which, my god, god what shit. the fuck? Which, by the way, that came out of left field. Sesame Street's parodying. Parodying. I can't say that word. Parodying. Thank you. Thank you. For with Game of Thrones, I'm like, you guys, okay. Yeah, this is the thing. This is the thing that actually happened. Did they call it like Game of Musical Chairs or something like that? I, I can't it remember. It might have been Game just... of Chairs or something like that. I, I think yeah. I think you're right. And there's like a ton of references of the show itself, which is pretty great. Emma will have the Game of Thrones. <laughs> I always think about Game of Thrones and how much they fucked that like that last bit of it up. Because my god, I never saw a show t get so turned on by fans. Unlike, uh, I'm sorry, not, what? What is it? I never saw a show that was turned. Yeah, you might want to I... check the way you phrased that just then. Yeah, like the, the fans turned on the show. Like, so <laughs> much to the beginning changes and Jesus all that. Jesus Christ! I wanted the one up. I wanted the one up. Oh, also I've had that experience. It's called the called Mass Effect. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh I'm Captain Elmo. This is my favorite shop on the Sesame Street. Oh my god! Wait, say that <laughs> Look, again. Commander Elmo Shepard. Yeah, Commander Elmo Shepard of the. Uh, of the, what is it, USS the Normandy. Sesame. Well, they gotta, gotta, gotta replace the Normandy. Normandy. What the hell are you on? I need a shield. I, need a shield. <laughs> I like we to got, think there's like that. I love, I want to see that. I still want to see the Princess Pennywise too. Princess Pennywise. Just imagine like Shepard's Chaos Options, but just Emma doing that instead. Like he's like throwing dudes out the window and everything. <laughs> you talk too much. Emma knows you talk too much. Bye. 
I'm gonna have to silence you now. Captain Elmo, the USS Norman. No, even better. Captain Elmo, the USS Henson. <laughs> no one makes I know sense. that could work. When is each night here not cursed? No, we've had some we, great we, nights. You know, Look, no, no, no. I, I, think, I think I get where they're coming from. We're pretty fucking cursed around here sometimes. Look, there's some cursed, and there's like actually like cursed. Like we need to get the fucking like priest and exercise this shit cursed. I do have some holy water, just in case. Save like this for, is not save one that of those. Tomorrow, if you have the dreams. Of course, yes. Like, tonight is not one of those, like, we need to an exorcism nights. This is just, like, on the low end of Cursed. Which, speaking of, the did you see that they're cursed. making an... Did you see they're making a, uh, an exorcist movie? Yes. Like, like a new take on it with the, uh... I, I think it's, like, the original uh, girl is you know, character in the movie. Yeah, and I'm just like... Really? Oh, okay. I thought it was like, oh, it's part of that whole Conjuring uh, movie universe now. Conjuring universe. The Conjuring verse. The Conjuverse. Oh, the. Become part of the Controverse. And conjure. Try to conjure your own ghost, and then you have everything go terribly wrong because you tried to fuck around, and then you found out. You know, speaking of ghosts, you know what movies, what, like, character I haven't seen actually come back? Casper. I'm yeah. I'm surprised nobody's actually ever tried to do, like, a new take uh, on him or whatever. Who even owns the rights anymore? Marvel? Is it Marvel? I don't know. Marvel was, like, part of their... There's no, it was Archie comics that was during the comics. Sorry, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Casper being part of the Marvel Universe, that would actually be kind of fucking legit. I'm not gonna lie. God. I will actually really? watch a movie of that. <laughs> Apparently Universal Studios has the rights. Who? Interesting. Universal Studios. Oh. Because DreamWorks oh, yeah. Animation had the rights. Oh, okay, yeah. Speaking of Marvel, uh, Loki Season 2 comes out in like a couple days. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Further. Yeah, Literally someone's actually be excited seen about any of the movies from this era because I've not seen a single one. I think except for Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Uh, I mean, if you like Guardians, Guardians Three is actually really solid. I do like Guardians. I just haven't gotten around to it. Reese wants to watch it at some point. Man, I'm so behind on like Marvel movies and stuff like that. Oh, I know. A lot of the yeah, recent here. stuff. A lot of the recent stuff has not really been good. I'll be real. Well, it's not even that. I still not seen Infinity War. Infinity ah, okay. War was pretty good. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Like overall, I really enjoyed it. Here's a, I, the I thing think that... the I, here's the thing. I think it should have ended at after the Infinity War was done, but it would never happen because money. Oh yeah. But like that was a pretty good capping off, pretty good jumping off point for everything. I would agree. It was just a really solid like ending to that story, and I think my issue is that they're going a bit too broad with things now. Well, now they're actually stretching themselves thick because now it's like, it was at first it was just you just have to watch these movies, like at least at worst maybe twice a month or tw not twice a month, twice a year. But now it's like, oh, now you have to watch these all these Disney Plus shows and ooh, so much other stuff now. The Disney Plus shows where you could tell with a lot of them that the VFX workers are very overworked because there was some stuff that just looked awful in those shows, man. It it, it it was just, like, fatigue. That was the thing, like, I remember and I think it's even even today, there's just so much superhero fatigue. It, it just, like, oh, yeah. I'm with I'm with Trey. I actually I've actually never seen probably Endgame, Infinity Ward. I haven't seen I think, yeah, awesome. honestly, the last Marvel film I actually saw was probably the first Thor. That's how far wow. back I am. Wow. That's a very far back. Well, again, it was just like I just didn't kind of gave a shit. I mean, if you didn't care, then more power too. Like, yeah, that's fine. No, honestly, you're, you're I did not like a thing. 
I do agree with this point in chat, by the way. It's not superhero fatigue, because movies like Guardians 3 still show that these movies are good. It's just bad movie fatigue. It's bad writing fatigue. People just want to see good stories with these characters, and if they're... If we're oversaturated with not good stories, it's not gonna matter to people. Well, and the part reading it. And the thing is too is like if you were gonna yeah. really like go with the comics, like you have there's so much like interconnections with certain comics, like and I was discussing this with one of my relatives. There's no way in fucking hell they could have done Civil War properly. There was no way in fucking hell they were gonna no. be able to no. do that. And not only that, there's other, like, major stories they could tackle, but there's no way in fucking hell they'll be able to. Um, House of M, which would have been where Scarlet Witch was going on a killing spree. Um, which I guess they kind of did with... They sort of did with... What... Yeah. yeah. They like yeah. loosely adapt things nowadays, because obviously comics and yeah. stuff. Because they, but... they still haven't really put the... Uh... They have the X-Men right now, they're just... I guess the difficulty of putting the, the X-Men and mutants in their universe now. They've kind of teased the X-Men a little bit, but I'm nothing assuming like they may try to do that after yeah, I mean, their attempt to do Secret Invasion. Wolverine is confirmed to be in Deadpool 3, so... Wolverine's there. Wolverine's also, like, in She-Hulk, but, like, as, like, a news article, it's like, oh, man in bar with claws for hands or something like that. Yeah. So they're well, obviously it's... trying to probably build up to it. Yeah. But, like I said, like, there's a lot of, like, major arcs in the Marvel comic universe that, unfortunately, there's no way Marvel, like, could do, produce it, at least in the universe of the cinematics, there's no way they would be able to properly do it correctly, because they would have to do... do justice. Yeah, because... Because all those involved way too many characters. Well, characters, backstories, different scenarios, everything like that. Um, and it's the same thing with um, with DC as well. There are certain DC See? stories uh, they can't really tackle real well. I feel. I actually saw Blue Beetle the other day, and I thought really? it was all right. But with the DC universe, it doesn't feel like a universe. It's way too disjointed. Yeah, like they tried talking? and they just. It's just, I don't know. Like, they, I think they were trying to make Flash the big t tipping point again, but that just... I'd Flash was a nightmare, dude. And I think the reason they didn't give up on it is because they wanted it to be, like, their universe, like, reset thing. I think that's... and uh, Yeah, I think that was why they had put too much money into it and they had too big pl of plans for it to kind of make it stop. Like, you, you could just start over, like, not, like, no issue whatsoever. You don't need, like... A crazy movie to be like oh yeah we're, we're starting over guys like audience attention spans are terrible yes so you know it's, you, you could just get away with it oh my god is that smash tunes rating no, it is. Not him. no it's not that isn't no. dalton dalton oh there goes my shield oh my fucking god john Playing with fire, baby! Yo, somebody mentioning the best Marvel show, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes? Fuck yeah, good taste. I'm still kind of bummed out about what happened with, like, Josh Keaton as the VA for Spider-Man. Yeah. I still need to watch Spectacular, actually. I've seen, like, bits and pieces of different episodes, but, like, I never, like... It's kind of like with me, it was like Avatar The Last Airbender, where I basically saw almost all the show, but never in order. You, you just saw it's everything a... jumbled. Pretty much. It's like, I actually went through Avatar a few years back. There was, like, I think just, like, one or two episodes I actually had never watched before, and that was it. Otherwise, I had seen everything else up to that point at different yeah, points. Fuck, fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Ah, oh, fuck. God, sometimes that one just sucks to do. Alright, let's run cameras for Dalton. Alright.
Thank you for the raid, Dalton. <laughs> Hopefully the stream was good, my dude. I'm doing some game clearing, working on Gradius 3 at the moment, because we already finished Phantom 2040. And our run of uh, Bubble Bobble Part 2 ended at stage 71 or 72, somewhere around there. It was 71 out of like 80, which is rough. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm surprised no one wanted the run back. I think they're kind of tired of it by that point. I don't know. Fair enough. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to go for double. Double's actually the thing I need for this fight. I can only assume. I don't know for sure, obviously. Yeah, like I said, I... It's going to be interesting how superhero films are going to go from this point. I think they'll still be kind of what's already there. It's just a matter of, like, how they go about it. Like, there's going to be a new Captain Marvel movie, right? Combining, like... The oh, Captain the Marvel slash Miss Marvel. Doing but like that apparently... until the internet died like 10 minutes before the stream was supposed to end. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. But yeah, a new Captain Marvel movie. It's like three of them. And it's supposed to also be like the shortest one they're doing. Oh yeah, the Marvels. That looked interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah, I got the... mm -hmm. What, they only make it like an hour and 36 minutes or something? Yeah, something like that. A hour 45, give or take. Yeah, it's not a two-and-a-half-hour time commitment for once. Yeah, which I appreciate that, honestly. God. Am I just in the minority? I'm not in the mi minority thinking movies need to trim themselves down again, right? It depends on the movie, I find. It depends on the movie. Some movies I could use it being short. Some I wish there was more to them. God, I feel that with some movies. It feels like now most movies are at least at a minimum two hours. I think it's because of, like, you know, things costing more. People want, like, to feel like their time is more... I mean, like, that's fair. That's very fair. Work, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just, once again, it's just... I think Marvel popularized, like, the two-hour movie thing. Not to mention credits after... Or... Super Especially secret cut... fucking that. Super secret cutscenes after credits that you have to sit through. Well, thankfully, that the internet has a bunch of websites you can just go to and check that now. Yeah, that's why I always do just like, hey, does this movie have post credits? Like, yes, it does. Like, maybe it's like the mid credits matter more. I don't know. Like, my favorite one. Like, I don't I, I mind think... it if like the if it's like kind of after like the special like credit vignette. Yeah, the mid credits are what matters more nowadays, which I appreciate. My favorite one I could think of was I think it was for Spider Man Homecoming, where the after credits, uh, it's like so in the movie there's these bits of like Chris Evans coming back to be Captain America and doing like school PSAs. At the very end of the movie, like with like the after credits, he's like, today's lesson, patience. Which is I thought was fucking hilarious. <laughs> to think I actually pulled that. Fun funny enough, I couldn't sit through homecoming. I never saw Far From Home. But I sat through all of uh No Way Home, but I think most of that played into the fact I am literally seeing like a culmination of multiple things at once. If anything for Homecoming, uh, Michael Keaton as Vulture, fantastic. What's up, John? Checking something here. No worries. Where the warp is in this one. Bonus oh, okay. Because I know it's in like you got to tuck yourself into a weird corner to get this one. Gotcha. In the middle of the stage, you'll fly underneath an upside-down mountain coming to the ceiling. The bonus stage entrance is near the ceiling, just on the other side. However, the hundreds digit... This is the one. However, the hundreds digit of your score must be 3, 5, or 7 to enter. But with all the things flying around in the stage uh, that are worth 300 points apiece, you could just position yourself on the entrance while still shooting things, and eventually your score will qualify, letting you in. Interesting. Gotcha. So stupid rules. Oh, that's not the pause video button. Oops. <laughs> that's going to kill me. Oop. Oh, we're lucky. We're lucky. We're lucky. Good, 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 good. Definitely almost got my ass shot, though, because I tried to pa unpause the video. Or, sorry, pause the video with the fucking SNES controller. <laughs> I will say, like, to kind of bring the whole, you know, with um, Superhero films, if there was one... Very nice, Sean. If there was one, like, arc series I wish Marvel will tackle, but there is no way in fucking hell they would be able to. Um, shoot. Who is the villain's name? It's literally Professor X and Magneto combined together. Oh, uh, not Apocalypse. Oh. Fuck. Uh, Onslaught? Onslaught. Yeah. I would love 
if they ever try to do the onslaught onslaught arc because holy shit that's a fucking bonk bonkers one i think if there's any arc i would oh want my to god try john to... i'm not going for it i can't go for it it's too risky that's fair. I think if there's any arc I would want to see them try to do, it'd probably be Secret Invasion. Like, I would imagine, like, with Secret Invasion, well, they could, I think like. They're obviously a building to. I'm Secret making a invasion. joke here, it's great. <laughs> Fucking hell. But no, like, legit. Like, God, Secret Invasion, man. That show was not what it was supposed to have been. It was just such a bummer. I heard it was, like, super trash. The issue I had with it, and I think a lot of people had the same sort of, like, sentiment, was that. It focused a bit too much on, like, not really doing anything with, like, the actual consequences of Secret Invasion, where it's like, oh, the aliens take over, right? Because in this one, it's just, it's like, oh, who can you trust? Like, who is, the, like, the actual alien? Who's not? And then in the show, it's like, no, it's like one, like, one or two important aliens, and it's extremely obvious. And, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's just not good. Which is a bummer. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, um, that's a very creepy chap with eyes and mouth moving. Cool. <laughs> that actually, no. <laughs> Anyways, going back. Um, yeah, I would love if they actually did the onslaught arc. But the problem is, is you need almost. You need all Avengers, all of X Men, all of Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. You would also need. I think almost every, not every major Marvel hero. You need a um, good chunk of them, though. Yeah, and the problem you, is, like, half your Marvel roster still technically isn't a it's kind of established, yeah. but they're not really established. Yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think for like a more recent comic storyline, like probably if they did another Spider-Man one, Spider Island wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. If there's anything I want them want to see them do for Spider-Man four, it's probably Way of the Spider, and that's just because like I just want to see more like Shang Chi in the MCU because they did his movie, it was great, and then they're not doing anything with him again for the longest time. I don't know, man. They, it's just they introduce so many characters and they just don't do anything with them because they're the scope is comics, so baby. What if MCU you like, fuck, it's all the current canon they've created and just create movies and random arcs? That's just what if, like. That's just basically yeah. I think like, that's hey, what basically if... what if. Like they, I think they actually did like the Marvel zombies in that thing. They did. Not to be confused with the Marvel zombies that they're actually going to be doing. They're gonna make two different versions of them? It was one for what if, and there's one that's gonna be like a full series. Motherfucker, this is not the time I need you to show up. Bad So So you said this thing actually has like an adaptive the game has adaptive difficulty. The better you're doing, the more power-ups you have, the harder the game gets. So they throw more enemies at you, enemies will explode into bullets more often. <coughs> Basically, the longer you're playing, the more the game is trying to get you off the game. Makes sense. Man, I don't we think want I've ever gotten to this boss with a full power set, so this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. Do I have enough speed for this boss? Hello. How you doing? Going is it a Reese or is it Bagel? I'll look after the butt, don't worry. He's already eating like what three cans? Only two and a half. Two and a half. That's still a lot. Yeah, he's gonna have to like upstairs. Okay. Bye. Got gotcha. it. Love you, babe. Patch day. Patch day. Ready for patch day. Enjoy patch day. Love you. Patch day. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen tomorrow. Oh my lord. All right. I'll see Jesus you online, Reese. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> Was this an arcade game? Yeah, the greatest year started in arcade, Sam. Which is why limited credits Once and again. being genuinely like unfair. <laughs> All right, we have to clock as much damage on this guy as we can. I do have enough speed, but it's barely enough. Also, welcome once again to Retro Gaming, baby. 
motherfucker. You got what hit the by the one stray bullet. No, so what happened was the wind stopped. And my momentum was just enough to throw me into the bullet. What a motherfucker. I need three speed ups for this or two, I forget. I, think. I have a I have a specific setup for getting out of this boss too, but I don't know if I remember it. Also. Also, I love how the game is like Hey, you're playing too good. We're gonna punish you. By the yeah, way, go it's an outside. Arcade machine. It wants money. Right, but I'm just like, you could also be like, also we want you to go outside. Go get air. Fuck! I should use the speed. Oh my god. Oh, that's. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Gotta think about how to do this. There's a way around this. I've done it before. I do it again. That reminds me. I need to do more Final Fantasy 14. I've just been so busy. Yeah. This is uh, 6.5. This is going to be kind of closing the end for Endwalker into Dawn Trail. It's also the uh, next uh, gen update, I believe, or upgrade. Yes. And this is also, I do believe, the patch 2, where you can play for free up through Stormblood. Even though I don't really play the game, I do appreciate all of, like the Should music right remixes that come out of it. Like, I've heard some great remixes from, like, 5 and 8 and, like, 4 and 6 and all that. It's like, yeah, this is, this is pretty great. Oh, yeah, no, some of the bosses, um, some of the boss fights are really good homage to, like, past Final Fantasies. Oh, my... Oh, it goes down I later? I have to go for the third spot. I don't remember. <laughs> That's a mean green mother from outer space. Oh, by the way, I hear their arcade version was better. Most arcade versions were better than the SNES versions or any slash they NES said versions. Harder. Oh, which is correct because it wants your money and there's no slowdown. SNES Greatest Three is the easier version because there's massive slowdown. Also, I will say like. To those who actually like have like arcade cabinets, man. Yep. <laughs> I, I remember like there was something like programmable. There was something like the their the motherboards they use are like really good qualities to like either like okay. mess with or somehow record off of because of just how smooth it was. I can't remember. I remember oh, the I, Oh my god. I actually want an arcade oh Oh my lord! What is? There we go. Nice, there. nice. GG. I would, I would like my own arcade cabinet at some point. I do not have the space for it, dude. It would be sick. I, for you. I still have talked about this. I want uh, the community to design the art for a cabinet that I want to get built. I'm gonna get a main cabinet built that I can preferably uh, capture, so we can put it on the cookie or do like special arcade streams. That'd be so Ooh. sick, dude! Holy shit! That's that's kind of like my current dream, but the guy who's supposed to buy the fucking cabinet behind me keeps forgetting to get back in contact with me. So I gotta uh -oh. hit him up. I said I would hit up, hit up in the. Sorry, brain was needed then. Uh, I said I was gonna hit him up at the end of September, and it's now October. So that it be, you know. So what level is this technically right now? High speed zone. Enjoy my pain. Give him flesh. Oh now my drive god, no. Alright. Gotta go fast. Oh, oh, oh. Make me nervous, man. <laughs> you're nervous? <laughs> <laughs> man, you're talking about your pain. Oh my god, I'm feeling it now. Gross. So while John's focusing on that, us three could talk and, you know, make sure we don't distract yeah, John. Yeah, so I'm also kind of. Alright, here we go. This boss. This. this boss sucks. Good luck. Oh, sounds like most bosses. Yeah, but this one's yeah. got an extra special segment of hell for it. Yo, it's seven fours. Ew. Ew. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. I'm gonna be quiet during this part, I apologize. It, no, I can understand. We're, yeah, so, anyways. Okay. But, so, anyways. Uh, but yeah, um, going back, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking nice, go! Nice, nice, nice. We're at nice. boss rush. My chance to get my weapons back up.
All right, now I have to defeat the entire enemy roster of Gradius 2. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh specifically Gradius 2. Problem is, I don't remember their attack patterns. So let's see how this goes. So anyways, so um, 14 music, yeah, great remixes. Um, I really love what they did with Endwalker because that is the Final Fantasy War battle theme. Yeah, good remix. So a lot of curiosity, uh, you guys been any, uh, playing any games in your time lately? Like enough for me, I've been really into, I've been like, Finally, trying to go through and beat Bravely Default. I'm on Chapter 5 of that game currently. I have such a love-hate relationship for that game. I think it's fine, but I get... I, I, I can see what you mean now by this point. Fuck. Like, you have no idea how much I was loving the, that game. And then the last chapter happened, and I'm just like... I don't like you as much as I was. That's fair. But, um... I, I still got well, a bit to go through with it, but... Yeah, the yeah. end of that game really ruins the flow of that game. You know, I get why it's like that. Yeah, I, I see what people mean by that by this point now, but yeah. <clears throat> it's not a big deal, but I do... I was like, oh, there's a lot to do here. <laughs> but, um... Personal games right now, like, kind of over the weekend, my friend brought his copy of Fate Samurai Ribbon over, and I was playing that. It's such a... It was you. I, I would say it's like a... Oh, I do not like that. Oh. I despise this. What a um, I basically dick say attack it's, move. It's kind of like um, I almost say Yakuza with the uh, Dynasty Warrior style gameplay. It's also Fate, so you know. And, and it's Fate. Yeah. You know, plenty of serv plenty of servants you've seen from previous stories and series, and some brand new ones. I like the Lancer in that game. She's cute. Jeez, I wonder why you like the Lancer in that game. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if this Lancer is like probably not a highly popular character that originated from somewhere else that's just grown and grown the more she's been around. The game I actually have been playing, I've been playing Party Animals. That one I've been mean, hearing a lot of people play. Day. If there's anything that kind of is disappointing about party animals to me is the fact that it's online only. No, yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. And but also it's stupid the other... fun. It's stupid fun. I have heard it's fun, yeah. The other game I've actually also I've been more main, mainly playing has been Shattered Dimensions. Ooh, what? Spider-Man. I'm on uh, Act 3. I just haven't had a chance to go through any of those stages just yet. Meanwhile, gotcha. I, I've been seeing people on Twitter, they're like, hey, I got a Nexus code already. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, for uh, Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Yeah, I got my copy pre-ordered. It'll get here on the 20th. Whoa! <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, my. Oh. No. It did and not just start hold that. the start of that boss gauntlet, don't you? Do you want to know the truth? Oh, this bash. It is. Can you get enough weapon boosts to get you up to snuff? No shield, and I have one more speed than I really want to have. <laughs> yeah, it seems I like can't. you kind of like to only have like a up to a certain amount of sh uh, speed of when I'm, from what I've noticed. Well, the good news is he is, in fact, a checkpoint. As long as I don't have to continue, I believe, I might be okay. I don't remember. I still can't believe Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Spider-Man 2 release on the same day. Yeah, that they do. I care about Spider-Man. seen it by the looks of it. Ah, oh, dang. That, the extra speed fucked me over. All right. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. That's two speed. It's a missile. It's funny, so, I... It's I, the speed I, you normally like to have. It's options. Can you give me one more? Can you give me one more? No, you cannot. All right, two, two options. Two speed is where I feel comfortable. Okay. I have the new Mortal Kombat game, but I'm just like, I haven't touched it yet, and I'm like... Eh. I've, seen, I've seen the story for it, and that's about it. Maybe at some point, if it goes on a sale, I'll pick it up. 
Believe it or not, that's... At the same time, I just don't have the same time to put into fighting games and try online to be... Yeah. Fucker, I was ready for you this time. <laughs> the, sad truth, the sad truth is, this, this will actually be my very first Mortal Kombat game I've actually owned and played. Piece of shit, that's so good, boss rush. Yeah, Holy shit, that I... was it, baby, we're on the final stage. Fuck yeah, let's go. Let's go! Oh, no. Let's go! Yeah, so I'm seeing a chat. Yeah, the SAG after strike <laughs> potentially happening with like Insomniac and EA and Activision. Oh, and a bunch yeah, of other I've got to get a list of what games I might actually not be able to stream for a while because of the oh. strike. Yeah, fuck. Uh, if actually, if the strike go, does go into effect, I swear the I saw The strike goes like, into effect, yeah. They, they want streamers not to play specific games, and I am willing to oblige them. Mm -hmm. It's going to suck for cookies. I think that list is semi significant, but. I'd rather be in solidarity oh. in any way I can. Oh, that would mean... Shit, that would mean, probably mean then all of Spyro is probably off the table then. Yep, all of Spyro is off the table because that's Activision. Like, ah, oh, fuck. It, it, yeah, no scabs, basically. The main thing is that, like, it doesn't affect people if they're not going to be voice actors, but if you ever want to do voice acting in the future and you fucking cross the picket line, <laughs> good luck. To, so that's why I do not want to cross the picket line. Yeah. Oh, I swear. Ah, uh, where was the server I saw? This was posted in. Let me see if I can find it. Actually, I think DM Rosie. I think she gave it to me before. Game voice acting strike? Yeah, speak. Um, part of the SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild, um, they've kind of sent a strike authorization for all interactive media now. So. Pretty much VAs and any sort of uh, interactive media actors will pretty much be striking. So, guess what? Shit, shit, shit. It's this. I'm already at this point, shit. Found it. Found it. Thank you. Hold on, I thought the union it's themselves the didn't say anything about streaming. Nope, it's the bottom! This isn't about the streaming thing, it's more oh so just God. they actually kind of advise them not stream it because, yeah, it costs them wine. That's the one. Wow. Oh! Yeah, so this is a Google Doc somebody made that has all the games that would be affected. So, from companies such as Blind Light, uh, Activision. Epic, Formosa, Insomniac, well, Epic Voice Works, WB Games, EA Games, like Electronic Arts Productions. Yeah, and this list has a good, what is that, 190, uh, 189 games. Oh, I'll actually take off a few, like, 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 like 180 plus, basically. Do I have anything? No. All of Destiny, all of Call of Duty, all of Candy Crush, Crash Bandicoot. Shit, 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 I need to speed up, I need to speed up. Oh, we're in so much trouble. Fall this Guys, is... Epic is already in shit anyway. SAG Damn. After did not say it, but a lot of voice actors were saying it. This yeah, the people who are actually affected by this. Just fine, from, just fine, from. There you go, there you go, baby. Come on. Oh, I don't remember this part. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a... Kind of some... Fuck! Decent... Size list. Ooh, fuck. <clears throat> what? Oh, dang, dude. Where's Disney? Where's Disney's, Where's well, Disney's dance? The good news is... Uh -huh. Checkpoint? That was my first continue. Or do you have to start at the beginning of the stage? No, I have to start at the checkpoint. Oh, wait, you start back at the you're, you're the boss. Listening in chat there, yeah, the thing about this list, though, is that this only matters if a strike actually does happen. Where voice actors were saying, hey, you know, we probably would appreciate if you didn't stream these games. Which, let's be f fair, it's gonna happen. How would viewer choice cookies be affected? Then I would have to put anything that can't be done on pause or refund the points. Pretty much. Worth that. Yeah. Like, to go over some of the games here. Yeah, Insomniac, so that's, you know, the Ratchet and Clanks, the Spyros. Spider that part's brutal. 
Yeah, this is like one of the last checkpoints in the game. If we can get through this and that boss, we're basically done the game. Again, this is an unofficial list. This does not really matter at the current moment when there's no strike or anything. And also, yeah, this also only matters if the union actually says oh, it. Oh, that is a mean. Yeah, mean dude, one. did you not notice that earlier? No, because no, it killed away. you. Well, no, I think cause... I was looking at the list. Break yeah, the turrets, so break the turrets, again, was there anything else? Break the turrets first. This is not like a, a full like Bible of this. This is very much again an unofficial list. It's just showing how many things would be affected Damn by it. this pot potentially. Can't, kind of a way to be informed, basically. That boss is like fucking. Hell. Yeah, here's the thing. Nick is also teasing this too. There is basically something after this boss fight that is horseshit. This is the awesome. last stage, but the second half of it is going to be brutal. Also, hi, G Wolf. Hello. He's like, oh my god, it's Gradius. I'm gonna go for double. Double's only gonna get out of this alive. Yes, that's right. Motherfucker! How the fuck were you supposed to dodge that when the bullets were just that stupid? You... You get good! Not sure what I'm gonna tell you, dude! Got to get to good, Okay, hopefully she... There's being fair good, and then there's just bullshit. Then there's arcade games. So we'll help. There we go. Fly through. Okay, so we're in a good position for this. We gotta take out these turrets as fast as we can. Oh my lord, this girl. Okay, good start. They're about to shoot, they'll move. Oh, they're off time! They're off time! Fucker. Jesus. I don't think we're doing it. Do we even have a continue left? Yeah, you have two credits. Mm, I don't think I have two. I think I have one. You have one credit. Fuck me. I don't get double because of that. I can get double, but then I won't have a missile. Nope, now we just don't get it at all. Okay, neat. Safe spot. It's a safe spot. There's some part you should be destroying right away to get the breathing room. I forget where it is. Might be there. I don't like these guys are on off timers. Okay, I can breathe. Whew. Oh, man. Okay, that's actually taking less hits I was expecting it to. Alright, now the actual bullshit. Let's go. Welcome to the yeah, final okay. corridor. If we get through this, we've beaten the game. Okay. However, how much bullshit? Oh, oh that... <laughs> the, the floor Dude. and ceiling will come after you. What is the strategy for this part? I think I need a specific... Pray. No, there's a specific movement pattern I need to mimic. If I mimic the pattern, I can go through it. But I don't remember the pattern. Oh, 
Oh, go, you can just- No, John! You had it. Please tell me I have a continue left. I saw one credit. Hope still rides. Hope lives. Please tell me you just start there. Oh yeah, I think he does. It, it's the checkpoint. The oh, okay, problem good. is, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember how I got through that section just then. I, that was pure something. I don't know how I did this. He kind of went up and then kind of just moved forward. Fuck. I I seriously zoned out and pulled it off. I know so I know I need two speed for it. That's all the only thing I do remember. So you basically emptied your mind. There we go. Oh, good thing Cherry left. No thoughts. No thought. Cherry empty. What's next? I don't remember what's next. I don't remember what's next. I don't remember what's next. John, why don't you remember what's next? No! You're still here? Oh, oh no! no. I thought crab. you weren't in this one! Uh, so I'm assuming this is also a regular Gradius boss? I don't remember how to fight him. Oh, and it starts you here now. Yeah. Dude, turret, you're in the worst spot! That's game. Aww. Oh, um. So close. You get past that guy, and then the final boss appears. And the final boss is basically free. Okay. That was the final trap we had to deal with, and we would have beaten the game. Closest we ever got! Hey, it was legit really solid attempt. I'm willing to Very do solid. one more try if you guys want. I'll have to take a break to go check for the cat. But if you guys want it, we can do it. If you want it, we'll have to take it. There was still a bit more game. Not much, though, because it was... You fight the elephant gear, or whatever it's called in this one, uh, and then you go to the final boss. Yeah, like, uh, Nick li linked a long play. That's an hour and 35 minutes. We were at an hour and 31 minutes. That's how close to the end we were. Because keep in mind, that counts the ending cutscene. Oh, no! Shit, no, he's right. I forgot about that. Oh, there's actually a whole extra zone still. I do actually still have to do some piloting. People are mentioning a 30 lives code. I don't want to use the 30 lives code. It's not okay. Okay. The pride. We, like, we've clearly gotten to the end without it. So it's just like... Mm. I got that. Oh, right, that's... Okay, no. Elephant... Oh, this dude is the... Oh, right. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Okay. Check out what's fun about this. So you can destroy the core if you have enough firepower. Uh, but then his friend shows up. Ah, he's got a buddy. Yeah. And then you either gotta dodge both or you gotta kill him. Oh, F this noise. Yeah, that's a very small ship he's got there. That's a power up. Minimize. You can get minimize on your ship. I think it or, just by, it's, it's, a, it's option you can set, rather. It gets rid of force field, though. So he has no force field, he has mini. So a smaller hitbox. Oh, that monkey, he really fucked up. He fucked up. Oh, no, he didn't. Wow. Oh, my God. How the fuck? Ooh. 
They synced up. That is I'll a weird honest. effect that's cool. I think I'd rather have like the smaller ship with like the like no free hit. I don't know. I, I think you get to take a hit. I forget how much you get to take with minimize. Because I have a different playthrough up, and the guy with this, the, the other guy set up, he was able to destroy both of them. Oh, he's probably because this one's using the charge but, beam, but it's not actually like charging the shots. Yeah, he just had like a complete line of lasers firing. It wasn't your setup. It was like five laser shots or something. Hmm. All right. Well, how about this? We'll put we'll put it to a vote because there's still a little bit more stream left. I'm not in the mood to end just yet. Oh, we are close to six hours though. Shit. Fuck. And that run took about fifty minutes. That it did. You'd be so, ending about like two a.m. your time, give or take. Probably yeah, somewhere past that. I don't mind going that late. The million dollar question is, how does chat feel? Let's slap it to a vote, shall we? Three minutes. I'm giving you four options. Run back Gradius 3, run back Bubble Bobble 2, play something else for 30 minutes, or just end early. Just for clarity, in case someone thinks I'm in the mood for something else, I am willing to play Gradius 3 again. I am willing to play Bubble Bobble 2 again. I'm willing to go through that. Y'all don't realize how much patience I actually have. <laughs> oh no, we. I, I get it. Yeah, but uh, it more so depends on what you guys are in the mood for. Because again, y'all, you, you saw the majority of both games. It's just now do the whole clear. Your voice point. says otherwise. That's just me sounding tired. <laughs> That's just how I sound. I can keep talking like this if you want. Now I'm all really excited. Let's go play some Gradius. Heck yeah. See? Let's go. See, it's so much he's more got, different at that point. It's just the energy. It, it's just all about the energy. He's got RBF or RBV. Rest you call it patience. Voice. I think stubbornness and spite is the other word. Shut up, Montar. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, it is true. I wouldn't something else be anyway. John, you deal with oh us. You have a lot of patience. Eh. Oh my god, god. Oh my god, guys, and welcome back to <laughs> Make another Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe! Ass voice. Yeah, that's what it is. That is my natural Canadian accent? No, no it is not. Not even close. Oh my god, right. John, you have an accent? Yes, I do. Yeah, buddy. Would you be willing to get a start on Mortal Kombat 11 before ending tonight? I would, but I don't know if other people would want that. I mean, I'd be I down for it, but I don't think anyone can. Everyone can handle that. It's a thing. Yeah, that's um. That's that's pretty gory. And that's just like most of the actual gores in gameplay. Though there is still some in like the actual story mode of the game. What well, what that... accent you got, John? Uh, Apollo. Really? I used the Kraken. I liked Apollo for a long time. I think I switched off of it recently. Eh, I was kind of an Old Spice guy. Natural Canadian accents? Okay, so can we start gaslighting the world that Canadians have, all have a natural ooh-woo voice? No. No, do not do that. <laughs> Alright, votes so far. 51% play something else. 33% run back race 3. 8, 16 votes apiece tied for end early and run back bubble bubble 2. So it looks like we're playing something else. I just problem is I don't know what we got for 30 minutes. Probably nothing we can do for game clearing. Unless you wanted to do that in NHL game. We, we could bring back that and do Q&A again. We could do that. We could. Yeah. For, or for cross Q&A. 
Right, More blindfold of the cross. Let's go. Oh God. I'm Proton John. Ooh woo. Smashy washy. That like and subscribe button if you please. Ooh woo. And that is using my voice for evil. I like to turn off my ears. <laughs> I need bleach. Everyone's here. I hated Never that. I feel my soul crawl into my anus. <laughs> Stop me enough who was the other night. Never do that again. And unsubbed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm... Mom voice isn't that bad now, yeah. is it, bitches? What if John you know became what? a new I'm like, YouTuber? I'm done. John, thank you for having me on. Good night, everybody. I, I appreciate it. Thank you for being on. I appreciate it. It's nice, nice to have you as a friend. <laughs> I'm reconsidering our friendship now. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> Damn, what if Proto go down to 12 viewers? I'm reconsidering the the 10 years I have been here. What the fuck have I been doing with my it life? Took, that's all it took to break you, motherfuckers? Wow. Wow, y'all are easy. Y'all are fucking easy. God damn. First off, John, I'm doing this as a bit. You really want to try and break me? <laughs> no, I'm not trying me. to break you, Gex, because you're my goddamn friend. That's the fucking point. And so on anyway, this note, is a bit. Bye, y'all. This is the Hi, way Frank. John's world ends, not with a bang, but with an oo woo. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I hate, I. We handle horny cringe, we can't handle regular cringe. Ah, ah, there's the rub. What the rub. fuck's the difference? There's the rub. Is there a difference? John, but if you release four episodes a day for blind let's plays, oh no. All right, uh, I'm gonna throw up one more poll while we're on break, uh, which okay. would be hockey Q&A time, or uh, just find something else, and then I'm gonna go check on the cat, use the washroom, and then we'll see what the results are when I get back. I okay. feel like the this is the consequences of Cherry leaving. Are you saying my female subconscious is what kept me grounded? My female first, subconscious is what kept me as a as a guy normal and sensible. First off, that would be impress impressive. Second off, huh? I'm seeing a bunch of yeses in chat. Somehow, oh my god, that's a lot of yeses actually. God damn, I'm just making the fucking poll. Y'all can't what? We could put Mortal Kombat on that poll. It's late night. It's fucking October. It's time for some spooky. What's what's not spooky, but you know, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, at that point, we're just going for a gore. Might as well just. I mean, put, you might as well then throw in Gears of War. That's pretty gore. I'm not the move for Gears though. You gotta contact Greg for uh, more Gears at some point. Maybe I don't know. Cherry is your sanity and regularity, not your subconscious. God damn it. She fucking looted my brain as she left, apparently. Alright, what do... Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on. One more poll. I'm gonna do eggs and shit now. What do Mortal Kombat 11 story, Q&A in hockey, Bubble Bobble 2 Game Boy, or something else? I'm gonna warn you right now. If something else wins again, I'm not putting up to a poll. It's whatever I want at that point. It's whatever I want that's not any of the previous poll options, just to be fair. All right, uh, Free Star for 102, Amanzi Otter for 85, The Crates for 81. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of, I'm assuming, the Shuffler. Uh, your screen, uh, thing's still on screen, John. Oops, my bad. Uh, huh. fine. Yeah, nothing in there, so... <laughs> Cherry sees the stream. No, wait, shit, I want, I'm waiting, I'm coming back. <laughs> you will give me an... Ritual 
Yeah, G Wolf. Uh, we have Blossom for yeah, Cherry so, Blossom. So yeah, we we are guessing at this point Blossom is her actual name and Cherry is her nickname. That is what felt right to my brain. So that is what we were assuming is the case. Oh my god, I almost want to ooh that that fucking other one that's up there from James about the Final Fantasy XIV. Do it. Do, Do it. it. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you know that the critically acclaimed memorable RPG Final Fantasy? This is just strong. This is just a uh, Homestar Runner. But Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV has a free trial at the level seventy. Now including up to the Stormboard expansion. Ooh. <laughs> I, that that definitely turned into Homestar Runner halfway through that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Gee, strong bed. Am I a foley? Uh, yeah, no, the the name is on the nose, but yeah, like I figured the uh, someone pitched the idea of Cherry being her nickname and not her actual name, and then someone else said, "What if her full name is just Cherry Blossom or something like that?" And I was like, "Oh no, Blossom being her name and Cherry's just the nickname that came from that or that she's online made the most sense." So, <laughs> how would be primals with boxing gloves on? Ooh. Uh, it looks like it's pretty safe for something else, so I've got to go figure out something for about a half hour. Neat. Yep, 76 votes to 60. Something else. I'll figure out something, I guess. Uh, back in a bit. It's time for the Mortal Kombat 10 story. <laughs> I already beat that one. Oh, did you? What about 11? That was why 11 was on the list! <laughs> oh, wait, I think I have one. Never mind. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 1 is Mortal Kombat 12. Yeah. Alright, be right back. As weird as, as weird as it is to say, I was seeing 11 there. I'm just I was just registering it as like the newest one for some reason. I don't know why. Even though I know the newest one's called One, not Eleven. MK1 looks fun. I've been watching Maximilian's uh, um, playthrough of it, like the story mode on YouTube. Yeah, that's it, it looks fun. It'll be my very first uh, Mortal Kombat game I'll actually play. I thought I was going to jump in with Eleven, but no, I think it's going to be One. The one I put the most time into would have been nine, because uh, I bought a friend's copy. It was it was right. fun. Yeah, reptile. I'm gonna try reptile. Uh, when I played nine, I think I remember mostly playing like Smoke, Liu Kang, and Sub Zero. I think those were like the main three. Yeah. I wanted to get, like, another Mortal Kombat at some point. Like, I had to pick up, like, 10 or 11 play the story mode for those. Isn't, I, I like, didn't, like, isn't like Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, isn't that the one you want to get? Because that's literally all DLCs and... Oh, of course, yeah. All, all like, the expansions. Yeah, I would get that, but I care mostly about just playing the story. I just have the game there for later, obviously. But... All right, here's the story, okay? All right, all right, ready, Maniacal? I mean, I know I... what the story is. I've, I've seen the story. I'm also just playing it for myself. <laughs> I... But I'm just saying, everyone's beating the fuck out of each other. There, I told you the story. And not wrong, honestly. I know, that's why I'm doing the safe thing. There's MK11, that's the base game and all DLC. Okay. I know when MK11, when the Terminator, Robocop, Rambo, Joker, Spawn, most of like the super guest characters being announced i was like really okay i'm down and then which one actually had the horror film guest stars that would have been nine well actually no nine and ten both had those uh because like nine had like freddy but that was like the main one for freddy Krueger, and then they put jason Voorhees, and then leatherface one iteration they put in leatherface Predator, Alien, and... I think that's it. Yeah. Freddy was eight. No, Freddy was nine. 
Which again, I, I, I really wish like if they did like a horror film pack, like just like that, they should just bring in all the past characters they've had. So an updated version of Freddy Krueger, Jason, Leatherface, Alien, Predator. Who would be another horror film icon to put in? It's funny uh, you say that because... Uh, not horror, excuse me, slasher. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because I saw Ed Boon tweeting recently of like... It was basically just a photo of just like a bunch of horror characters. And it's like, oh, here's check marks for the ones we have used. And here's like question marks for the ones we've not used. Including things like Scream, uh, Ghostface, yeah, Ghostface, Michael Myers, Pinhead, Chucky. Chucky would be hard because he's literally a goddamn doll. Chucky would be broken like Yoda was in Soul Calibur. That'd be all it would be. <laughs> right. Ghostface, I could see, but he would literally have to use a knife and guns. Um. The thing well. with Ed Boon's Twitter, though, on that is, I think that's just more so just he's humoring the idea, but probably not actually doing that. Yeah, because unfortunately, with those kind of license, even though Warner Brothers does owe them, kind of like with Sakurai's film, when he, even though he was able to, he still had to write like how they were, he was going to use first party characters. They probably have to do the same thing, especially licensing and such things and so on. Well, licensing for those games is a nightmare. Yeah, even like I said, even though Warner Brothers does own Nether Realms, they still have to go through the legal process. Oh yeah, remember when everyone thought Ash from Evil Dead was gonna be in there? Haha, <laughs> funny. I think they said they wanted to do Ash, but like the licensing was the the hard part. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Danny Illumina says, Hey, John, you played Advan... Oh, I already read that one out. Uh, Bleach Bummer says, Short, I swear. Greetings, John. How is your October so far? I just succeeded at my first attempt at making fish soup for dinner. Was all was a little unsure how it would turn out, but I think you and others likely know the feeling regardless if you cook for yourselves or for others. It's, if okay to show, here's a link of the results. Won't trouble with what I use unless you're curious. I mean, it, it, it's a picture of soup. <laughs> I don't know why you're expecting me to show off. Thanks, Bleach. Uh, and Grease Lightning says, "Have you played the?" Oh, I already read that one out. Right. Oh, I know. This is this is the non-shit post one. Have you played the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV that has a free trial to level seventy and includes the second expansion, or sorry, Expansion, the the Middling Stormblood expansion. I heard a voice clear and panicked because I wasn't entirely sure if you were going to regular voice, Jami voice, or uwu voice there. God, is that just, is that all I am now is just different ass voices, all that are way too higher pitched than my normal tone? Is that all I am to you now, chat? John, <laughs> Jami, and uwu? Am I just a voice to you? Am I just an uwu? <laughs> Listen, sweetie. Don't make me start. I feel like I feel like this voice has gotten more deeper the more time I try to use it. You know, it's just funny how when you switch to that voice, it just reminds me of um that one you know you remember that have you ever seen that film Robots? The one that starred Robin Williams. Robin Williams I never saw and, it, but I know of it. Yeah. The main villain it, uh I for a long, long time, I thought that was voiced by a, a groggy old woman. No, that was a man. And I was like, yep. I'm wrong. Fuck. All right. Uh, art block time. One week later. John, after having no cherry dreams. Here's Cherry! From No Account Gamer. This would be funnier if I could actually draw him with a damn, but I heard talk about what Cherry Blossom will do when she returns, and my mind first went to The Shining, so... Yeah. Yeah. That probably happened. John isn't a voice in our heads, he's a voice in your heart. Wow. Wow. Ever imagine Mila attempting an uwu voice? Oh, he's tried. It's it's a thing. Pretty sure he's done it in a video. Next up, 
Rhyme finished the damn picture. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Everything r rhyme, rhyme. This is very good. Okay, fine. Here, I didn't know who to make the fourth person, so it's Vex now. No, John's the only character here where I didn't trace any part of him. Everyone else was done in one shot, no sketch layer or anything. I love the fucking face on Bagel. That's what makes it for me. <laughs> I like how Cherry's got her hand on Bagel's back. And those two are just tucked in the corner. I love how she just covered the face, be like, What the fuck? Wait a minute. God damn. I was always <laughs> expecting it to turn around again, honestly. I'm surprised this isn't animated. Fucking Reese. Oh, Reese. Oh God, thank you, Rhyme. Next up. <laughs> from O2. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Just Proton John checking his list of all the people who failed him over the years. It's based off of failure and not naughty or nice. Because with this community, that list would go straight to the moon. Ah, I see we brought back the Santa Claus thing that started the whole mom thing in the first place over here. Good. Time is a flat circle. Also, it's October. No, it's time to put up the Christmas decorations. It's October. Next up, from Chloe. Chloe, draw October. Mods! Screw it, it's tomorrow. We're gonna post day three of the prompts. I wanna draw Kid Ark and Blossom in a suit, along with them doing the standard mod duty of coordinating with all the other mods to make sure everything keeps running smoothly, lol. In any case, hope y'all enjoy this one. Jerry looks very stressed. Very, they both look very stressed, I just realized. God damn. Thank you, Chloe. It's okay, John, I like you for your god gaming skills and not the horny energy you somehow give most people! Like, you give people horny energy, not that you give off horny energy. I'd fuck if I know, man. Maybe it's just a carryover from my wife, who knows. Possible. Next up, also from Chloe. May the stars shine down upon you. Also, and also because someone decided to run away on a space adventure with their wife throughout the cosmos, I figured I might as well doodle that as well. I don't think you described the starship, and since everyone else was calling out the Rosalina parallels, I figured I might as well make it the Star Shroom from Mario Galaxy. In any case, hope you all enjoy. Cherry better send postcards. <laughs> Joking. So, um, the only description I have for it is, like, literally, it was the two of them in, like, a gray room, and, uh, Cherry was standing, like, behind one of those, like, old-style, like, ship steering wheels. That w Those are the only things in the room other than them. So like it was just it was just a gray box room I saw them in for like ten seconds and that was the only fragment of the dream I remembered. So it was it was like I that's why I thought it was a cosplay because I'm like yeah it looks like they're doing a cosplay shoot well a photo shoot. Thank you Chloe. Next up from I'm not Batman. All right Cherry you've eluded us for long enough. <laughs> We're coming for you. Draw October Day 2, community member, Arizona. Sweet dreams and happy hunting. I like how Ari put their bed on, like, the wall straight up so they could pull this off. <laughs> Dream catcher, a net, some goggles, some jilk, apparently. An alarm clock. Looks like it's been unplugged. It's kind of funny. The way it's drawn, it could be viewed as two things. Laying on the bed or them actually going through the bed like it's a portal. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the actual imagery they're going for. So the Dreamcatcher catches chair. I think it just kind of summons her. It, it solidif- So Dreamcatchers tend to solidify your dreams more and make sure they're good dreams. So I think it's that. And if you break your Dreamcatcher, you will have the worst nightmare of your life. I've heard that, yeah. Speaking of the worst nightmare of my life. From Veil, oh, if wait, I want to add this to the last dream since someone showed their, old, their own dream person. This person followed me for a few years when I was younger. Each time I was afraid of it appearing when I went to sleep. I forgot the dreams prior, but in the last dream, I remember it tasted like paper machete and paper candy. What's weird is that I remember in a recent dream I saw it, I also saw Cherry, but didn't pay much attention to it because my dreams are just tame at that point. I'm just shaking my head. I don't know who to trust for actually seeing Cherry at this point. We've, we've put the fear of God in, in parts of the community. But this also looks like a sleep paralysis demon, so... Thank you, Vale. I'm just gonna ignore the part where you said you knew what it tasted like. Because I don't know how else to answer that. Or read out that part, really. Alright. Here's what you voted on.
Hey. F zero GX. Okay, I've never seen this one before. He actually has a scanner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've never seen the story mode cutscenes? Oh, dude. Not really. I want to put the story for myself at some point. Like, I, I probably the next one I'm going through is probably. Uh, All N64 right. I, I was gonna do the uh, like the the attempt at Grand Prix, but like, if you want me to just show off the cutscenes, I can try to go through them on normal. I'd rather you just do what you want to do. Honestly, if you want to just do Grand Prix, do Grand Prix. I think Cherry was in my dream a few nights ago. Man. What if Cherry isn't a John concept, but a collective subconscious concept? That'd be hilarious. AV. But to Let's go back. All GameCube stuff, I believe. But quickly to go back on some. Maniacal, you seriously never heard of the Dreamcatchers? No, no, no. I know what they are. I know. I, I've heard of them. I've, I've never seen them in like middle school, high school. But the whole part of like, if your Dreamcatcher actually breaks, it, it becomes your worst nightmare. Yeah, that part I did not know. It is, yeah, uh, I can't remember where I've heard it, but I know it's like a very old tale. Because what dream catchers are supposed to do, it's supposed to help catch all your bad dreams and everything so you can sleep peacefully. But if you ever break your dream catcher, it will give you your worst nightmare. Okay. That's why I'm really good, because I'm trying to put the beam in the car. Okay. As you can see, I finally got everyone unlocked, minus the arcade characters. You gonna take your uh, GameCube uh, memory card to MacFest? Maybe. I'm gonna see if I can just probably get an action replay and just unlock it this way. Yeah. So I unlocked Master Difficulty, Diamond Cup, everything. Like, we we're this is me attempting Master Difficulty right now. Okay. So this is not going to be pretty because I actually have not been playing this for a while. But we're gonna see what we can do. This won't be pretty. It really won't be pretty, actually. It's really actually going to suck. Because the thing yeah, is, this only gives us one extra life unless we go for kills, and I don't really like doing them on Sapphire's tracks for the most part. Do I have the Ajax Racer? I have one Ajax Racer unlocked naturally. The rest I do not have. Someone already died? Holy shit! <laughs> what happened to them? I have no idea. This reminds me of like, the time I was like Amazing Mirror. Like, this is like before it came out on the Three uh, people are dead! Mind. I went for one of the kills, but who got the other two? So, I was playing a few months back, and I remember I was at the start of the game, right? And like, you know how the AI can like just have powers randomly? Yep. Well, like, start the game off. Like, first, I think I'm in like the second room. Uh, one of the Kirby's I noticed has the smash ability. I'm like, where the fuck did you get that? So I, I immediately summoned him up and like stole his power from him so I could have smash early. <laughs> I know Memory Sir. Part of this turn that sucks. Memory Sir smashes like the best power up for Amazing Mirror. Yeah, because it has uh, like four abilities in one basically. It's his melee move set basically. It has a ton of like different tools at once. I would argue it is the best power in the game because of that. Need it better. Also, 100% in that game sucked. Uh, we can work with 15s, I think. I still need to play uh, Rebel Bots. I've seen that in chat there. I have it, but just haven't touched it yet. How much harder is GX compared to the original? Very. Robot's definitely my favorite uh, since we entry. That's oh, hi. oh, hi, Rob. Rob. I can probably get kills on 14. Oh, look, it's that one. It's that one smash stage. Okay. Nope. That's oh, not a good start. God. That's really not a good start. All right. All right. I just noticed that they brought the racers back. What? Uh, I just thought that they brought the racers back. Like, you're at the 30 again. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, no one stays dead. 
That, okay. That's literally just a 99 thing. Fair enough. Holy shit, I got no health. If I break what? down, I'm probably just going to have to restart because that's way too early. Break down in what way? Like if I die. Ah, oh, okay. That kind of breaking down. Gotcha. Yeah. I have an emotional breakdown over F Zero. <laughs> <laughs> this one driver is a dick. I mean, she is this driver is a meanie. Man, fuck this guy. He, he told me my car was the wrong shade of blue. <laughs> it's supposed to be sky blue, not midnight blue. You fuck. What, uh, what if I like midnight blue, you asshole? That's why we're having the emotional breakdown. What if you're just a piece of shit? Well then, you know what? At least I'm true. What? <laughs> I don't know. I I couldn't think of anything to go with that. By the way, what Jeff, you guys have questions. We yeah, by all, by all means, guys, ask us some questions and we can answer them as best we can. They'll relay any questions to me while I'm in uh, GX mode here. Yeah. Ask the questions. Make them good. Yeah, the final any, lap. Any questions you want. Any, anything is fine, honestly, yeah. Anything that will get Maniacal doing on a long ramble. Oh my god. Tell me I'm not wrong. Tell me you're not I'm wrong. I'm not crying, Clarice. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. On a more serious note with do you like jazz, what kind of jazz do you like? Bluegrass, etc. Um, freeform. Yeah, I think freeform. Free form, honestly, I could say that. Yeah. Uh, I, in, 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 Di in Pixar's or Disney's Soul, uh, the whole jazz pieces, those musical bits, top notch. I still need to watch that movie. It's good. It, it's, 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 it's pretty good. I've heard good things. Yeah. Cocoms, what's your weirdest dreams? Well, I've already told mine on stream once. Same here. Um, weirdest oh, one I can remember. Hmm. Now I've seen Monster Zinc, just not Soul in it. Uh, no, weirdest dream I can remember. Uh, I don't know to be honest, cause like I tend to, as bad as it sounds, I guess forget my dreams. Like I'll like remember like little bits and pieces of them, but they don't really stick with me too much. There was one point recently where I swear I had like the same dream, like two separate nights, but I could not tell you what was in it, which is annoying considering all the dream talk here lately. But yeah, sorry for like the boring answer. Where did I see it? Uh, what's the best uh, tip for uh, John? What's yeah. the best thing chat can do when games get frustrating for you? Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, Games haven't been bad lately for me, so it's not that big a deal. But if you, like, just don't be a dick about it from doing bad, that's all. Like, and usually our chat's usually not that bad. It's just some rando who comes in for a specific game and just, like, you know, get good or some shit like that. Get good is such an annoying thing. To, to get say. good or, like, what part is like, struggling with a game is such an annoying thing to say, which is why when I say it, I'm just kind of poking fun at it. Of course. But like, I think for me, yeah. I Sorry to interrupt. Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Okay. For me, I have that same issue of, like, the get good or, like, what all of, also bothers me. Like, let's say, like, I'm streaming a game for the first time, right? And someone's, like, they come in and they're just, like, they just say one word, like, do, like dodge or, like, hit this, hit that. It's, like, my dude, like, let me figure it out, please. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the most annoying thing for me is, like, when people won't let me figure shit out on my own when I've asked. That's the thing. I don't mind if I am like, yo, chat, you can tell me shit. I don't mind that. Like, Exactly. Exactly. But that's why we even have the fucking help Nato in the first place. It's like, yo. Some of you have proven that you cannot be adults, so I'm going to have to treat you like children. <laughs> Enjoy this symbol, this this literal thing I put on screen to show that you that some of you are literal children. And then you get banned with a dunce hat on top. Hooray. Um... I guess for me, but I guess chatting, it's yeah, chat in general. No, you're you're usually fine. I guess for me, I guess because of just I grew up, you know, in the early Xbox days with all the toxic like voice chats and lobbies. 
I guess a lot of things really don't phase me that much. It's just like, okay, cool, goodbye, fuck off. Seeing someone ask about like the Sonic update, man, I'm gonna be real. That, that update's not good. <laughs> yeah, a lot I of like, people seem really disappointed at it. It's a bit just poorly designed. A lot of the characters just feel terrible to play as. Um, the new cyberspace levels are. I, I kind of I like a lot of the ideas, but I don't think that a lot of them are executed very well. I don't know. I, I saw it for two years, I think, as a game that, like, as much as I hate to say it, kind of got worse with each update, which is a really unfortunate thing to say, because I, I do still like the game. But, yeah. You're not the only one. I saw... Dalton was very mad on Twitter while he was going through the boss rush. Uh, yeah. Mets, I think, was another one I saw on his yeah, Twitter. I know Mets done a lot. Mets hated it. I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, I'm not, like, I'm trying to, like, avoid spoilers for, like, sake obviously but yeah i just did not have a it just could have been better that's all i can really say and here's me who's like finally since the game is fully updated now i'll buy the game here's the thing the base game's still fine legit like it's like not that bad it's just it's a step in the right direction it's just not there yet that's all i really say you know it's kind of weird we talk about that and um when Pokemon's DLC dropped earlier, um, I I made that conscious decision. Like, I didn't want to stream it because I was like, I'm probably going to hate it. And I was about 75% right. Yeah, I'll be curious, G-Wolf, like what they do with the next one. Because I feel like the next one will be like, they'll take what was good about like the cyberspace and like uh, what was good about like the open world and kind of do better with it. I kind of want what adventure did again with like i want an open area but i also want dedicated levels like for each character like and like that were designed for each character too like i would kind of enjoy something like that again what capture card do you recommend for streaming i have not I'm upgraded my capture card in years currently i'm using an Avermedia media live gamer extreme 2 but i know they made a live gamer extreme 3 if not a 4 Um, I used an Elgato, what is that? Elgato HD 60. Oh, fuck. I was Final using, lap, like, I was using, like, this, like, shitty Aver Media for a while there, but I upgraded to a, uh, Elgato HD 60 a little while back, and that's been nice. I, Elgato as a brand has burned me too many times, there's the capture card specifically, so uh -huh. I tend to only, I tend to use Aver Media now for my actual game capture. For sure. I think when I upgrade again, I might go Aver Media because there's. No, 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 I, I don't know. No, I, I don't like Aver. No, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, I Second's saw. Still not that. terrible. Dang. I saw. I saw the wall literally just. Thinking of having a throne gift site? I don't know what I'd put on it, man. That's the thing with throne, yeah. It's like. Like, the way I use it, it's just I just put stuff on there, like maybe like some games or like some like different things I think it would be kind of neat to have but stuff for the cat Reese already does that oh this garbage stage we're fucked we're not getting first good luck I hate this I stage this stage fun. is gonna end my run what tunes do you all listen to I have been honestly on a lo-fi um a lo-fi chill sith wave beat um there's uh, that 24 that 24 hour radio stream on YouTube that Lo-Fi Boy. I've been playing that in the background. I'm like, yeah, I could vibe with this. I'm gonna say, what channel are you talking about? I'm sure a bunch of channels do that exact same thing. Oh god. Oh, the and we're official. Ah, oh, dang. Dude. Oh, we hit two mines and I lost control. Favorite Italian dish? I. Is it lasagna for me more by this point? Maybe lasagna. Like, yeah, lasagna is just really nice. I really do enjoy it. What was the question? Like, obviously, you can't go wrong with like pizza. What's like... your What's your favorite Italian dish? Oh yeah, yeah. lasagna. Uh, let's see. It's um, I gotta remember this one. So, it's chicken Alfredo. 
except homemade. I have to have homemade chicken alfredo. So it's just so good. Mm -hmm. And meatballs. You need to have the meatballs Shit, with it as well. Are you kidding me? Oh. I will destroy lasagna all day. Same here. That shit's so good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, homemade Alfredo is top tier. Yes, it is. Done. Of course. I hate how some. I hate this stage. This stage is dog shit. <laughs> stage is absolute dog shit. See, I would joke and make the bit like, this is why we don't get another F0, because of shit like this. And it's just hard. It's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, no. Rewind it's just... one. We're going to do Expert Diamond instead. Okay. Tone down a uh, little bit. That sounded like it was uh, Mute City from, like, the music there. Yeah, that was Mute City. Okay. Yo, chat's getting some lasagna tomorrow. Let's go. Dang, this looks fun. I can't wait to see what the next one is like. I mean, you're in luck. F-Zero GP Legend came out. You can play it. It's on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Don't worry. Mega Man comes out January 7th. Oh, God. Ooh, here we go. Favorite indie game. Cave Story, probably. Messenger? Uh -huh. There's too many to pick from now. Yeah, no kidding. Uh... Bug Fables. Um, that one. Why pick Mrs. Arrow? Because she's hot. Hell yeah. Bloodstain's real good. I enjoyed Pizza Town. Oh, you know what? No, I think I have my answer. Uh, I might actually say Castle Crashers. No, that's yes. Fair. That's a good choice. Yes. Oh, my Dude, I'm so sad. So, I did almost everything in Castle Crashers on the original, like, 360 days, I do believe. Mm -hmm. And I was transferring my save data over since, you know, Xbox was compatible. I don't know how, but all of my Castle Crashers data was pretty much white. Dang. So, I, I lost, I think, over 200 hours worth of progress Damn, and i was like "Damn, that sucks that I'm sorry and it sucked too because it was i also because i also had the purple night the pink night and i was like fuck because some of those like some of those like missions to do and some of the things are just fucking brutal and especially like unlocking characters because you have to replay this game over and over and over again. What was the question? Favorite indie game? Actually, speaking of, um, do we have any updates on that one mouse game? Um, oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Shit, hang on. Uh, because uh, I remember I backed it and I was like, I don't remember any updates. Oh, me and all. You're yeah. talking about Small Saga or? No, Mina the Hollower. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they update on a regular basis. Oh, John, what are you doing? Oh, of course. Okay, so Small Saga, it's like this like RPG with like rats in it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. John, which James McCloud do you prefer? The one in this series. Okay. Ooh. All right. Here's a question. Uh, since we are talking, since we were just talking about Sonic stuff and I started replaying this childhood game, do you think the nice stages in Sonic Unleashed were as bad as everyone was trying to say it was? I personally enjoy them more than normal Sonic. I don't really have an answer to this one, sorry. <laughs> have you ever encountered anyone who calls bell peppers as mangoes? What? What?
What's your favorite obscure game that you never get to talk about? Hmm. Favorite obscure game you don't get to talk about? Wait, say that slowly again. What's your favorite obscure game that you never get to talk about? Favorite obscure. Let me look at my collection. Oh, okay. I know one that I always like to go back to. Uh, there was this great uh, underrated ass RPG on a 360 called Blue Dragon. I fucking love that game. I try and chill it when I can because that game was so good, man. That I love that underrated, game. But that got a sequel. <laughs> Does Brock the Investigator count? Yes, Cole, it does. Yeah, the Kira Toriyama game, one of the few, like, JRPGs on the 360. Didn't that, like, try and get an anime? It did get an anime. Oh, it did. Oh, jeez. Yep. Never saw the anime, heard it was kind of eh. <laughs> anime. Eh. Um. Hmm. The only obscure game that I really see for my collection is honestly Radical Rex for the Super Nintendo. Radical Rex. Dude, that game, even to this day, I cannot be. Because that game is bullshit. Maybe that's what we should have done for game clearing, Radical Rex. <laughs> yeah, you know what? There's one game as a kid that I always used to rent, but never actually got... Well, I mean, there's a lot of games I used to rent that I never actually beat, but... That I still want to try to figure out? Chuck Rock. Chuck Rock 1. That's one of those Chuck? weird ones where I'm like, man, I want to figure out how to actually beat that one. Yeah, I can't. I don't know why. Radical Rex is, gets so fucking punishing. That sounds about right for games around that era. Well, no, because here's the thing. So when you play the game, there's um, you play for the first time and it's like, OK, this is fine. But then you have to play the game going backwards now with a whole new level setup and then bosses at the end that just kill you. Uh oh. Alive. Alive. What are you doing, girl? And those bosses are bullcrap. I'll run cameras for you after this race is done. So you got about Mets a minute finishes we start my art on what? Let's say Meds finishes my art. Sorry, I can't read right now. Meds finishes my art, and it's amazing. That was the message. Oh, and it's amazing. I I'm sure Med it was. Meds is an artiste. We all know. Yeah. He's, he's really good at drawing stick figures. Hey, you. Hey, I've seen people who make, like, crazy oh, oh, animation god. with stick. <laughs> oh, no. dude, oh, my oh, god. god. God damn it. Um, oh. Shit, sorry. You're good. I tried to swing my arm and accidentally tap the mic. Swing oh, your arm. From side to side. There we go. Uh, that's why diamond sucks. I'll give it another shot. What are we not done today? We haven't done this one. <laughs> General yelling for about three seconds like you're about to do a powerful attack. Think anime. No! Hopefully that works. Damn it. Alive, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. Apparently it was, based on the art, by the sounds of it. Uh, tonight's just been like a comedy of errors at this point. We, uh, we've we managed to finish Phantom 2040 like almost immediately in the stream. Then we went to go try to finish Bubble Bobble Part 2, but we got to like nine stages away from the end, and we ended up... Chat wanted to move on to something else, so we moved on to Grady's 3. We got right near the end there, and same deal happened there, too. So, now we're just playing some F-Zero GX for a bit. Well, I'm taking questions right now, currently. 
Fun fact, in circa 2013, when making a task for the stage, speedrunner CGN attempted to record the in-game replay as per usual. However, the vehicle was so fast that the game's replay mode desynced and crashed off course. That is hilarious. I love the speedruns for this game, dude. They're so fun to watch. Dude, the speedruns for these games are insane. And I, that's what I get for trying to check how long I've been on the game. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Uh, oh wow! You actually don't. I don't think you actually have this game. I'll be damned. What game? Uh, South Park. Let's go tower defense. Nope. Dude, speaking of, can I tell you some of the the ridiculous of that game? Sure. So. What season was this during South Park? Chat will probably know this better. So, during one of the new seasons of South Park, South Park decided to do this thing to where they hid an alien in the episode. And there were two things you could have gotten from that. If you found the alien after the show aired and you typed it in, you got an, you were given a, a code. You were given a code to put into the game, South Park, Let's Go Tower Defense, that would give you Butters' alternate ego of Professor Chaos and one other thing. This was the only way to get those unlocked. It wasn't based on playing a certain game or mode or anything like that. You had to do that by watching the fucking show. I mean, that makes sense. It's a tie-in. Yeah, but then there was the second tie-in. If you found every alien throughout the season, and you were the first one to kind of name them, or actually point the exact location of it, you actually got a, camo, a cameo in the title of the next season, where uh, tra where South Park literally animated your yourself as a character in front of the title screen. That's cool. And I tried that so damn hard when that game first came out, and I was like, oh. But I was so happy because I found it in the episode where Stan was trying to save the whales. And I was like, oh, there he's right there on the boat. Ha. Season 13 in November of 2009. Thank you. Also, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a while ago. Holy it was shit. a 360 game you described it, so... I know, but I just, I'm just i just realizing, like, oh, right. Oh, God, time is passing. Yeah. What's that? Oh, a wrinkle. We're old. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, you only, if it lets you, only if you let it affect you, honestly. You're right. I'm a young kid at heart. I'm a young boy. Here's a question. All right, here's a good question since we're talking about that. Back then, vi video game memorabilia wasn't as, like, top-notch as it is in, like, right now. If we were growing up right now in this kind of day and age where the video game memorabilia is so much kick-ass, do you think we would be getting more of it or less of it as a kid? I mean, if I liked video games the same amount I did as a kid, the answer is the same, if not more. Because, man, having a Lego set of Mario with the way they have it, shit, I'd be set for life. Who needs a video game? I could just create Lego sets of my own. Take a second, that's fine. Just having to get off that track finally. <laughs> I'm a brave boy, sees Cherry. Not brave enough for this ship. <laughs> Are they? Well, who's saying that? Are they saying that about themselves or about me? Mooch. I'm a brave boy, sees Cherry. Not brave enough for this. Mm. I know they're, they got a quote, so they're saying that's that's what Child Me would have said. Of course. Look, Child Me had enough weird dreams that were like had a similar theme that it's just been like, yeah, no, whatever. 
just another day. Before I waste my egg points, can you accept free browser game in oh, cookie jar? John Trunk, what? Uh, I don't like doing free browser games, but I've allowed it, so. So I can ask for EG in the future then, got it. John, how do you feel about the Lego Pac-Man set? I want to get it. I forgot to order it. I don't know if they're out, out or not. Oh, is that the... It's the one that looks... It's the arcade, the arcade one, machine, right? yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to be concentrating on this one. I forgot about this nonsense. Hey, no worries. Speaking Diamond of Legos... Diamond is a shitty cup. Diamond <laughs> hates your soul. Oop, oop, okay, still in it. Still in it. Got one kill. I don't want to get too greedy. So speaking of Lego sets, so um, I haven't completed that. Oh, the my. wait, that took you off? No I way! I popped up enough, which threw off my my lock on, and I popped over the side. Oh, that's bullshit. So, anyways, um, I'm I actually haven't completed the question block Lego set. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm, I feel like I want to complete it when I actually have like a centerpiece to actually showcase it. Makes you sense. know those kind of things. Yeah. So. I don't know. I just see like the cool inspiration of like Lego sets. Like I remember way back in the day, like the big like Lego set that was kind of like you know the IP was when Star Wars Episode One was out. And Lego had that tie-in with them. I remember just trying to get like all the cool little sets because with the with the Jedi sets with the cool lightsabers that were just like clear like epoxy and whatever. It's just like man, this was shit was cool back then. But yeah, some of the Lego sets are just legit really cool lately. Like, I saw, like, one for the Atari set. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. uh, Giant Bowser. Else? Giant Bowser. Honestly, I, I, I really don't... Hon honestly, I really don't need it. I already have one. Um, uh, let's see. The Luigi's Mansion. The, the Koopa ship. That one was pretty legit. That's what we were talking about. I remember, like, the Lego Mario sets. Yeah. I don't remember the being Luigi's Mansion one. Oh, right. There it was. Ah, the final lap. Of course, that's when the AI starts trying. Yeah, the final lap. Unfortunately, I can't do my announcer's voice because it's way too late. Sorry, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, we're just here to be, you know, friends and just have a good time and talk with John and Chad, help keep him sane, all that fun stuff. Hey, I, shit, oh, my boy. rubber, shit, Ooh. my rubber band is finally starting to work. <laughs> Boint. Boingy. Indeed. Let's see if we can find more questions in chat here. Yeah, John, are you stuff. planning on buying the Priyana Lego set? The what? Piranha. The Priyana plant. I didn't know there was a product plant like I said. Yeah, they announced it. I guess. <laughs> I need to see it. I don't know what you're talking about. May I see it? It's 60 bucks, so it's probably not even that big. Ah, time to undulate. Fire field. Keep Proton John saying that ship has sailed, amigo. Eh. Eh. Again. Eh. I'll post it in Matra or Mod Room. Shit, shit, shit. Just taking a drink. Oh, you alright? Just taking a drink. 
Uh, maniacal if you want to see. This is the easiest track probably in the set, so I don't need to worry too much. Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh, if you want to see the Priyana plant. Oh, uh, I assume you posted it. Uh, let check Discord. Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. You know what's funny? The design literally reminds me of, like, the Japanese commercial for Super Mario RPG. It's, <laughs> it's literally the same part of plant design. I'm like, no fucking way. I think they referenced that Mario RPG commercial in, like, a, another thing with, like, the Piranha Plants. I think. Dude, one month. Oh my god. I cannot wait for that remake. Minute that remake is released, <laughs> bye world. You'll see me on my streams trying to complete it within that time period. Are you driving through like a factory or? Yeah, this is fire field. It's very mechanical. Ah. Uh, stay on, stay on. Man, we got all this fire. We got to do all this work, but hey, let's build a fucking racetrack here. Fuck yeah. Let's go. What's a game you wish you never played? Hmm, interesting question. Ooh, I don't think there's cool. such a thing as a game I wish I never played. Oh no. Oh. God, fuck this oh, no. game sometimes, dude. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> How? Now I'm in trouble. That's the thing you can do, surprise. I, something I, out of the I norm, wow. I thought, I thought those were just like, this. No, 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 stay on, John. Oh, we're so fucked off a ranking, though. I almost might be better off killing myself on this stage. <laughs> Deep's answer, tunic, so I could play it again. That's a valid answer. That's a game I gotta try, tunic. I heard that is so... I don't know, but those are seven losers. John, how did you drive sideways? It's called uh, drifting, I think. This run's not going very good. Uh, a game I wish I didn't play. Not by much. Hmm. All right, this one's fun. That it just looks disastrous. It, there's there is a really part to it, but it is a fun stage otherwise. Hmm. This is gonna be a weird answer, but I think for me, I'm. It's weird, right? Because I think I would say Celeste, but not for like the reasons you would think. Because I actually really like the game. But I just had a really bad experience with it, and I was going through the most like horrible mental shit at the time. And it was just not a. It's just not a memory I look back on fondly. It's kind of one of those games that's like I kind of wish I hadn't played it, just so I could go to it now like a good, better mindset to it. Because now it just, mm. if I want to replay it, if I kind of thinks back to like those times of just not a good mental spots, so I'm just like I don't know, man. I do like the game still. I think the music is fantastic, but it's just. There's some bad memories with Celeste and me, which sucks. It happens, man. Yeah, it's all good, though. Uh, if I could, uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Is there a reason for that, or...? I couldn't vibe with it. Oh, that's fair. Now, which sucks, because... fighting games, though, I thought. Uh, well, at the time, well, I really, in a way, besides Smash, I wanted to try and get into it, but let's just say I had a family member who thinks he's all that, and he kind of ruined the whole drive to actually earn those, and it just kind of felt like I should have never played it, which sucks, because I was like, i as a Power Rangers fan, I was like, oh man, this is pretty cool. I, I, I want to play this. And it's like, oh, that's kind of, it kind of like with Maniacal, it kind of brings like memories of, uh, of a relative that is all this with, with fighting games. And I'm like, nah, no thanks, dude. Fair enough. 
I'm entirely fair, yeah. Uh, this would have been early, so probably way before the updates. Because I know I played it before Ryu and Chun Li got added. Oh, and that that was like half a year in, I think. That yeah. sounds about right. Maybe a year. What's a game you want to play but you've never had the opportunity to, or you just can't? Holy shit! I've got a list. Mm, for me, it's just like the the drive isn't there for them. Or someone's kind of ruined my experience of the game and it's made me not want to go try it out. Not naming names. That, that's a tally for a moment, but I'm kind of want to talk about something with that, actually. Oh? Oh, no, it's nothing bad. Just, like, uh, it's a discussion point I saw, like, uh, I could bring up from, like, who you're talking about there, potentially. Someone in chat, that we need the poop baseball game. <laughs> Christopher yeah. Robbins is a cheating asshole. Oh, he yeah. is. That Mr. motherfucker Robbins is a cheating oh. asshole. That's true. You're, you're right. Uh, I just love that. I think for me, it'd probably be like one of those games that just like... <laughs> this, this is a dumb answer, but like... It's, it's kind of like one of those games I can think of where it's just like, I don't really have like the, as easy of like an access to it, and like emulation isn't as easy sometimes. So... I feel like I think about Sonic 06 right now because I don't want to play Project 06 without playing the original game first. I don't care if it fixes everything. I want to play the original. <laughs> All right. Experience the shit. And then when you play the better version, you're like, oh, my God, why? No, here's the thing, though. I, I think it's wrong to play Project 06 without ever playing Sonic 06 first. Like, why, you why would you, you play the enjoy the good game without have, without having yeah. the bad? Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why I'm saying like, no, you actually have a valid point. Like you, you play the original first, experience it, then you play the, the project of it, and then you're like, oh, cool. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, let's see, for me, Chrono, Chrono Trigger would be one. Great game. Um. This is an experience again? No, I thought it was like the first game to to actually experience. Oh, experience the game again for the first time. Yeah. Which is what I said. <laughs> what no word, wait, I, I'm sorry. Maybe I, I miss. Maybe I misunderstood the question. I thought it was the question was what's a game that you have an experience but want to. Oh, that you have an experience but want to. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that the question? It was. You, you yeah. never experienced it. Oh, uh, yeah, I never played it. Oh wow, it's a good game. I recommend it. Motherfuckers! Oh no! <laughs> I, broke the, I broke the magnetic railing. <laughs> no! How? How? What the fuck, dude? I seriously give biggest props to like speedrunners for this game. Like how? Do you fucking do that? I don't think we're gonna get the win on this one, folks. This is my last life. This track is not hard. It's got walls everywhere, except for like very few spots. But if the physics decide to break, that's it. You're done. And it's very easy, as you saw, for the physics to break. That's kind of yeah. one of the benefits of the game and one of its drawbacks. So, I was thinking about like. Uh, I saw, like, Emil tweeted this morning, actually, in regards to the sticker star thing, and I was kind of like, wanting to bring that up, as uh, there was a lot of people who, I guess, felt that he was being completely serious about it. And, like, I'll admit, I didn't realize that he had, like, a spirit copy he was doing that with. No, it's not. That's literally the, the one case he had. He just put the case in and not the game. Yeah, yeah. Like, he had, like, a spirit case. But, like, I didn't actually know if it was, because... I, I knew we like still had shit to record, so I wasn't surprised, but the problem is, and this is what I was discussing on Twitter earlier, I'm like, yeah, at this point, you have plausibility with any negative action you have in regards to that game. So it is completely within your character for you to have done that, despite it being out of character in any other situation. Mm -hmm. We, as a community, have gotten so used to you shit-talking Sticker Star, whether it, like seriously or as a joke, that it's hard to, the lines are blurred. Right. Yeah, I, 
I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. It's just like... I guess this is just myself talking. It's like... I have, I guess, just more important things to worry about in life now. It's just like... Most people do. I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, at this point, like I said, he, he does genuinely hate the game. But, like, he also does play it up. The problem is he's, he kind of walks that line so much. Not again. Oh, my God. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy oh shit, dude. That was awesome. Oh, my God. Am I, oh, I'm, on, I'm on lap two. You're on lap two, John. You're okay. Wait, no. I'm on final lap. Shit. Yeah, that you are. Fuck, we lost. Uh, was it worth it? I don't know. No, I lost. I was only ahead by 18 points. We should have survived, I guess. Where was my rival? Yeah, second, I think. Yeah, we lost. Oh, no. Oh. That's still a great clip, though. I really thought that was second lap because I was looking at the second number. It was yellow. No, it was yellow because that was my best time. God damn it. Uh. Uh. At least you lived. Yeah. Uh, but I get nothing for this, basically. It's a real Actually, roller coaster. Do I get anything for this for getting second? I don't know. Yeah, still got some tickets. All right, no parts though. Well, tickets are tickets at least. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer though. That could have that could have ended better. Because we were in the lead up until the, like that fucking 360 flip. It's the thing I'm buying the stamp ghost. Or should I just buy the parts? Because look at all the vehicles that I can get right now. Without grinding them out. Yeah, we'll hang on to them. Alright, that's gonna do for the stream, folks. I'm gonna go check an art block, obviously. Do any any alerts and shit like that, but yeah. He's joked about hating that game so much that it has become a part of his personality, even if it was unintentional. He is obviously not the kind of person you hate something like that all the time, but he has joked about it so much that anyone who doesn't know him on a personal level sees that as a part of his personality rather than a joke. Yeah, like it like I said, the line's blurred. What are, what were the exact words I said to him today? I'm trying to remember here now. Let me go look it up. Here's the thing, dude. At this point, it's been a decade straight of you talking about Sticker Star. Whether in vids, on socials, in person, at shows, etc. Just about everyone who knows you knows your thoughts on the game. You have plausibility on your negative actions now. Uh, I even hesitated when I saw the post, thinking, wow, he probably actually did that. It's become your defining characteristic, whether you wanted it to or not. You and Sticker Star are going to be tied together in people's thoughts for years to come. So, yeah. And of course, some people are like, let him cook. The game sucks. I'm just like, yeah, cool. But you haven't had to le deal with him doing it in person for a decade. I'm so sick of hearing about the game. This is, this is the problem I can't convey to other people. It's just because, like, yeah, I know it's this bad because I deal with them way more than you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's just it's like, like, a case of like, but it's also okay. as a result, it's also a unique problem that most people don't have to deal with. So it's different there too. Right. All right. Uh, <laughs> we have we have a wisdom Duke to TK Framped. That you do. A crowbar would come in handy right about now. Have you put a doll? Hmm. No, I'm just reading something in chat. And put a dollar in a jar pretend he brings up a sticker star. See, uh, he he says once the final video is done, he's gonna stop talking about it. I'm not confident in that, but we'll see. I might keep the jar handy or start writing it down on my phone how many times he brings it up. It just depends entirely on if he if he is a man of his word. If he's a man of his word, he's good. I get completely the whole like 
what is it? Like, I get the whole, like, how people see you thing versus, like, how you are, right? Because, you know, obviously not everyone's going to know how somebody is, right? Like, I've had some cases where people are like, oh, man, like, when Michael is totally like this personality, he's totally like this. I'm like, no, I mean, yes, I play up how I am online sometimes, sure, but, and, like, some of that is me, but it's not wholly me, I'd say. Like, there's still that part of me that is, like, myself, right? Like, I remember when I was playing Mystery Dungeon on stream recently, I answered truthfully, the game gave me docile, and people were like, wait, you docile? Really? I'm like, yeah, no, I mean, that's just how I am as a person. Like, yeah, I do and say stupid shit, but, like, I'm also not defined by that, I'd say. <laughs> people act differently online than what they do in real life. There is an actual, uh, like... kind of doesn't, though. Well, no, 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 no I'm not... I'm putting a meal to the side. I'm okay, talking to just right. like other people in general. Okay. Yeah, in general, in general, di people act differently online versus in real life, and it's kind of like that psychological barrier where people are just talking to a screen and such things versus actually talking to in real life and how we present ourselves. Some people take it a little too far with hyperfixations and such. Other times, it's just completely different. It's like playing a character, essentially. Of course, yes. Way. But again, when the line gets blurred or there's that hyperfixation, then it's kind of a problem. But that's just my two cents. I mean, that's a fair two cents to have, I'd say. Like, the last thing I think anybody wants is like people to kind of like not realize how they are or maybe even like have cases where it's like hey uh <laughs> you know you're acting like this here but you're not actually like this you're more your your real self is obviously on this other stream because i had something like that happen to me once where like i had a guy come in and i was like you know being all kind respectful and then i had a person who was like hey uh he doesn't act like this go watch john stream he acts like himself there i'm like jesus christ please don't do that <laughs> sorry i burst out laughing because eight pages wrote wow someone should make 25 years worth of rpgs on this concept <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no uh who we are as people who we are as online there's a there's a line there that definitely is not always seen but it is still there All right, let's, uh, no alerts, no eggs. Let's uh, go to our block and get the hell out of Dodge. Schedule for the week, folks, in case you're bouncing. Uh, tomorrow's disc only. Carlos is joining us instead of Jared. Yay. Wednesday is looking to be Gotham Knights with G. If that changes last minute, it'll be a uh, power trip. But uh, otherwise, we're going to see if we can finish that game up on Wednesday. We'll probably get very close. I don't think we'll quite do it. And uh, Saturday's fortune cookie. Oh, there actually is a video in the carton. Oops, but I have no... There's literally no subs, no alerts to read. We're, we're completely caught up. Hang on. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay, it's been a second. I'll just, I'll just get this ready, because I'm sure... What are you doing? What do you mean I can't give sub right now? Fuck this. Website. What? <laughs> Shining Silver, thanks for sub for 95 months. Here's your egg. Good lord. From No Limit, tonight's Sesame Street lesson. Can't give sub. I wonder what he's dreaming so... about now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Remember, I'm in your dreams forever. Jesus. <laughs> Am I Elmo? Is that what's happening? Or is she just hanging out with Elmo now? Emma wants to know what the fuck that was. You, you can be Kubrick, Emma, sure. Fucking hell. Uh, Linebook says, just want to say that I love the story credits theme of f 0 GX, especially the lyrics. Here, let's 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 listen to that as we... Let me make sure it's safe, safe to listen to. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. All right. If you've never heard this song, it is a banger, and also the lyrics are stupid as fuck, but in the best way.
This is Falcon's theme, right? This is the ending theme to story mode. Okay. not fake by the way this is real Funky. Yeah. I forgot. I didn't realize that the lyrics were on screen in this one. My bad. I was probably showing this. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, you can vision what's monkey ball. That's right. Yeah. But it's gonna loop back to the super overly dramatic part if you don't mind that. Mm. Yeah, there you go, it's gonna loop now. Alright, art block it is. Block of art. This lovely picture from Mika. Ooh. I was in the mood to draw Ooh. my Space Goddess Rose design tonight, but I remembered a Space Goddess version I drew of you last January, and I wanted to give it another go. Maybe I'll redraw the full design one day. I'm very busty. Thank you, Mika. Appreciate it. There's a little orchid there in my hair, too. Beauty. Next up. <laughs> from Sylveon. I have like two nights. What the fuck happened? To Will you like me in this voice instead? Woo woo. Not like this. <laughs> well, thank you, John, for giving me this last prompt for the night. And miraculously, I was able to finish it in a half an hour of the remaining stream. But yeah, don't do that voice again. I'm joking. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's honestly way funnier to me to see an entire chat of breakdown over the silliest things. John, I have a terrible idea. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, a bit, a channel point reward. You have to put it high, but people get you to read stuff out in an Ulu voice. Uh, uh, see, at that point, I would probably just pick a bunch of different voices. Like, put one for mom voice, put one for that voice, put one for, like, the Dixon Mania voice. <laughs> that, that could be fun, though. Just uh, randomize, like... Uh, voice box channel point alert. <laughs> Deep maniacal. I was joking about making the no bob. Please don't require me to go make one. <laughs> I just I'll appreciate think of, I'll think about it. I just appreciate some like, like, like leads. Like, <laughs> Deep, you might have to go make that bot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, what is this? Oh, my God. From Mika, Proton. Mika, I might want this as an emote. <laughs> Yo, emote. <laughs> I might emotes. want to make this an emote. Oh, my New God. Emote okay. hype. Yo, how many slots do you got? I don't remember. I'll go check here in a second. 
That reminds me, we actually have the vote on which of the emotes of the month we're keeping, by the way. All those follower emotes were technically only supposed to be around for a couple of months. Yeah, they've been around for a bit now. To permanent. Let me check slots here. Uh, also, while we're doing that, folks, what's our raid message? I saw one that was like, ooh, bomb or something like that. Let's see. All following must currently taken. Wow, you okay? Smug, pride, and overall up for a vote. Uh, actual emotes I have blue. Actual emotes only have one slot. For it. Ah, okay. And then it would have to be tier two, I have three emotes free, and tier three, I have three emotes free. But I'm sure there's some emotes I'd be willing to, like, shit me right. Because, yeah, Door Gods got bumped back to full blown emote because we were doing the poll thing, so. You could bump some up to tier 2 that don't get used as much, but that depends which ones. Yeah, so we can make some room happen, but I think having the uwu was funny. At the very <laughs> least, even if I don't do it, I could put it on like tier 2 or tier 3. But we do need to vote at some point for which of the follower emotes gets promoted and run the next set of polls. Uh, because we were supposed to use them a bit more. Alright, Cherry's in your dreams now. Not with a bang, but with an uwu. Dream containment breach. The world ends with <laughs> uwu. Oh my god. Don't Baron make us freeze. This is Cherry Blossom. I'm in your dreams, bitch. Probably gonna, you can only rate a friend with that one. <laughs> well, just, I'm in your dreams. My subconscious <laughs> left me is actually really funny. I but do like that one a lot. That, that's that's, that's, that's a winner. I think that's the winner. My subconscious left me. Also, I, also from Koopa, don't make us furries have to do tier two just for ooh. <laughs> My subconscious is on the run. Please help. Capitan. Capitan. The way he says it. Oh, interesting, by the way. Apparently, uh, today, October 3rd, 2023, is the start of Avengers Endgame, like, in-universe. Oh, nice. Yeah, just saw oh. that. I was like, oh, that's sick. Jump me, see where Resident Evil 4. Let me see where she is in there, because I think that might be... Uh, Jumni is somewhat early. I think she's on show. Yeah, she's on show. Yeah, it's early enough. Um, there's nothing spoiler happening right now. Right, let's go, Jumni. That my subconscious left me. Let's see what I think. Bearer, a PNG tuber, you won't be shocked. My oh. brother, PNG tuber, is. Not at all. I'm turning the hot jams a little bit. Nigel? Oh, oh god. What's Are happening? Those oh no. That's a lot of people. Yeah, I know, it's an Eevee. Your subconscious left you. God, I heard about that. I heard that, uh... <laughs> you said that shit, I'm not following her. Cherry, or whoever you're calling her right now, left your, your memories. Hi, uh, God, Hello, everyone. Ah! Alright. How you all you doing? I am with Jomini, folks. I'm a bounce for the I evening. John's watching. John, the I morning. my ass beating this game. Help! <laughs> Shoot the gun! Welcome, Shoot the gun! You'll be I'm fine! Slowly playing through Resident Evil 4. Look, just go find a lifeguard at your beach. We've been going. That'll, that'll help save you. This isn't I, a uh, beach, this is a bathtub. Hurt a lot. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Disco Only. I'll see you guys Wednesday but for uh, Gotham Knights.
Night, everybody. Night, everyone. Be safe. Good night. Now I'm small. Who did that? Boot. What a crazy fucking night. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, it was fun. Man, I had a good listen, time. Why am I listening to this music like a sucker? Yeah! There we go. Three there we go. Yeah. Copy time! So wait, if this whole mystery is getting out of control, now you're with this as a Scooby-Doo crew. So who your crew be? Well, B crew is a Scooby-Doo, obviously. Okay, hang on. No, okay. No, I was gonna end the stream, but now I need to know what. Okay, let's get this clarified quickly. So we're Scooby doing this. Who, who's what? Be for Scooby. Okay. Uh, Pon Pon could be Daphne. Okay, that's that track. That's a smart one. Uh. John is Fred. Oh, that's the biggest insult I've been told all night. <laughs> I was actually gonna put you as Shaggy. Yeah, you could be Shaggy. Uh, we'll, we'll say Buff Ton is Fred. They're both himbos. <laughs> Who's Velma? I. Who is Velma in this case? I don't Rosa. know actually. Rosa. Rosa. Sure. Whatever. It's, it works out. All right, night everybody. <laughs>